you know what's crazy like even before you had messaged me on facebook or whatever like i had been thinking about you and thinking about the sex that we had and i remember how you looked at me when we were in missionary and excuse me <laughs> when you were like excuse me when you were like growling in my ear or something you <laughs> you are dangerous scares me how badly I want to do that so soon and like so deeply because I think about you all the time I always want you around I always want to be touching you <laughs> so yeah I just don't I'm scared of that in the best way and in the worst way also, I want to say again that when I wrote this in a text for you a while ago that I'm willing to wait. You know, I just want to put that out there again. I'm willing to wait because it's definitely worth that to me. So I guess I hope you are too. And if not, you know, let me know, but I'm definitely willing to wait. And I say that because it's crazy. Like, I want you all the time. Like, I can't, I can't make that up all the time. Whether it's physically, mentally, any other way. Like, I'm always thinking about you. So, I know I keep reiterating maybe the same thing again. But <laughs> I just want to make it clear. So, I'm here trying. I really am. Trying to make... Wow, you are very motivational and very inspirational. Thank you so much for your kind words. Um, you sound very good saying that. <laughs> but the, the words in themselves, I needed to hear that. So thank you. Um, it's been a couple of rough days for me. I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed with a lot of the work that I have to do, um, a lot of school work that I have to do, a lot of major projects coming up. So I needed to hear exactly what you said. I'm going to have a good day today. And I would love to share my day with you later on as well. I hope you have an amazing day, a day as amazing as you. Okay, well, you were the first person I was actually surprised about with the conversation. Usually it's like, uh, hey, sexy, hey, gorgeous, what you doing? Things like that, and I just don't reply. And that's okay for me not to reply because I don't want to. And two, <laughs> I sound like such a bitch. Um, two, what else did you say? Let me think. Um, oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, no more, not, now I don't have to do two pictures, only just one little video, so that's good. And then, um, yeah. Oh, and then your text said you're good at massages. Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, I got a little place I go to for now. So that's good. So uh, I'm good on that part for now. Uh, the 
following program is rated M A N. It contains real game, learning your value as a man, original ways to have her face in the pillow and her ass up in the air. I'm talking her knees pushed so far back, it's touching her shoulders. <clears throat> Touching her without touching her, having a woman respecting your every move, buying you gifts, cooking and cleaning with a smile, and knowing her place at the table. So, for all you human males, cupcakes, surface dwellers, and grass-eating lions, your discretion is advised. Meaning, if you don't like the truth, then go find a show that helps you cuddle, complain, and cry about women. Just get the fuck out of here. It is. I hope you guys have been having a great week, a great day. And you're ready for Woo! a little fun. I'm the energy's good right now. You ready? Hey! A pineapple reaction show. We coming back for more. Keeping you entertaining. You know that we bring in the host. K Zagan and the whole crew is with me. Steve the Dean Williams, Mr. 1950. Yeah. Go ahead and get out your seat. I know you're feeling the beat. Good vibes and good energy. We doing something that you never seen. Hey, hey, let's go, let's go. This is a pineapple reaction show. Hey. So uh, let me get this right. You have a woman who has a bunch of suckers running behind her, getting no play. And I'm sure they don't understand why. Welcome to the Pineapple Reaction Show. These men are here to lace you with game, as well as break down the pineapple shows. What went right, what went wrong. So you don't fuck up and make the same mistakes as those desperate losers with no game. Asking the same weak-ass questions. The call-in number is 833-859-8744. That's 833-859-8744. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat. It's time to chop up some game. Oh, man, it's on today. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Good man, morning. man, man, what's happening, man? What's happening? Yeah, it was good, man. Man, shout out to our dogs and also, I guess, shout out to the ladies out there. You know who you are, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out yes, to all man. the ladies. On, uh, and shout out to my nigga Zach for the good internet. You know, we got the wide view going today. <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga out here living, you, nigga. You in the, the view 2024, man. And they got out here and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let let's uh let, let's get it, man. So it's gonna be an interesting one today because we 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 hey we love what Melly does, right? I mean, she gives us a lot of she gives us content to help the guys out, but it's gonna be a chin check today. It's gonna be a chin check day today. Hey, did you hey did you send that to me, stickers? I ain't get it. Yeah, send it to you. Uh yeah, wait, send what to you? I oh, never mind, never I got it. I got it. Yeah, that was yesterday. Just, oh. just, guys, just an audience, just stay tuned for all yes, y'all here for entertainment. Yeah, yeah. We we got something good for y'all today, man, because it's gonna go down. But let's let's get into it, guys. I want to call in. You got the number 833-859-8744. Put a Q in there if y'all got a question. So let's go ahead and bring her in. Let's go get let's uh let's go ahead and lock her in. Melly, come to it's the Wednesday. Center. Uh, no, it's Monday. Sorry. Happy Monday. Uh oh, it's April Bowl too. Uh I hope you guys Okay, gentlemen, anything that you would like to say about what you see right now? Um, I like the way the shirt fits her form. Mm. <laughs> Fifth. Uh she's I don't like the sleeve, man. It's something about a woman with the tattoo sleeve. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I don't like that either, but but I'm, I'm talking about the shirt. I'm just looking at specifically at the shirt. You know? No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. He didn't screw up. See, you think he screwed up. He didn't screw up. The screw ups, he, he did it right. He kind of did yeah, it. We don't talk about that. We don't get that. 75. Yeah, chill. You saw it. Don't don't say nothing. And and, 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 and make sure you call in after yeah. after we break this. it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you guys yeah, got it wrong. Like, uh, Richard yeah. Sherman in the picture. And shit. Yeah, y'all sitting around thinking he screwed up. Y'all y'all understand? He did something that the majority of those guys didn't do, 
and we will talk about that. We will discuss that, but let's continue. Oh, it's going to be a good show. I didn't get... Sorry. I hope you guys didn't get pranked today and uh, you've been having a good day. All right. So I'm excited. Jet is already here. So All you right, know how I love a girl mm -hmm. that is on time. Bring her in. So I'm excited about that. Uh, if you uh, want to come and shoot your All of right. course, you get a one-on-one -on -one, uh, video. All right, the book. And whatever you want. Yeah, here, you know, especially talk. these styles. What's up? Let's team? get to it. All right, blah, blah, blah. All right Paul. So All right. It's a 1950K Zag. What say you on what you see? First thing is, as you know, I'm team real hair. I think I think I do not like that. That is not her hair. Uh, her slit in the middle of her chest is uh, showing a lot of insecurities. She, she's, she's showing that she's insecure right now with the outfit that she's wearing. And like you say, EK, okay, if she came out like Melly came out, guys, you know, cover, not covered up, but I mean, she does have a few buttons off, but look at this one right here. She wants to show cleavage. But what say y'all guys on this? Um, I'm not going to really get on a look. Um, I'm looking at the background. Is that a shower curtain, my nigga? Is she in the bathroom? She might be in the bathroom. Whoa, hey, yeah. You can't. Look, I'm, I'm going to withhold judgment because I want to I want to know. Is that is she in the bathroom? And she got a shower curtain as her background because that's raggedy as fuck. That's one. Two, at first glance, she's not really my type. But I, I'm going to withhold further judgment regarding that as well when uh, when 50 swags up. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm, it's not really my look, man. Uh, no, not, um, I, need a, I, I like women that, I mean. Not really my look. Don't like she can roll over in the morning and be solid. <laughs> I don't know if she can be yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, yeah. Look, matter of fact, fifth, let, let me just speak to that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, gentlemen, y'all are right. You know what I did? I grabbed the wrong bit. Hold on, man. It's wrong. It's the wrong one. The... Damn it. Fire this nigga speed, dog. Hey, calm down. Hey, that's why our chat room dogs have us covered. That's the one from next week. I, hey, hey, chat room. That's see, that's why our chat room dogs got us covered because they like even Steve, even Steve makes mistakes. He grabbed yeah, the wrong. I, I just, I just, I just want to point out that uh, Steve the Dean Williams is gonna be the first dude that we pull with that's in a home. Mm -hmm. hey, this nigga gonna be in a home with our. Like, how's Steve doing? But I don't know, man. All my dogs. Last time I talked to him, he was talking. About he was on Mars visiting and shit. <laughs> you know this, nigga, this nigga eating some tapioca pudding and shit. Yeah, that's 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 my head wanders a little bit. Hey, th hey, chat room, my dogs. Thank you. It's loading up right now. Thank you. Hey, all my dogs. I messed up. Hey. Thank you. I there are a few people that saw it. I want to say thank you. Said, I want and to... nigga sitting in, in, in there said Android users. They, they, oh, y'all are dirty. <laughs> y'all are dirty. I nigga Lloyd, I, Matthews, Lloyd Matthews right there. Y'all go Android Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. I got it. Hey, Lloyd. Lloyd, you got it dog. Man, I, I just want to point out that we got some savvy ass. Uh, yeah, Lord. Lord. that just be yeah. Johnny on the spot with it. Shout out yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all are Johnny on the spot. You see, they, hey, hey they, yeah, y'all finally got y'all can say I, something. They ain't even it. notice it. We, me, me and Fifth would have kept, you know, going with, with the shot. They, they, they can say something bad. No, that's next week. I'm my bad, guys. Now I got it set up for y'all, guys. I apologize. Let us start over as if. We didn't even see anything at all. Thank you. What are you guys doing? Good. Happy Wednesday. Right. I hope you guys have been having a... Okay. All, all right. right. We can... All right, all right there. Lloyd. It's respect, Lloyd. Good job, dog. Now, what do we say about this, Melly? Another one okay. next week. What do you so, say about this? The sleeve, I'm still not feeling the sleeve, but the top she got on is something when, when women come visit me on a late night tip, it's something mm -hmm. I would tell them to wear. Yes, that that'll be a great late night visit. Yes, too that's many, what you're too, many, too, many, too many tattoos. Man, leave it anyway, gentlemen. This is what you want a woman to wear when you come see her late at night. Something like that. Too, too yeah, many tattoos. That, no bra, had that on. Yeah, no doubt. That's dope. All right, here we go. Here we too go. Many now. tattoos. All right. Now let's pause. Now here we go. Now let's get to okay, it. Okay. Now, now with the, with the right. now we're the right one for all my all you iPhone haters out there. Now we got it right. So fifth zag, 
Okay, uh, okay that was the herb. Again, uh, yeah. um, I don't like the hair. I like the out. The outfit is fine. Uh, I can deal with the 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 the, the pull down of the thing. She's too little. But, she's too little for me. She's too little for you. Yeah, she's tiny. That's a little. That's a little little person. What's wrong with little people? Her whole, her whole. I don't like little small. I don't like small women now. Yeah, no, I mean, like small, small need to be at least one, one fifty plus. Wow. Okay. Yeah, right. I don't like. I don't like them little ones under that man. They under that. Yeah, I can't do them with that. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I won't kick him out of the bed, but no, I mean, it's, 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 he, he's too rough on bitches. He needs a bitch that can yeah, like, I don't want no cases. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I need a woman who can take me grabbing arms and she won't bruise that much. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, okay. All right. So you want a little bit? Yeah, okay. Come on, dog. Come on. This this woman here. Come on, right. she, can't right. be, she can't bring me a bowl of grits. Oh shit! All right, here. So, so this is right, what I'll right. say about about her. Right. Number one, the way she dresses. <laughs> Y'all be calling me. No, we can do this shit. Go ahead. We're not talking to Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what we're Go ahead. Go ahead, Zach. Okay, real quick. No, no, no. Answer the phone. I, I, I can hold off. I can wait. No, no, no. We're telling us Spagoli, dog. We're trying okay, to do right. it. Hey, why does this nigga Spagoli keep calling me in, nigga? Yeah, I mean, yeah. he, he, oh. he, he, look, let me tell y'all something. Guys, if y'all calling in, call in with a real question. Don't be disruptive to I'm the flow. Sick of, the of these niggas, man, with this, nigga. Oh. What she got on, I like. It's, it, to me, it's grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? It's something, if I'm out and about and she meet me like at a little jazz spot. Yes. Live music, that's yes. the deal she got on there. I can, I can rock with that. Um, now, there's a lot of light on her face, and I'm not sure if it's the uh, actual makeup. lighting or because she got on too much makeup. I, 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 I don't she, know that. I think she has too much makeup on. I think yeah, I think she likes it. looks like she's got a lot of makeup on. It's not a natural, it's not a natural melanin look. It's like, it's like too much, I guess. But that mascara, blush, whatever they put on their face, I don't know whatever shit is. Here we go. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I just I'm feel like white cool. is always good. For sure. For sure. Yes. I feel like it's it, very angelic. It helps all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right. MF says I'm six one two forty. I like him five foot one thirty. All right. Well. All right. I, I feel. Yeah, man. I'm. Yo, your, your five foot for chick is one thirty and five feet. She got. She got some curves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? What? Yeah. You, stop. Yeah, my uh, yeah, my I mean, ex, my I mean, ex wife was four foot eleven. Damn. About, uh, one twenty five, one four, one one twenty five, one thirty, and 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 you know she yeah. had yeah. a nice round, plump ass with some. Nice I need size. about one fifty plus. Oh my god! Don't make no noise. I need it. I, I, I thought you were gonna silver back that, making that who 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 style. After not yet, man. Not yet, man. Cause he cause he said he said uh. He said uh, he's he needs him at one thirty. Right, right, right. All right, let's continue. All right, here we go. Here we go. So how was your day? It was good. Oh, cool um, was really, really busy. That but was I got cool. a lot yeah, done. Yeah. Block so, this nigga, man. Be home and relax and whatnot. Um, how was yours? Uh, it was good. Bunny. See that right there? Yeah, that, 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 that that's she's right beautiful. There. Shit. Y'all need to yeah. stop that. that Y'all lose, man. You know nothing about this woman, but yet you want to give her credit for what? Why do y'all want to give her credit for what? What does she do that's beautiful? What, what does she do? Show up? Come on, man. In round two, but now we're here. Here is the is the good time. It's not work no more. That's the good time. So exactly, exactly. Yes. So I'm. Happy. Oh, thank you guys so much. I see the comments rolling in. Thank you. Yes, they're all saying that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so so I'm excited. All right. I'm like, hey, my nigga Vic, I, my nigga Vic in there is hilarious. Nigga on the super chat, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Red, yeah, and, and Red, you're right, Red. She does, Red. She, yeah, the makeup is not the makeup is not hitting. The makeup is not hitting. MF James also said you got to know about. All right, okay, all right. We feel you, big dog. Thank for the super chat, brother. All right, here we go. So, okay, so would you like to introduce yourself so we know who you are and if the guys are interested in you, you know, they, they know a little bit more about you. Well, can, yeah, can, you, can, can, you, can you stop real quick, Steve? I do, I do like her lips, but just now, when she sat up and put her hands together, you can tell she might be a little bony, and I don't like bony chicks. Though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that back. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just saying what I was saying, and both you niggas <laughs> was going back saying, "Oh, I don't know," because no, of no, no, no. the other. No, no, no. 
Nah, but what, that but what I was saying, I, 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 I was back in Nah, you can see her pelvic bone right now. That's, no, 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 no. You can, you, hey, you can see like her it. pelvic bone right now. She can't do nothing with me, dog. I don't. Like <laughs> and, and, and hold on, Red is not hating. We, we how did you see that? We all know this. Dude, I said makeup. something about her makeup. About you can see the light shining off that shit. Stop, stop trying to get mad at another woman that's recognizing she needed some stuff. Stop hating. God damn, ladies, come on. Here we go. Twenty-seven. I live in Atlanta, Atlanta. <laughs> And um, I'm an actress. I also do real estate. No, now you do real estate and you're an actress on the side. I want guys to see how we pick up on what these chicks is doing. Yeah, yeah. She is not an actress. She does real estate for a living. And she does actors. She's, a, she's, a, she's an extra in some TV shows. Yeah, commercial, commercial ads and stuff like that. Yeah, she's in the back. Yeah, she's in the back it. drinking coffee while the show is going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Atlanta is not a hotbed for. She's got to be in New York or California. She yeah, there's no like, kind of. Yeah, uh, what kind so of Atlanta, Atlanta is a good springboard spot to that. Let me just say this real quick, guys. Whenever you hear these men or women. And they say anything about modeling, acting, music, whether it's producer, rapper, singing, and then they follow that up with a regular job. They regular job is what they do. That other yeah. shit is on the side. Understand? All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And I own a digital marketing business, so that's just like what I do, like day to day. When is why do these guys keep talking about how beautiful she is? Yo, man. Okay, um, but I'm really active, right? So I like the gym. I like walks in the park. I love my green smoothies. So here's the million dollar question that y'all got to ask yourselves. If she, if she is so, wait, hold on. Give me a second. Look, man, stop fucking calling us. We're doing a fucking show. Do you understand? Do you understand? I know, I a... Goodbye. Fuck, man. Here we go, man. Let's go. Here we go. I'm um, going on, bro. It's something up with that. Shout out to you, man. Hey, thank you, EEM. We appreciate you, man. Shout you know, out to the, you, brody. Yep. You know, the industry is not in Atlanta unless you're a, tr a trans. I mean, Atlanta, and we, we are you telling me the industry is in Atlanta? Are you kidding me? It's in California, man, in New York. California in New York. What the hell are you talking? We ain't talking about Tyler Perry. Or oh, what is that raggedy? Um, what is that raggedy Hulu station that they have right now? There's Zeus. Some, Zeus. Some there's some yeah some states they got nothing but raggedy ass programming. Yeah, Zeus. Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might you might you might see those little low budget movies oh, made Tubi, in ATL. Tubi. Yeah, you might Tubi. see that. Yeah, Tubi. That Tubi yeah. shit. So hey, 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 wait, hey, 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 don't talk about Tubi. Hold on, oh, I got. Hold on, you like that. Tubi, nigga? You like oh, Tubi? No, they got they got good. They platoon. Apocalypto is on Tubi. They got some good movies. Yeah. No, dog. Those are those are free on YouTube. If you type them in, I'm talking about yeah. a real network. That that ain't no oh, real. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Tubi in and of itself. Tubi is, is ghetto as fuck. There are some dark yeah, it's, 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 it's nothing but hood stuff on there, dog. Here we go, man. All out of that. I think Zag um, was. I think Zag was defending Tubi with his life. <laughs> he was. He was his life. Yeah, yeah, I know. My God, really speaking, just really happy girl, really happy girl. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Like back up. Wait, or, or pause it. Did he say her face looked clean? Guys, 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 guys. When women have on makeup, now I yes. have no problem with women women wearing makeup per se, but when women have on makeup, chill on the beautiful, pretty, chill until you see her without that makeup on. <laughs> How do y'all guys say Tubi? You, you, hey, hey, they got some good movies on there, though. You hey, do. man, hey, man, you, hey, anybody that says Jay Brizzle, it's yeah, a good nigga, man. Nigga, <laughs> I, I, I respect to my nigga, man. I'm from the trenches, nigga, right? But nigga, let's call it what it is, dog. Like, I go to the hood to get soul food, nigga. I'm not going downtown, right? So right. the thing is, dog, every blue moon, there will be something cool on there. But, that's, nigga, that's it's all I'm saying. but it's still in the ghetto. Okay, yeah, right. that's all I'm saying, fair dog. Enough, fair enough, fair enough. I, I got you. Ah. 
Yeah, man, y'all got to, <laughs> y'all got to, y'all got to open your eyes. Now, come on, man. Yeah, I mean, is to be free? Yeah, I hope it's free. Yeah, yeah, it is free. I think mean, I was oh, anything I free. For that shit. It, 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 it ain't that fly, nigga. Dog, no, you can go to the shelter and get free food, nigga. They're gonna be good. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Fuck, Here we go, man. Is, uh, your age? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, how tall are you? Because that's gonna come up. So I'm gonna ask you. Some <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, let's just knock that out. I'm actually five six. Five mm. six. Okay. Can, um, she, can, can you pause it? Can you pause it? She is not a 10. There is no such thing as a walking oh down. Oh my God. Okay. I, I I I've been seeing this a lot on Facebook, especially. There is no such thing as a walking dime. And what I mean by a walking dime, no woman is a 10 on her looks alone. No, she's yeah. not. Can she cook, my nigga? Can she listen? Can she follow directions? Yeah. Can she show a nigga like deference, humble submission, and respect? Come on, man. What's wrong with niggas? Exactly. Here you we say go. you're an actress. Yes. Mm-hmm. I know you're gonna hate my questions, but we've seen you. <laughs> we've seen you in stuff already. Yeah. So I actually have um, the fourth season of a television series that I just shot with Tyler Perry. That'll be coming out this year. on Tubi. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The, the mecca of Atlanta, Tubi. She, she God, ain't man, we so sick and tired of this Tyler Perry. <laughs> and any motherfucker watching Tyler Perry, dog, <laughs> that's bottom of the barrel theater. I told y'all, dog. See? That's bottom of the barrel theater. <laughs> y'all this, do- nigga, this nigga, this nigga uh, Tyler Perry hates men. So he <laughs> always makes us look like shit. You right, and, and it brings and then brings in the other element. To even make men even worse, he Y'all know a that. niche. He he had a niche, dog. Let's empower the women. Let's yeah. shit on the men. Yes, and, and and there it go, dog. Let's get all the women and, and to like men. Really like the show, man, and what he believes is a positive light is when niggas are walking around half naked. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah. Um, and then I have a lead role in an NBC film called The Voicemail that will also be coming out. Some of you may already know me from like Country Wayne Skits as well. I do like comedy. Nigga, bitch, we don't know you. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, and then I've been like in a few lead roles. They're all like linked to my IMDb. I've done a few things. So now do we say she's foofy? Do we say that she is looking for a higher class of a person now because she's an actress? Okay. Nice. Mm-hmm. How long have you been doing it? I actually got into acting three years ago. So I'm still like relatively. Still, she's beautiful. Newer. Um, in the field, but so far, like my trajectory, like by the grace of God, it's just been just just going on up. Like with the connections that I've been making, it's well, been salute, cool. salute to her. Congratulations. No, I, 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 her drive is great. I mean, that's not. We're never going to knock her drive. That's good. I'm glad she's doing something. She didn't she, say she can make lasagna. That she, I'm not impressed. We haven't. There we go. <laughs> like you know what? I'm on here looking for a man. So let me talk about some things a man would want. Yes. You yes. Know I mean? You know what I do. I get down in the kitchen. You know what yes. I mean? But yeah, you, 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 know, you know what she's doing? She, she's doing what a lot of women are doing nowadays. They think their value is in achievements and accolades. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. And, and women, for real men, no. Nobody gives a damn about your fucking accolades and achievements. All right, here we go. Oh, that's awesome. Because, you know, <laughs> usually we hear the, the struggle and, you know, but for you, yeah. it hasn't been so much of a struggle. No, I mean, it's definitely, definitely been a struggle. I mean, you do deal with like rejection 80% of the time for a lot of the things that you get. Mm-hmm. But um, granted, I'm like, look, this is who I am. It's what I have to offer. Either you want it or you don't. And you handle it well, you, you know, just keep pushing forward. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I tried. I tried acting. Didn't work out. Uh, I didn't get to the 80%. I got to the 100% no. <laughs> I'm like, it didn't work out. I'm like, how? I'm like, you're so pretty. I'm like, you seem personable. Like, pretty on the speak. Pretty right. She her English, well, she's broke at broken English because that's her second language. English is her second language. So that's why she, she wouldn't make Thank it. Thank you. Um, I, I like to say that it's because of the accent. I cannot hide it. But maybe I just suck. Who knows? I, I don't no, know what it was. But... They are looking for people with your accent nowadays. Like, I can't tell you how many roles and breakdowns that I get for like French accents, African accents, and whatnot. So, I mean, girl, there's definitely something out there for you, for sure. Hey, Red, hey, Red, hit it right. <laughs> hey, Red, hey, hey, fifth, fifth. What? You don't know 51, four pieces of ice. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Four pieces in the summer. You gotta remember. And then it's three in the winter. <laughs> I mean, don't come, don't come with four or five or just load my shit up. You know what I mean? Luckily, and they, they, I like this shit too, man. You know what I mean? Red take it. Blended. Yeah. Blended. You know what I mean? Don't take it red. I wasn't looking, so. <laughs> well, try again. Let me try again. I did for like four or five years, and then I was like, okay, it's enough. I'm, I'm tired of it. You got tired of it? Understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of grit, for sure. For sure. Hey, hey, mm-hmm. hey! You see that? You see that super chat right there, my man? It, it was that uh, MF James. Oh, uh, let, let me, hey, let he, he lightweight. He lightweight right, right there, dog. Let me Women who can little, cook have no, a little that's bit of. Fact. Uh, no, that's yeah, facts, though. That's facts, dog. That, that is, though, that is though. That's kind of true, though. <laughs> that's kind of true, that's dog. It. Especially when they can cook good and they actually enjoy their own food. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Just a little bit, man. They be back there a little bit. That's why her arms are too straight down. Hey, first off, shout out to South Africa, man. We appreciate you, man. Shout out, oh, man. man. Shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate Let you. Me, um, point out something, guys. Look at that glow, and he got the heart eyes the emojis. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, terrible. That's terrible. Not manly, not manly at all. Not at all. Here we go. Um, okay, what what else should we know about you? What what do you like to do on your free time? Uh, free time, if I'm not, like, being active, then I'm really with my girlies. So, you know, it's probably going to sound cliche, the brunch date. It'd be great. She said cooking classes. Dates are, like, kind of my go-to thing. I love self-care, anything self-care related. So if that's massages or, you know, getting my nails done, things like that. Um, okay. Self-caring. Um, outside of that, I would just say, like, educating myself. Like, I'm always trying to, like, Can you pause it? Can you pause it? <clears throat> Can you pause it? She has not said one thing where if I was pondering going on mm-hmm. to the pineapple show yeah. where I would be inclined to want to talk to her because mm-hmm. she ain't said anything that makes her the type of a uh, woman that a man with substance would want. She's me, me, me. I do things for me, me, me. That's what I'm saying, bitch. You're on a show that men that you're trying to have men come talk to you, which means you're trying to attract a man to talk to you. And nothing you're saying is attractive. Yeah, real quick, uh, unique. Don't worry, we got it on lock, dog. We got it on lock. Unique, unique. We got it. Unique. We got it. It's gonna be a blowback. We got it. We got it. We got it. Trust us, unique. Yeah, we we on it. We gonna we take care of that. We gonna take care of it, unique. We got it, buddy. And, and and I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on, real quick, see my bad. I just wanna say this. And and guys, I want you to pay attention to why she's not saying anything of substance where a man can sink his teeth into. Look at the comments. You're beautiful. Look at that glow. All she got to do is be pretty for these niggas. That's it. Well, at least, hey, Lisa always said French too. Be good movies. Yeah, good movies. Good movies. Yeah, I'm telling you, that shit be hood in the motherfucker, man. Niggas on there straight gang banging. What's up, bro? This is the first episode of many. You know what I mean? Come holler at your nigga, man. We about to kill some niggas, man. We about to go rob some niggas down the street. You know what I mean? I want y'all to tune in. No, we're going to go holler at some bad bitches, nigga. And this is what we're going to do, man. Tune in. Tune in nigga. Hey, 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 I need to have Melly with a machine with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a bikini on trying to shoot that nigga. Then a hot sauce commercial ad comes in between yeah. that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be a there'll, uh, a white dude with a, with, a, with a layover. Hey, this is hot sauce straight from Louisiana, straight from the hood as you know it. From the right. ATL, yes. Link, the link will be emailed to you. Email us your information. Right now, I really want to get into learning more about stocks. So that's kind of like something that I'm going to start picking up on too. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a little more about me. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God. I seen- See what I'm saying? Yeah. What that's coming. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Do you know, y'all, man, women don't want to hear that shit? Yes. So, um, all right. So you are single. Yes, I am single. Yes. So we're going to try to find you the man of your dreams tonight. <laughs> we're we're going like, to oh, hopefully, I'm like, hopefully it'll happen for me. Yes. So, um, so what are you looking for? What are some of the characteristics that uh, men must have for you to even look at them? Right. 
Um, well, number one, I would definitely say be a lover of God, right? I'm a lover of God. Um, I feel like the spirituality aspect is kind of like the foundation for it, lays the foundation for everything. Um, secondly, I would say very honest, uh, open, a good communicator, right? Because I feel like part of that- Wait, 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 very honest. I mean, Ish kind of screwed up a little bit, but he was very honest. Oh man, now I want y'all to remember what she's saying, guys. Remember she said that remember, shit. Gentlemen, listen to what she's saying. And, and listen to what listen to what she's saying. That's an aspect. It isn't just like financial or like physical, right? You gotta have like an emotionally available person as well. Um, so I would say that uh, a leader, um, someone that could just you know make me happy, just all the things that the girls want. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Oh, she fucking up. She fucking up today. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. It's not your job, nor is it your obligation or inclination to try and make a woman happy. Yes, That's never not do that. your job. Never do that. And it's not a woman's job to make you happy either. Yeah. Never. Right. Facts. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And handsome. Handsome. Okay. <laughs> Since you're saying handsome, what is your type? Do you even have a type? Uh, I'm kind of one of those girls who's just like, fine, you're just fine. You know, like I don't really have a preference. Um, mm -hmm. except when it comes to height. I mean, I do like a talk. All right, well, she likes a tall guy. I guess, I guess she's already know she's gonna say six foot plus when she said that. You know, that's she's gonna dog out a five, seven guys, but that's 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 cool. That's cool. Let's see what she says. Guy, but I'm not opposed to like you know dating someone average height and whatnot. It's not a huge deal, not a deal breaker. Okay, what is your if you had a choice, how tall would you be? All right, guys, chat room. Here we go, chat room. Tell us what is the height. She's five six. What is the height that she will deal with? Give us that both the high and the low, guys. My low is going to be 5'7. My high is going to be 5'11. I'm not going over to, I'm not messing with the six. Fifth, where you got, brother? Uh, five, about five. I go five. I'm probably five, nine. I go five. No, you know what? I'm going to go six foot. I'm going to go six and up, dog. Straight six, straight six, straight Zach. Up, dog. All right, Zach, there or no? Okay, Zach disappeared on. Now here we go. We'll just go the basic six foot. We'll just we'll fuck fifth. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Rip, 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 rip. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, what, what what height did she say? Fifth <laughs> right, said five nine, and he scratched, and he said, "I'm just gonna go straight six. Yeah, he answered them straight six. So I already she know. Oh, but, but she, I already because she five six. So, so for a man, for her to really look up to a man and feel like she's about to be yeah, dominated, she, she wants to be. Physical, it's got to be a dude that's like five eleven you know, six she, foot. She wants to. She wants somebody to reach down, not yeah, yeah, yeah. Across. And let me let me let me let me say this to guys. I want guys to understand what? something. <laughs> when it comes to a man's physical stature, straight there's evil. something very biological and carnal about women's desire to have a, a man much bigger than her. Not hey, only six, in height, but in body uh, mass. Hey, six feet, we up, baby. We up, we up. Hey, five, seven, you still got a shot. Any on my five, feet, we up. Hey, don't listen to them. Don't let fifth, don't let fifth uh, shame you. Just Here we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go with that. Okay, what is the, the shortest you can do? Five, um, I feel like I want him at least taller than me, so maybe five, five, ten. Five, ten. Told you, I was close. Hey, hey, two, hey, even before hey, that, oh boy, hey, 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 Frank, hey, Frank, you got it, dog. Don't let her, don't let her fool you. She'll mess with you. Hey, don't look. Hey, Frankie, hey, Frankie, Steve, five, he three. got his orthopedic cowboy shoes. Hey, at. hey Frankie, you, you better hit the weights. Nah. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie, you better hit the weights, Frankie. Frankie. Frank, you good, big dog. Frankie, you somebody gonna reach right in your pocket, Frankie. Freddie, you good, dog. Alex, Give me that, nigga. <laughs> Alex, hey, Frankie, they gonna reach right in your pocket. Hey, put your hands to the side. Hey, but nigga, put your hands to the side. Hey, Zach, Zach, because you know. Hey, put your hands to the side, nigga. Hold on. I know, I don't, don't I'm gonna reach in your pocket. Don't move. <laughs> don't let him tell you that way, dog. Hey, hey, hey. They're like, they're like, if your man keep talking, I'm gonna set that nigga in my glove box. Don't let him talk to you that way. Don't fuck me. I think that's yeah, like that's decent. 5'10. 5'10. Okay. So a guy that is 5'7, it's a no. 
for me, it's going to be a no. No, 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 it's not going to be. Guys, okay, hold on, Steve, can you pause it? Can you pause it? Can you pause it? Guys, no, don't guys, have that. guys, guys, guys. No. Regardless of what <laughs> women say publicly, if they meet Chad you is hella funny today, man. <laughs> they funny as fuck, man. <laughs> they funny today, dog. They are oh, funny. They are funny today, dog. Fuck so, y'all, man. <laughs> uh, real, so, guys, guys, guys. Now, now, women, they might be a little strict with some of their preferences, but if that man looks right enough, yes, she, she'll fuck with him if he fires seven five six. Yes, she will. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, hold on. We got a super chat. We got one. Yeah, right. got one. So I agree with Fifth when they said he get grabbed by the neck. He must be reaching down. Exactly, though. They won't. They won't that. No, nah, hey, hey, hey. They want. Yeah. They want it to point downward. Look here. Nah, no, no. Look, you can you straight, do this. You can reach straight at him. Look, oh my look, God! Look, look, just like this. Look, they like this. You go. You <laughs> get your ass. But Steve, you I, I level. Get your have ass. Same okay. type of thing, man. He's pointing down. No, I, we're saying this. Spit. We're going like this. Yeah, go like this. That, that doesn't work. That's the same. Yeah, you go like this. <laughs> I'm going like this. You. You get your ass out of here. Get it out. <laughs> get your ass out of here. Mm-hmm. He ain't shit, man. Um, they said uh, six feet is not basic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like it depends on the market, right? I mean, being in Atlanta, I mean, we have a lot of guys out here that are. That's all. Taller, so it's like what I'm, you know, what I'm used to seeing. In Those guys in a hot meal. Generally speaking, it may not be, but. <laughs> Yeah, because <laughs> I think it's five nine, like the the average. Average, I, yeah. Know. I mean, I feel like the average for U.S. woman is like five four. So technically, I'm tall. I don't consider five six tall. So it's really all subjective. Like you know, yeah, a lot of context that goes in it, in and out of it. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, what's the age range? All right, age range. She's twenty seven, I believe. You know, guys, I'm a she's twenty seven years old. So I would say twenty six. I'll go back one to 52 because I got to stand up for my 50 year old. So I got to say 52. Now, on the side, on the side, I think she'll go up to 55, 60. Guys, what do y'all have? What is the high, the low, and what is the side guy number? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no right now. I don't, think go that. I don't think she'll go that far. I think she got a 10 year window. Yep. I agree with Phil. I don't think she, I don't think she'll go that far because she feel like she's accomplished so much. Yep. She deserves this type of man. I don't think she will. And I think on the back end, she would, but he would have to be gamed up. He would really have to be gamed up. Wait, wait, wait. Gamed up and, and, and probably be in excellent shape for his age. Mm-hmm. Jacob, wake up, dog. Stop allowing the world to dictate how you think about yourself. Why do you give a fuck what women prefer? Okay. I don't give a fuck. So, so let, 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 me, let me talk to him. Guys, guys in the chat, I want to try to think about something. A lot of you, your, your credit is probably shitty. You probably don't make that kind of money. But if you had your choice, you would prefer a $100,000 BMW or a Benz. But your credit and your money won't put you on that BMW lot. So you got to go to the Toyota lot. Yep. Or like a, a, a Toyota for about $19,000. And so, guys, oh, go ahead, Zach. No, so I said all that to say this: just because you have a preference doesn't mean anything when all you have available around you is this. Right, and guys, don't forget in twelve days taxes. So you get the bread there. You bring it in. You get your Toyota with your tax fund. So don't think, don't get it twisted. No bins, Toyotas. Age range. Um, I prefer like early thirties. Um. Okay. So I'd probably say like 30, 35, somewhere in between there. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and that's 30, a preference. It's not like a hard on no, but so 30 to 35? Mm-hmm. Okay. 35 the, she'll, the she'll oldest. Go 40s. She'll go uh, low. Hey, hey, you're ready for the swag, Fifth. Let's get ready. Um, I'd ready. probably say oldest I'll go is maybe 39. 39. Okay, okay. see, that's the fact that she said 39, that's not a big jump for 41, 42. So no yeah, that's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to swag check? Or you want to keep it going real quick? Uh, fifth. Uh, we can do it. It's all good. All right, let's swag yeah, check. Let's swag it. Let, oh, me, let, me, let me just say this real quick. There's nothing wrong with Toyotas. Toyota makes some some dope carries. Oh, very long. Yeah. Avalon TROs. 
They they they, they make some. Jared, they make some, Jared, some long lasting. I don't know what it is. I got Avalon. I got Avalon too, man. All right, here we go. All right, well, fourteen thousand people. Oof, oof, oof. Mm. Mm. Look a little tiny, B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. See the wrist. Yeah, see the wrist too, and, and Look, man, do you see the wrist? Do you see this wrist, dog? Skinny, dog. Yeah, it's just skinny. It's just skinny. She's, 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 she's bony. Oh, Erica's corner. Real quick, my bad. Yes, the Sequoia. I'm looking at one myself. Yes, the Sequoia. I like the Sequoia. So it's rugged. My bad, my bad. I'm sorry. Now, this is cool. She's in the kitchen. Let's see what she's doing. She's not cooking. Not doing shit. She's skinny, man. Some guys like him skinny. Yeah, she's tiny, dog. Some guys like him. Hey, everybody has their press. Some guys are going to deal with that. They can work with that. Oh my God! What the fuck? Oh man! Oh no! You already know. She, hey, hey, guys! Her friend is going to show you. Hey, fuck the best friends. That, that, that's the one you got to introduce yourself to first if they together. Her friend may be. Nah, feel, feel hell no. Her friend is a little lit. Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, this ain't it. Both of them ain't cool. I can't fuck with it. It's not. Look at arm. I don't. I don't mind that. That's okay. It's just I don't. It's just a. We tried to. We tried to dog. We can't. We can't wrestle. Like with a with a hero. We no, we can't wrestle, dog. And then and then that way, I will pull her arm out the socket by accident, dog. She's <laughs> attractive, but she's just too small for me. No, I like that. I like that hairstyle she has with her natural hair. That's that's nice. Yeah, dog. I, let me see, dog. We. Let's see. Wait a minute. The, the, the light scan shit look like she got a little meat on her. The light yeah, the right right here, yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. Yeah, Let's she find out. Yeah. Let's like find she out. Like, she look like she got a little meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Wow. Yeah, she, all right. All right. Well, let's no. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. I don't know. Look like the front ain't, ain't, ain't look like you ain't got nothing in back there. Look like the because right, you know right. you supposed to see ads from the front. Yeah, she, you know, she, I think she got a chubby face. Horrible. She. Yeah, she's she ain't that though. Her friend is. Yeah, yeah, she. My, my bad. My bad, fellas. Oh, oh no. What is he zooming on that? That's a little. Come that, on. See, I like forgot. That. See, Steve. Oh, let's see this other one. Let's see the other one. Here we go. I hate pageant women. Women who think they're just oh, I, don't still like women, I, don't like women, I don't like women that's in beauty pageants and shit. Shit. Yeah, no, our whole crew is little. Yeah, I'm not with the little, the little, little crew. Yeah. And they, and they live in Atlanta? L land of the, of, the, of the Kirby bitches? Yeah, this ain't it. He says you gotta watch poor large birds. <laughs> must all be transplants. I don't think none of them are born and raised in Georgia and shit. Oh, and I hate people with memes pages. Uh, let me see. Um, well, that she our regular hair looks nice. I mean, she the, like she like you like, like uh who like, who's Russell like Wilson? Who's Russell Wilson's wife? Uh, uh, Sierra. Yeah, that's what she looks like. She reminds you of Sierra. Yeah. Hmm. Sierra wasn't really. She's skinny too, kind of. She got a. I think she tried to get a BBL. Yeah, this ain't it. Though. I I would not I want her. Job. I can't do no BBLs, dog. At all, I man. Need, I need stretch marks and dimples in my booties, dog. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. There's nothing wrong with skinny. Look at this, dog. Look oh, at she's this. okay. Let, let me make this clear to everyone watch. I don't think she's unattractive. She's cute. She just body wise. I need something thicker. I, I need. I need well, a little bit But you know, some guys are like like that size. You know, everybody's yeah, got yeah, their little. Yeah. Right yeah. Personally, y'all just like them thickety thick. She just, she just not. I like I like chicks with with shapely legs, bro. But at least she's putting some stuff together. That's that's good. At least she's putting something together. Wait, is that fake eyes? Wait, oh, I don't. That's a man. Come on, I cannot. 
Uh, it may be I, a filter. It may be a filter. See, I thought I was the only one that had a problem with that type of shit. I, I, I don't like that. That may be a filter. Wait, did she get? Didn't she get some flowers from somebody? Because I know she didn't get those. Those are her flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody. She got somebody giving her something. But wait, wait, she putting all that stuff together. But I was look at the kitchen, look at the back, look at the background, clean. Yeah, but I don't see nothing, nothing of essence on the on the counter. I don't see no crock Where pot. Where is the air fryer? No spatulas. <laughs> no pot holders. Nothing. That's sushi. I like sushi, boy. I appreciate that. Look good as fuck right there. Two plates. Two plates. plates. That's somebody. That's another plates. Not a girlfriend. Nah, that ain't a girlfriend. Girlfriend, guys. (laughs) Yeah. The girlfriend, guys. That's uh, hey, all y'all see that? That hey, she's not showing you the other guy. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. We good though. All right, we good on that. All right, guys. So let's get into this pineapple because we got some interesting stuff to show y'all. Someone to say forty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, I'm just like throwing numbers out. I mean, forty is fine too. It's totally uh, okay. I told y'all it's okay. Too. Okay. Do yeah. in this yeah. Yes, you will. Yes. Uh, can you date? So twenty six is enough. I feel like twenty six, maybe. I mean, just based on how like men and women mature. Oh, no, um, no, I don't think okay, okay. Can you pause it? Can you pause it? I prefer like people All right. like thirty. Hold on, guys. Okay. Uh, so guys, understand something? We, we already talked about this, so this is going to be something that is being repeated. When a lot of times when women are doling out these preferences, they're thinking about relationship type shit. When it comes to casual encounters, they are way more flexible with the age and the height and all that other shit. Trust and believe. Yeah. No, it's all yeah, absolutely. Here we go, guys. We have yeah. kids. Guys got a question, please put a cue. We got y'all. Yes, get, I definitely yeah. want kids for sure. And if, if he has kids, it's not a bad thing. Um, I mean, you, you gotta understand people like in the age bracket, they're more than likely gonna have them nine times out of ten, especially mm-hmm. here. Um, but I'm not yeah. opposed to it. Definitely not opposed to it. I feel like being a dad, you know, brings you some good characteristics that actually may work out in your favor. So it's not okay. a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Actually, can you, uh, pause it? There- can you pause it, my bestie? My best. I gotta say, I gotta say this. For a lot of women, not all women, for a lot of women, seeing a dude around his kids, it is a sexy thing. It it is, and, and I'm gonna tell you why single fathers actually don't really have that much trouble on a dating game or in a dating game. It's very simple because they typically don't have custody of the kids. So they have free time where the chick can still get her time in. This is why single mothers have it a little more difficult, whereas single fathers don't really struggle as much. Simply because the kid don't live with them. Y'all got it. My bad. I'm uh, you. A number. Um, how how many is the max? Mm, I actually never really thought about that. Um, two. I would say two. Okay. Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, um, women tend to to put a number on how many um moms. Mm-hmm. Do you do you have a number on like you say two kids? Can you have two different baby moms or no? Um, I mean, if he does, that's just like his situation, his case is fine as long as it's a good relationship with the mother of the children. Um, Mm -hmm. obviously, preferably, if it's the same woman, it'd be easier, right? Um, so yeah, Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you say, okay, so you say, handsome, I know you say whatever you find attractive, but is there like um, a race of preference or any race is open? Um, I'm open to other races. I do prefer my black kings, but mm-hmm. I mean, I'm open. I personally never dated outside kings, of my own race. She gets the gold star for the day. So, okay. Yeah. You know, when you... Okay. We out here want it, nigga. You okay. know what I mean? mm-hmm. And I think last question. Last question. Um, how money. much money does he need to make? All right, chat room. How much money do you think the guy needs to make? Chat room, let us know. How much money... Do you think that guy needs to make? Go ahead and let us know, chat room. Guys, what do y'all think? Uh, I think I would say a hundred thousand. Between yeah, I'll say a hundred thousand. I'm, I'm gonna go whatever if he can take care of himself. Okay. Uh, uh, um, I'm I'm think she's gonna be resistant to put a number on it, but I think Melly gonna make her. 
So I'm kind of like in, in, in what 50 is saying, she's probably going to say something about her lifestyle. As long as the guy has a lifestyle where he could take care of himself and he's ambitious and motivated to get more, I'll fuck with him. Well, and, and, well, before we do this, here's a question. Well, here's the thing, MF. I know a guy that was talking to a woman that was making her eat more. So, yeah, he had influence over her. So, yes. So you can have influence over her if you choose to do that. But what say you guys on this question right here? Yeah, you can you can have her eating carbs all goddamn day and then have her shape it up as she gains the weight. Make sure yeah. that she good proportion. Do you have anything on this, brother? Yeah, I mean, if you have influence strong enough, yeah, it could. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, dog. I mean, whatever you want. I mean, shapely wise. I mean, a woman would do. Dog. I mean, mm. I've had mm. women knowing they're they've been smaller when I met them, but they've known that I like bigger women. So they, they have, they have, they have packing on. Yeah, they packing on for you. Yeah, packing that's, on. Yeah, that's influence. That's influence like a motherfucker. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, to put a number on it, let's just say a hundred, right? Because when we okay. think about it, especially with taxes, really not a lot to be honest. So, okay. mm -hmm. all right, guys. All right, now we're gonna move to the guys. Now, all right, guys, we're gonna move to the guys. The pineapple gentleman, you know how it works. Gentlemen, you got questions or call yeah, in? We got call you. Her fine, bro. Like, like these right. things is really the. This is gonna be a very, very interesting one, guys, because Melly does mention us, but then we got to have a little bit of uh, blowback to show y'all why we are very important in this this game here. Okay, so here we go, gentlemen. You should be talking to him, so they come and help you out. Okay, gotcha. Okay, nice. All the all the messages. She thank you, gives. guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank yes. You. They make me feel like usually I don't bring pretty girls. Here's the question. If you're so gorgeous, then where's the the guy? I mean, I, I, this, people don't understand, man. They were sitting at the table with eating shrimp. They were together, dog. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. 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 Not as much as tonight. Oh, well, I'm, I'm blessed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, all right. Well, we're gonna. Well, uh, see, hold on, real quick. We have uh, uh, aesthetically compared to some of the uh, chicks that we've reviewed, she has a little more class, or at least the appearance of it. Yeah. With 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 just her her clothing, her and, clothing. I think, and I and I would give her that dog. I'll yeah, much and I think that. that's why guys is 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 really on her like that. Google I. Yeah. Uh, somebody here. And again, guys, uh, for you who are watching, if you want to come and shoot your shot, there is the link in the description of this video, or you can uh, send me an email, but it's easier if you click the link. The email is melimonaco1 at gmail.com. So, um, so let's see. Uh, we have Carrie. Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Is it Carrie? No, 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 wait. Now, everybody. It is very important that you pay attention to everybody that's talking to her until Ish comes on. It's, 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 all this is important, gentlemen. This is very important. So pay attention to every uh, mimicking ass guy that comes on. Just watch, guys. Yes, I think. Uh, we, we can't hear you. Your mic is off. Yeah, I'm like, I can't see you. This nigga sitting in a oh, car in the dark. I didn't actually think I was going to get picked. What's up? Oh. I didn't actually think I was going to get picked. What confidence. They, gentlemen, every word. Remember this because it's all going to come blowing back on them. How come you didn't think you were going to get picked? How are you? I'm all right because usually I have a bad connection every time I'm on here. Well, so if you have a bad connection in your car, why can't you go in your house? Something oh. I got to the show and watch Melly, and you know she always has some pretty girls. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm trying to build up my Nigga, game. I guess, I guess you got T-Mobile, dog. So that when they come, yeah, Zach, you got your T-Mobile, dog. Definitely. <laughs> and the worst part, he's got an iPhone and T-Mobile, which is a double negative. Shoot my shot and hit my target. How you doing? Okay, so you you shot your shot before, huh? Um. No, nah, not on this show. It was like one other time. Mm -hmm. I was on. Okay. I so. Awesome. So I guess tell me about yourself. How old are you? Where are you from? Well, See that gentleman, 
She's asking a question. He can't even speak up for herself. Remember this. I'm actually excluded because I'm a little older. I'm like 43. See, listen to him. Even it, defeated. What, defeated. 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 You should say, you know what? I'm 43 years old. Da 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 da. But look how defeated he is, gentlemen. Listen to this. So, um, and I want you to see Melly's face. Now, remember, guys. I want you guys. And this is very important. Y'all watch this. Notice how when the guys are defeated, they can't talk. They don't know what they're saying or doing. Melly approves of this shit. Melly approves of it. Just remember that, gentlemen. You know. That's why I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked. I was like, oh, I'm about to leave. I'm like 43. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. He's fifth, fifth. He looking for some sympathy. With his hood. Look day. at him. He's looking for sympathy. All day. Okay. But I look, I mean, look 35, you know. You do look younger. I can okay. do that. Can you pause it? <clears throat> do y'all know that is the most feminine thing for a man to say? But I look this age. And... and, and and you don't see Melly correcting him. You gotta make sure. You now what y'all notice, Zag, is Melly correcting him and saying, because remember, when we go back to this, why is she correcting him and saying real men don't talk that way? Why is she saying that real, real pipe hitting guys? Like we're gonna show you guys. Why isn't she saying what she says in her videos, gentlemen, mm -hmm. to this guy right here? Yeah, what we go, we go being a self assured man with confidence. And yeah, assertive. all that shit she in any of that. videos in her videos. Why is she saying that to him right now? Remember, guys, we gonna show you something. It's important. Mm -hmm. What do you like to do? Like, what's a good hobby that you have? Uh, I am a uh, instrumentalist, hip hop instrumentalist. Look at can't even look. Hey, remember, can't look into the camera. Hey, look at the camera. Looking off. He weak. He is weak. Weak as fuck. But this is the exception, guys. Remember, the exception are the males that have no self-worth, low self-esteem, and they're not assertive. Remember, think, watch this. Um, I set up uh, audiovisual equipment for uh, concerts, private parties, special events. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you do get married, I can do the lights for your wedding. I can do the lights. Uh, look at him! Not what, what? 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 Not hey, nothing. Not this is crazy. This, hey, Yo, this, okay, can you pause it? Hold on, real yeah. quick. This dude, guys, he's talking about if you do get married, like he's literally taking himself out of the equation, like he got no shot because he's talking about her future. That don't include him. Now he should not be including himself in the future of marriage, but he can include himself in the near future of them linking up. I thought he was gonna say, "Luke, I am your father" type shit. Yeah, you know I mean, so. <laughs> I can, uh, do party. I'm uh, an aspiring spoken word artist. Mm -hmm. um, look, he can't look in the fucking. Yeah, I ain't never seen a rich spoken word motherfucker. This motherfucker be broke. Broke as hell. That's about it. I've been working in the entertainment industry since about 2000. He's scared to look in the camera. 2003. Uh, okay. I'm to, to, so. to film and TV right now. Um, and that's about it. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm like, definitely, you know, pursue it as much as you can. Like, film See that? Oh, oh, she's saying yeah. goodbye. Television can be very rewarding. That's the type of advice that a chick that's friend zoned you would say. Hey, 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 bro. She'll call you bro. Hey, bro, she'll pat you on the back. Hey, bro, look, mm -hmm. I'm praying for you. You can do it. Yeah, you can Never do it. Give up. You have a grid and like your hard work and whatnot. Um, oh, so I uh, guess. Oh, did they kick so, him out? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Carrie. The, oh, sorry. Yeah, the, um, the chat has spoken. In the car, it was in the car that's suspect. Yeah, I, I don't, suspicious. Yes. Uh, I don't I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe you know they they be talking like he got a girlfriend at home or, or something. That's why he's in the You know what? I didn't even think about that. That could be a possibility, or he could be on the road, you never know. That's a possibility. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe he's a trucker. Who knows? Oh man. I'm like, I don't know if I'd be open then because they the trucker. Yeah. Just, always, especially if they're like OTR. I used to work in logistics for like a few years, man. Like they're always I agree with you. So uh so tell us um Adil, 
negative about yourself? What is your toxic trait? I am an overthinker. <laughs> ago? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm like, that seems like such a long You know, I like how people try to gloss over shit. Because she said a toxic trait. And then she said overthinker. Okay, let me, let, oh, let me tell you shit. what she's really saying. All right. I'm insecure. And, and when I'm dealing with a guy and I get that type of emotional connection, I'm worried about him and what he might be doing with other bitches. That's what she really saying. All right, well, I guess issues about to come up. So we're about to get into it, guys. We're about to get into this because Ish is on Ish is second up. So let's watch Ish, who we've been trying to train. Don't even do the work. You know, they, they, they yeah. with something in their past, in their childhood, and they just hope <laughs> it would be fixed, but it's not. Right. But I mean, we thank God for healing, though. You know, we thank God for growth. So, mm -hmm. okay. I'm like, say no. All right, we got somebody else. Uh, also, guys, if you want to um, uh, see Leah uh, IG, that's her IG. Go over there. You follow, you um, like, <laughs> you do what you need to do so she can talk to you. But actually, you should come here right now so you can talk right now. I'm like, pull up. Uh, we can't hear you, Zach. Yeah, can you pause it real quick before she come on, before Ish comes on, guys? If you're watching, pay attention to Melly's face the whole time, from when Ish first comes on. Look at her face. Go ahead, go ahead, sweetie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have Ish. Hello. Hi. Uh, Ish. Uh, How are you? Uh, I'm good. Uh, yeah. So here, right? Leah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. My name is Ish. So um, I just I don't want to have like. A long conversation. I just have one question for you. Oh, they say, yeah, 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 look at her face. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a black dress? Do I have a black dress? Yeah. I have a few black dresses. That's all I need to know. All right. So look, I'm gonna hit you on Instagram. We get, I'll get your number, and then we'll get a call on. And I need you to wear that black dress for me. That's it. Wait, Paul, hold on, because I gotta get to know you first. Like, <laughs> yeah, we could do that. On the back. I don't want to do too much on the front, you know. Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to get you on Instagram. I'm going to put my Instagram in your DMs, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All Ish, right. I got a question. Do you really yeah. think that technique works for you? That Does this technique works? Because I... Well, th that just was... Uh, you heard uh, on top. Pause it. <laughs> you heard what she said, this technique. Yes. Yes. You heard me? Because what she's saying is, is that she see, she's seen it work too many times. And gentlemen, we're about yeah. to show something. And it's ruining the show. And it's ruining the show. It's ruining the show because she wants losers. Losers. Because then they make the show. They 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 bring yeah. the entertainment and bring the show. Ish came in there, asked what if she had a black dress. Yes. <laughs> Wear the black dress when I hit you on the Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He was following directions. Yes. This is what you want, man. Yes, yes. Uh, hold on a second. Brian says, uh, Steve, you say when you see a woman, you stop yourself from saying she's pretty beautiful, uh, but you always say you're not messing with no ducks. Okay, caller, beauty is, is what beauty does. And listen, every man has his idea of what is good for him. But when you have game, you're not looking at a fucking, you're not falling in love with her fucking makeup. You're not falling in love with her push-up bra or a tight-ass clothes, you dumb fuck. Nobody's saying that you got to mess with a swamp creature. It's that you guys are giving her credit for what? What is the credit you're giving her, Brian? What, what, what makes a woman beautiful, Brian? Do you see this stupid ass shit? Let me let me let me say this. Okay, me, me personally, I'm not messing with no mud duck, no swap donkey, none of that, right? But what we're trying to say is, of course, you're going to deal with women that are visually appealing to you, but you're not going to let that be the motivating factor. You're going to look at the substance part of the woman, the character part of the woman, her ability to be pleasant, compliant. And she know how to follow instructions. That's way more important than how she fucking look. Exactly. If you have anything you want to say on that shit. Yeah, most definitely. See, when you have game, your vision of beauty is different. Thank you. Fuck. You know what I mean? It's different. And it's different from different lenses. See, 
following instructions, doing look. When you're a guy who's always had options because you have game, <laughs> beauty is normal. <laughs> That's like stock tires. You ever bought a car with no rims or tires? It's just, just sitting on the ground. No, they have tires, right? That's normal. So when you're the guy, you always have options. So beauty is never on the table. When you don't have options, you're so thirsty because you never had really nothing beautiful. Thank That's you. All right. All right, here we go. Guys over at the man mindset told me to do. <laughs> so you're just doing it? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, because the whole thing is she's pretty popular. And yeah, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop <laughs> right there. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> See, when Steve, when, when I heard this last night and we got off the phone, I was irritated the whole night at that. <laughs> popular? See, see, guys, see, and this is how guys get caught up because a woman is supposedly popular or whatever it is, or she's beautiful, and all these other guys supposedly want her. Now, you're supposed to try and outdo them to get her attention. So, no. uh, also, I want to bring up the fact that, I mean, shout out to my, my man, Ish. He came in there with a nice template, right? Yes, yes. But, but, but also, he, his, his rebuttals should have been more directing not only this woman he's talking to, but the host. Yes. And see, this yes. is where you, when you got game, you tying all the women in together. And see, yes. you know what? You say, you know what, Melly? Me and her got a thing going, and I'm feeling you're trying to hate on me. But look here, Melly. If you want a piece of me, you got to holler at me, man. You just got to let, let me know. See, you got to bring the women at competitive feet with each other. You know yes. I mean? Don't, don't, hey, Melly, you know what this is? You know what this is on the back end. You know what it is. Oh, guys, we want to show y'all something. Watch this. It's probably going to get lost. So if you don't talk and for her to get to know you a little bit and re remember you by, by something, you know, you got to make an impression a little bit. There you, there you go. So that's I'll pause there. This is what got me. Making an impression. No. What you're doing is you're giving impact to this woman to yes. get her curious. Yes. To make her move. In yes. the way you need her to move. Exactly. I'm not here to impress her. When you say when you say things like impressing or an impression, that means she wants you to impress her. Like a mm -hmm. fucking circus monkey. Exactly. I'm supposed to be here dancing for you, bitch. Oh, look at me. Ha 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 ha. And she'd be like, Oh, you're so cute and funny. Yeah, call me. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. That's not how it yeah. works. Absolutely. Here we go. She sees your messages. Oh, yeah, that is ish. And then I, yep. I'm just trying to give you some tips because because I've seen those. No, no, can, can, can you pause it? Can you pause it one more time? I'm sorry. Okay, for for those of you who who are unaware, Melly, you know she does you know other things outside of the pineapple show where she I give um, tips attempts to to give women uh, men dating advice. Okay, for let me just say this. I got I got to make this point for every single woman on the internet mm. who fashions herself a dating coach for men. Here's the fundamental flaw with that. First and foremost, the foundation of anything is manhood. There is no female dating coach on this planet that can teach a man how to be a man. Mm -hmm. There is no female dating coach on the planet that can mentor young men about manhood. That's where all this shit starts from. The foundation and the base of anything is rooted in being a man. So she's giving him tips on how to try and impress the woman and win her over and like uh, this, said, be a dancing monkey. Fuck that. But this is the contradiction. We're going to show you the contradiction in a second. Let her finish telling how to what she thinks about us guys. Here we go. Videos where those guys are saying, just tell her to go in the DM. That's not really the point of the show. You know, the right. point of the show is there it is. There it is too. Okay. There it is. Okay. Yeah. See, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> see, she said the point of the show. Yeah. Steve, I would have been mm -hmm. like, <clears throat> Melly, I understand this is your platform. Mm -hmm. and I really don't give two dams about the point of the show. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm here to introduce Laya to me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To me. So your show and what you're trying to do with your show has nothing to do with me. Right. 
The point of the show, guys, to bring ignorant-ass guys on to lose, to get beat the fuck down. But we're going to show you the contradiction that she has. But let her finish real quick. Watch this. You to get to know the girl a little bit, she gets to know you, and then you guys decide what you want to do further in the DMs. But well, can you pause? The, the, can you pause? I'm sorry. Can you pause? One more time. One more time. Can, can, I, can, I, can I get a single? Can I get a, a solo? Melly, I understand it's about the woman getting to know me, but I get to know women strictly on my terms. And if she ain't down for that, then she ain't the woman I need to get to know. There you go. Exactly. Right. Here we go, guys. That's your, technique. That's your technique. If it works for you, you know, who am I to tell you it's not working? Melly, Melly, you're right. You're right on that. But the Leah I want to know is not the Leah here right now. This oh, is no, the she's definitely here. She, I'm, I'm who I am, baby, like on and off camera. <laughs> So oh, he, didn't, he didn't know how to sell that. He, 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 he didn't know how to sell that. What he should have said is, look here. This person that's on YouTube right now oh yes. is not the person that I know that's who she is in her soul. And when I meet that woman and she yes. meets me, yes. And, and, and when I get an opportunity to dig all in that soul of her, yes. She's going to love it. And you know what? That smile, how she glows right now. Uh, I said, Melly, don't hate on this. All right, here we go. That, but look, I want to see it for myself. So I'm going to hit you up on Instagram, and then we're going to see if that's really you. Okay. Oh, real quick. I, I hate to pause. I hate to keep pausing it. No, you're good. On my membership, I just released How to Talk to Women. It's, and I have a part in there about cadence. On, on this part, when it's a cadence, he's speaking, but he's speaking too fast. Yes, yes, too nervous. He's not, he's, it's, he's it's, it's just right there. It's time to call, uh, call in, Ish. He's call in the chat right now. But go ahead, go ahead, Fifth, my bad. Yeah, so you, you're speaking too fast, Ish, and you got to slow it down to Lord let God. them know that you're in charge, though, too. Yeah. See, when you're yeah. speaking fast, you seem like you're trying to say something to get up out of there. And then when you get to talking like this, they think you're nervous. And no, 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 no. Look here. This is how it's going to go. This is how we're going to rock. Slow your cadence down. Communicate with them. And take control of the other situation. All right, here we go. Let's go with. It. Let's see if that works out. Watch what the ladies say. Listen before we drop the bomb and listen what they say. Mm -hmm. Watch, watch. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm like, no. I've I've mm -hmm. seen those. Um, my people have been sending me those videos of those guys telling they're reviewing the pineapple show and they're telling them telling the guys what they need to do. And I'm like, that's stupid. Like, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Oh, uh, nine seven eight. Which name are you calling from? So this is Ish. Yeah, I, I think I yeah, I got a little nervous at the end. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you did okay, Ish. You just got nervous and then stand on it, but you didn't do nothing wrong. Because we're about to show you why you kind of did something right. Okay? I did a lot right. I think you yeah. did a lot right. I just think, you know, Ish, from if you, like, if you slow it down and you already corralled her, like you already had her. So now you got to move your efforts towards the 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 person who can get in the way of you being in charge of this person, right? So it was Melly. So you should have had a few words like Melly. Hey, look here, Melly. I'm calling on the show. I like Zag was saying. I I talk to women on my terms, and this is this is a part of it. But let me tell you something. Don't worry. I'm a, I'm gonna take good care of her. She's gonna feel real good after the show. Me and her gonna rock and roll. She gonna call and thank you for even having this opportunity to meet me. You understand me? Facts. This is how you pimp her out. There you go. And, and let me let me say this, Ish, because you got caught up because she challenged you. Yes. She she challenged you, and, and what you showed her was that you weren't really confident in your way of doing things. Mm -hmm. This is why she said, so you just listened to them? Because she mm -hmm. felt like, who is Ish really? So she right. challenged your whole ensemble regarding how you move and and you and you blinked you know what i'm saying all right ish we'll throw you back in because we got to break this down okay ish all right thanks. all right fifth get ready to pull it go ahead and pull it up fifth now gentlemen now i want you to learn the contradiction here so she's sitting around saying that i you should not be direct you should not be assertive you should not be dominant but fifth Please take the floor. Hey guys, we're going to show you why she's full of shit. Go ahead, Fifth. Show them what's up. Yeah, so on, let me take you and remove some of this stuff. All right. So look here real quick. I want everybody to see. First of all, can y'all hear this thing? Can y'all hear this? 
Uh, no, turn, no, we can't hear it. Let me, let me make sure y'all can hear this, man. Y'all should be able to hear it. Hold on. Y'all no. can't hear that? No. No. No, I can't hear it either. All right, hold on. Let me let me get going here. Hold on. What about now? No. No. All right. Well, Maybe I can upload it. Give me a minute. Yeah. You all may right. need to, you may need to upload it. See, hold on. Let me all see. Right, all right. All right. Why are you talking? Let me why are you trying to go ahead and jump in and let me see, give me a second. Hold on. See here, man. Hello. Let me now, gentlemen. The reason we're about to show you this is the, that we still can't hear fifth. The reason why we're showing right. you this is the is the contradiction and why she is not actually being honest. She's being disingenuous Let right now. Up, yeah. Okay, I'll bring I'll bring it up. Hold on, I'm bringing it up right now. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, while, while, while you're doing that, I'll, I'll, I'll say something, Steve. While you're doing yeah, that. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting, I'm getting it together. Go ahead. So, shout out to Melly. But she has a show. Yes. So, what the 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 whole point of the pineapple show is basically for the women to to be pedestalized. Right. Now and, I got. You. And what Ish is doing is taking women off the pedestal, like we tell you guys to do. And and that's fucking up the flow of Mel's show and and the entertainment factor of now, because Mel, Melly knows when there are suckers calling in. And oh they, yeah, they corny and goofy. This is why she 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 let them go. She, she let them talk. You know what I'm saying? And because well, she well, knows right. that the guys that are watching when they send in the super chats and they and they commenting, she knows that's part of the appeal of the show. So if if every guy started calling up doing what Ish is doing, it will fuck up her show. Now let's look what Melly's saying on video. Now this is Melly on video. Okay, this is eight toxic masculine traits women secretly crave. Now this comes from Melly. Listen, I'm gonna say it again. Eight toxic masculine traits women secretly crave, and this is from Melly. Now watch what she says, gentlemen. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Love those qualities. It might help you actually. So before we start, I created a Patreon. I All right, whatever. Them bitches be a little, um, cool, cool, you know, a little, not all, but some. So those toxic traits, traits, <laughs> I can say it. Those toxic traits are actually attractive to some women. So I'm sure you already got some of those. All right, let's go. Number one, act standoffish slash. Now, hold on. Now, gentlemen, do you see any of the guys that are on the pineapple show? Do they act standoff? Now, follow me. This is, guys, think about this. Every motherfucker other than Ish on there is going to be the total opposite of what she's saying. Mm -hmm. The total, uh, gentlemen, this is coming from her mouth. And then she's got the audacity to say that Ish was wrong, we're wrong, but she comes out with a video telling you guys that we're actually right. Stoicism. Yes. So, you know, a lot of women want what they can have and just you acting like stand up -ish, acting like you don't even see her, acting like you don't even give a fuck. See that? Right there. See? Right there. Right there. Everybody's calling right. her beautiful. See that? That that's see that we we've always told you don't call them beautiful. And what is she saying, Zag and Fifth? What is she saying? Mm -hmm. See that guy? We uh, we want to show y'all guys all day. It's gonna make her want you even more. Emotionless, like you know, nothing can move you. She's gonna be like, well, them other guys when I do this or when I don't show them, uh, you know. And the fact that it's not going to work on you and you're still going to act like, bitch, I don't even see you. It's going to drive her crazy. You just look like a bad boy, kind of. And because, so, you know. So, so, can you pause it, Steve? Can you yeah. pause it? And it goes back to when Melly said she's popular or whatever the fuck she said. I don't, I don't give a fuck about her popularity. <laughs> like, about about her popularity. Me, right? Which makes us a dick and an asshole by telling yeah. her what to yeah. do. Yeah, I'm popular. I I'm popular in this motherfucker. <laughs> Bad boys can be locked down. It's attractive to bitches. Number two, be unavailable. You might mm -hmm. just be sitting at the house or you might have a hundred bitches, so you are really unavailable. 
but that again is gonna drive women crazy especially women who get a lot of attention they're gonna be like wait so do you think a guy that comes on the show oh i don't think i'm old enough and i think i'm too old and she's so beautiful and it's your favorite color what's your zodiac sign oh okay what do you do for fun what's your hobbies you know, is it is this something? What, what happened in your last relationship? What are you looking for in a man? Mm -hmm. Y'all, these are the niggas that are always available. Always available. So it's showing. That's what makes her show the available motherfuckers. And Ish, even though he kind of messed up a little bit, he was the unavailable asshole that she didn't like because she doesn't want people to realize this is how you get the pussy by telling her what the fuck to do, telling her to get her ass on the back end and stop chopping it up with her. But let's continue. How easy. Let's get to another. Than you do, that's when she's not going to be able to handle like the rejection and she's going to want to be with you even more. Number three, I don't think this is a toxic one, but sometimes it's, it can be. So you guys can be overly passionate, like about anything, like MMA, soccer, basketball, uh, your family, and you're so unapologetic about it. You're like, you're exact. Uh, I'm overly passionate about this motherfucking game that we talk yeah, about. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm passionate yeah. about manhood. Yeah. I'm passionate, I'm overly about, passionate saying, about me. This is why bro. you got to share us. Yeah. I'm passionate about saying this is why I only deal with women on my terms. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm passionate like, about um, a bitch with an apron that's going to be cooking for me and doing shit for me. I'm passionate about them doing that shit. Like we can, but at the end of the day, I'm all, I'm the biggest thing I'm passionate about is is my rules. Yep. So I'm gonna talk about very attractive to women. And it can be about anything, guns, tattoos, music, cause, anything. Just the fact that you're passionate about something is right, bitches pack. don't like it if you're too easy. No. Oh, back it up. See that right there? Listen, guys. Listen to what she's saying. This is coming from her mouth. Mm -hmm. she she see she this is the setup so, um i know it's I'm, I'm telling you a bunch of bad shit today but be difficult yes bitches don't like it if you're too easy no so was ish being easy or was ish being difficult by just saying i want to talk to you on the back end melly didn't like that because Ish is going to be the only one on this show i bet you that's going to be difficult where everybody else is going to pander Walk on eggshells and beat around the bush, fellas. What say you? That goes back to, I'm not going to do it your way. I understand the format of your show, but I'm not an agreeable Negro. Okay, I don't acquiesce and capitulate to the way you do shit. This is the way I do it. Mm -hmm. That's difficult. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm just, we just want to show you all this. We're trying to educate you on how she, she oh, said. Be difficult because they are used to motherfuckers being so easy going and i'm telling you easy going is for me i want easy going but somebody that's difficult to a lot of bitches they're gonna be like why why so let me ask y'all this question now why didn't she go to that first person and say to him from what she's saying right here and tell that guy why are you being difficult why are you being so easy matter of fact every sucker that has gone on a show why hasn't melly stopped for a second and say wait a second you're not going to win being nice you're not going to win being easy you're not going to be win uh, this one. she doesn't uh, y'all notice she doesn't say that but when the one is being difficult, when the one is keeping it a buck, all of a sudden on the show, you're the problem. And those three guys, oh my God, they're giving the wrong information. You you shouldn't be uh, difficult. You shouldn't have a standard. See how she's fucking lying right here? Bullshit. They keep on comparing because mm. life is easier for women. They get what they want on a regular. So you being difficult, is gonna trigger her mind and be like okay i need to get him instead of just being like okay fuck you you're difficult no they're gonna come even more for you also the thing that it does it makes bitches wonder wait did i do something wrong was i supposed to do it in a different way like and just like this you're keeping her on her toes at all times number five okay can you pause it can you pause this another thing? toxic one i want you guys oh, yeah. to understand something Either you're that, either you're that dude, or you're not. Okay, you yes. can't fake this. 
Women are going to see right through you because the moment she pull away, oh, oh girl, my, my bad girl. I, I ain't mean to be like that. I don't, I don't know why I'm being so stubborn and, and so hard headed with you because the, a guy who's faking it, he can't really do this. So you really got to be that dude for real. Now, listen to this one. And I got oh, one. Man, we, got, we got a super chat real quick, man. Oh, we got a super chat. Billy, shout out to Billy saying, damn it, give me those uh, Toxic Masters hates, uh, Silverback Nation. Silverback. <laughs> Shout out to the Silverbacks, man. Appreciate you out there, baby. Yes. Shout out. Yes. And listen to this last, this last one before you show them a video. But listen what saying. Be aggressive. Why isn't Melly saying to the rest of the guys after we start playing this again, why is she saying, why aren't you aggressive? Why are you so passive? Listen to this. Yeah. We're not talking about be aggressive. It's be aggressive towards your life, towards your goals, towards your passion, towards your money, towards your family, your happiness, and also like in the bedroom. You know, in the bedroom, we want you to be a little aggressive. You need to read the room, like I say all the time, because you go out of into like, oh. Can you, can you pause it? Can you pause it? I always say it? it. They want to. Guys. <laughs> They want that. Okay, I want you guys to understand something. When she talks about being aggressive in the bedroom, how you act outside of the bedroom, yeah. tells women whether or not you are an aggressive motherfucker in it. Now, if you're going to like this one, because I just want to show you this one right quick. Uh, this one is called, hold on, let me just show y'all one more before we continue. Oh, it's downloading. Because it's 13 dirty things girls wish guys did and in that fifth while it downloads is choking but let me let's get back oh. to, we're gonna it's downloads so when it all oh, loads up we're gonna play it. Let's, then I have to question. let's get back to melly and what she's saying now let's show you why this woman is full of shit i asked zag this early today uh, a few hours ago because i would it, it, zag, <laughs> let me see. you do not have Okay, every guy has an average what four minutes, maybe five minutes, if that. Yeah. You can't get to know a motherfucker in that amount of time. Oh. And and what this woman is about to say, some shit. Well, how how do I get to know you? What can you know about a motherfucker asking you boring ass questions? What the fuck can you know? So let's see what she's got to say. Here we go. I'm like, okay, can you really think for yourself? How do you feel about it? Like. Or are you even being authentic? Is it because you're nervous? Like authentic? Now wait, now now, he, she wants to say that about Ish. Why aren't they saying that about the rest of these motherfuckers coming in scared, not looking at the camera, ooh, ah, and owing, and all that bullshit, guys? Well, I, I would say this as well. How many guys has come on a pineapple show? And they talk about flying a chick out and all the shit they want to do for her, and all they really want to do is fuck. Are those guys being authentic? Hell no. Here we go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Is it the fact that it's live? You know, for some people, it can be mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. which is understandable and whatnot. But I mean, yeah, those are the kind of questions that come into my mind. So I don't really want to. You can't tell me anything about you. That's wait, wait, wait. What is me telling you something? Okay, gentlemen. Didn't the guy before that come in and tell her something about his artwork or whatever the fuck he said he was doing? Yeah. And not give him a friendly pat on the fucking back. Good and, luck and, to you. You a hard worker. Keep trying. Exactly. They're, they, oh. they're, 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 they're walking contradictions. They're full well, of shit. Well, and let me say this, because Ish did tell her we can talk about all of that on the back end. So he never told her, you know, we can't get better acquainted. What he told her is I'm not going to sit here and answer all your fucking questions. So when we talk about being a man, it's not about you and a woman not conversing. It's about you dictating the pace and the flow of the interaction. You are the one who's dictating how the communication is going to go to your standards and your liking. And if the woman don't like it, she can dip. That's what and, it's about. And always remember this, guys, that's listening to us. A woman is not going to show you her real self on the front end. This fucking woman is right. not. This is an actress, right? She's acting right now. Her she, public persona. Yeah, this this is a lie right here because what she is on the back end is only going to be shown when she gets around a man. She ain't going to act the fuck out, man. Here we go. It's a little wild, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Because then if you think about it, what's going to separate you from, you know, exactly. other people? Okay. Contradiction right there. Big time contradiction. Okay, gentlemen. Ish didn't ask a question. So that's watch. That's the separation. Ish did never add oh wait, asked her about the dress. That was the only thing he asked about was the dress. Outside of the dress, he didn't ask her what she does for a living, what she's looking for, and watch everybody else do it. Zach, I mean, go ahead, Zach. You got it, brother. I just want to point out she was talking about what's gonna separate you. He is doing the complete opposite of what every guy did before and what every guy gonna do after him. What are we talking about here? Absolutely. People that have been in my DMs that exactly talk to themselves. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point because I feel like you know you might not have the opportunity to talk to her because your your so, DM might. No, so yeah, and that's where the game comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck if we if you don't give us a call. Look, at the end of the day, you're into me. You into me. You'll figure it out. You'll reach out. You will holler back, regardless of what it is. If not, it's all good, young lady. Yeah, peace out. See you later, man. We do not give a fuck. It'd be crazy, yeah. and yeah. Uh, but yeah, you tried to help him. You did. You really did. Oh well, he didn't care. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, what did they say? They say she liked his approach, and many changed her mind. There yeah. it is. There yeah. it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Somebody there it is. that shit. There it is. Somebody, got, somebody recognized it. Melly changed her mind, then cut, but she's a walking contradiction because she's given all these assertive traits of men, and then all of a sudden, that now that you, she meets an assertive person, that he's wrong. Let's see how she backs out of this one. I don't know. But she said, "Okay, go to the DM." It, it doesn't mean she's gonna go really. Yeah, insurance. it didn't mean that. I'm just. I'm not really one see? to like embarrass. Yeah. Me. See, she. You know why she's saying that on the front end? Mm -hmm. Because then she's giving the secret to everybody else that uh, will. Yeah. Be the show. Exactly. It's called. It's called sisterhood, man. What they doing is high fiving. Hey, hey. You know what I mean? I don't want to show up, Melly, by saying what I liked. I'm gonna go ahead and high five her. I can. He can be my, it'd be my example. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Hey, let, me, let me point out something. Go go back up. Hold on real quick. I'm going to point out something. Um, JM at 831. JM, JM 831. Uh, yeah. Okay. Y'all remember, I think it was a show last week or the week before, probably about two weeks ago, where the other guy, I can't remember the other guy's name. Um, He came on and they stopped the show and did the same thing. They talked about him. If y'all pay attention, the only guys that leave a lasting impression are the guys that follow us and go on a show and do the shit that we mm -hmm. talk about. Yeah. Those are the guys that keep talking about the longest. Right. And those are the guys that are being recognized. Now she's got to clean this up. Uh, so, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys, try again if, if you want. All right. We got, we got more. We got Reggie. All right. Now, now, now let's see Reggie. Remember, mm -hmm. eight traits. Remember, assertive, dominant. Here comes Reggie. Hi, Reggie. Hi, hey, Reggie. how you doing, man? How you doing, Leah? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Hi. Hi. And I can't complain. Uh, Your last name, you actually have my father's last name. That's so crazy. Okay, okay. We got strong last names, you know. <laughs> now, like, what, he said, what he should have said is, don't worry about it. You'll have it soon. <laughs> I'm like, we should have. You got to learn how to flirt with these bitches. Nigga, like, come on. Game goofy. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Oakland, but I currently stay in Arizona right now. So yeah, okay. oh, you from the town? Okay. What, hey. what about you? You from Atlanta, or you stay in Atlanta? So, I'm like, so why isn't Melly stopping and saying, "I remember in my other video, you're not sounding assertive. Mm -hmm. You're not sounding dumb." Remember, she did a video on this, guys. And she's not calling out the bullshit. She only calls out the threat. That's what the guys look how they operating. Mm -hmm. This is bullshit. Complicated. I was born up yeah. north. Both sides of my family are actually from Illinois. Um, okay. But I've lived here a majority of my life. So, yes, I would say so, I'm from here. So this is getting to know her, really? Her just talking about a bunch of nothing? This is, this is how you get to know a woman, guys. This is what they want. Okay. What's okay. going on? See, if you're really going to give a man advice, this is where you tell him, say, bro, 
you need to take charge of the interaction and redirect her back to the task at hand. Letting her go on about where she grew up at really isn't conducive to your bottom line. And then we asked them this, what do you want to do with this woman, dog? Like, I want to smash. Then make sure the conversation is geared to that. Or, or I, did you not watch my video on the masculine traits of men? Mm -hmm. What is asking her a question showing your masculinity? Stop what you're doing right now and talk like a man. Go for what you want. Tell her what to do. But is she doing that, guys? No, 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 no. She wants to suck at the loot. She's helping him fail. To college in Atlanta, and like I've been still here ever since. So. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I was hearing your um, just hearing you talk a little bit how much you know guys make and all that stuff, you know, and that's and that's cool. Like I'm realistic, you know. Yeah. I'm basically building my credit. Like I'm gonna be realistic. I'm not gonna come on here and <laughs> hold on, hold on. Why are you telling a woman that? Hold on, wait, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please. I just, just, I just got it. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick. Well, boom, like I say all the time, because some girls are not so much into like, oh, you're a little too rough, you know, but. Being aggressive is usually a good choice because it shows masculinity. Mm -hmm. oh, where is Silverback? <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, where is gotta Mel be aggressive as fuck. Right, where is Melly correcting the situation right now mm -hmm. by telling him you're too passive? You're passive right now. And, and you know what's so funny? Because what she might say is, I'm not trying to interfere with her choice. I'm gonna let her pick, but she'll interfere with the shit we teach to do. Interfere with what it's just saying because she, exactly. I just wanted to show y'all guys. Yeah. Um, I got 200 k. I I don't I don't do that. Like I'm building my stuff. I'm I'm building my situation. You know, I do make 80 k. You know, I'm hey, a, a habit. Oh my god! Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Oh, First of all, any any man. We tell you guys, you never talk about finances with me. Mm -hmm. Ever. Never, ever. Ever. And look at him. He's doing the same way. Let's grab another one. She and says, real quick. I need place. to speak my mind. I'm speaking. They kind of do whatever they want. Like, oh, this yeah, toxic up. trait is be an apologetically what? authentic. Being who? Wait, 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 wait. Let me back it up. I, I, I could have I swore she said, wait, wait. Let's play it again. What? Overboard. Obviously. Number oh. six toxic trait is be an apologetically authentic. Yeah. Wait. So telling her how much money you make and what you do for a living is authentic. We're not trying to impress these women. That's authentic men. When you're around other men, are you trying to impress other men? So that's not even something that we fucking do. And you know what, Zach? Want to let you know, bro. I went ahead and went up to you, man. I went ahead and got that car, that Avalon that you said you wanted. I went ahead and got. We don't talk like that because that's not authentic. That's so not, it's not authentic for us to try to impress a woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? We not peacock. Peacock men, the, 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 the men in the peacocks show their color feathers and they put it real big to say, hey, look at me. We're not, that's not in our fucking DNA. Not at all. And, and, let, me, and let me say this. Being unapologetically authentic is you not giving a fuck about smashing. And, like, itch, hey. and itch, hit 50 up, man. I'm going to show you how to get out in her yeah. DMs to go ahead and snatch that anyway. That's there you go. a big and, and one for... Hold on, Steve, real quick. Let me just say this. Guys, you should have the mindset... I mean, yeah, she cute. You know, she's the type of chick that I, you know, visually, she's the type of chick I, you know, I fuck with. But I'm going to holler at Shorty and see where her head is at and see if she know how to follow some fucking direction. Yeah. And, and the minute, the minute she showed any reluctance... I don't give a fuck about your pussy. Keep your shit. I don't want to fuck you bad enough to fuck with you like that. You dealing with me on my terms, or you can dip. That's right. being authentic. Here we go. The Let's... bad boy. So if you want to be a bad boy, this is the one you need to nail. Bad boys tend to be very genuine. They tend to say whatever they want, whatever they're thinking, just because. Because they don't care. They're like, that's who I am. Now stop. Now let's go to this. Tax specialist. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? A tax specialist? Yeah. You're, are you no, like I, here? No, I, a habitat specialist. Did, did, did you see what we're saying? I'm not done. Habitat 
special. So we basically like create. So we basically create habitats for like zoos and stuff like that. So I do the blueprints and well, the creating and all that kind of stuff. So okay. I went to school for like animation and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So you know, I'm 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 up and coming. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, he's trying to okay. he's trying to so prove what, his words. Like, what is the uh, uh, word? Can you can you can you can you pause it? Can you pause it, Steve? Yes. Earlier on the other video when Melly was by herself, she was talking about men being aggressive in the bedroom. If you were talking to a woman, at what point during this conversation does he seem like the type of dude that could grab her by her neck, lay her on the bed, and shove every inch in her one inch at a time? And tell her, open your eyes. You better not close the motherfucker. <laughs> what, what guy? He ain't that nigga. Now, 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 wait, now, 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 gentlemen, watch this. Now, yeah, this is and this is no knock on Melly. We're not being mean to Melly. We're just showing the contradiction for her getting on her boy ish. This is why women don't like nice guys. Yeah. Today, I want to talk about why nice guys finish last and yeah i know a lot of people are like it doesn't make sense why a nice guy would end last but it's because women often do not make sense and they are like confused and they don't know what they want it's like a whole paradox in a woman and it's kind of can, can you pause it can you pause it can you pause it i'm glad she said that and the reason why women don't make sense is because when when a man makes them feel a certain type of way and they're sexually attracted to him, there is nothing practical or pragmatic about sexual attraction. This is why a woman could be sexually attracted to you and she can't really point to why. It's just the mm -hmm. feeling that overcame her. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You would think like, okay, I'm nice, I'm gonna get the girl and it's gonna be cool, but no, they don't want the nice guys. The truth is women do like the chase and they want a challenge. And as a nice guy, you are not challenging. Stop. Let's get to the let's get to the guy. Out of design. I like you know what? I like to cook. Um, most of my family on my <laughs> grandma's side, they're from Mississippi. So, you know, they be throwing down. Oh, so I, I, oh I, my I, god. Yeah, I learned I learned all that. No so do you player. like do you I like do you appreciate you a man no player. And that cooks for you? I mean, I do. Uh, is it a requirement? No, because like I, I cook as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's obviously a plus. Like, I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit it, yeah. it on. Look, let me just say this, dog. <laughs> this nigga is already trying to cater. Do you appreciate a man? Like, he already was trying to impress her. Already trying he to. Already her. trying to get. What is what are they? What these bitch ass niggas say? Brownie points. Yeah, coupon, coupon seeking nigga. He's a coupon. Yeah. Yeah, you, oh, do you like a cook? Yeah, bitch. I cook like a motherfucker. I'm a good fucking cook. Uh, a really high level cook. But you guess what? So what? You go in there and do it. And we're gonna rotate this next one. But this is a clip of the next one. Look at this. What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video that gets me really excited because I'm talking about 13 dirty things that women wish you would do to us yes yes because sometimes you be too vanilla you know wait 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 so why isn't she saying to the guy right now you're being vanilla she said ish was wrong ish we were wrong ish was wrong what we told ish was wrong but she knows that motherfucker's vanilla and she will not stop and say wait a second excuse me sir why are you being so vanilla because her pussy's not wet right now why see that that's what the fuck so we're talking about be doing like oh. mm. <laughs> I'm too excited, but yes. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about this because you want to be your best. I, I, I like the outfit. Apparently, she saw a picture best. of me, and, and then that, that made her scream. Like I that. like the outfit right there. Would help you too. achieve that. All right. So before we start, I wrote a book. <laughs> you already the volume down because you. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm looking at you because you know it's a synergy type of thing. We're exchanging energy, and I look at you, and you're just like this. I'm thinking this motherfucker is not having a good time. This okay, let's go to it. 
it's just it's a lot of people that don't appreciate it and especially you being from atlanta you see a lot of uh our black culture out there you know i'm from oakland we used to have a black culture wait, 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 where are they from can you pause it hey you hey from the bay area bay. Hey man, this is one of these bitch ass niggas that we slapped up right here. And that nigga got up out of Oakland. That nigga said he moved to Arizona. That nigga moved to Arizona because that nigga he couldn't fit in. Nigga, we had to slap him up. And he was like, nigga, I'm out of here. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of people out here taking my money. I'm tired of doing this. I'm, and it, he's in Arizona now. He fits. All right. Okay. So like black community now, but you know, you come from a place where they actually appreciate stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I like about you. You seem cool. You know, oh you got my a nice god! Thing. Oh my god! It's six words total, but you, she seemed cool, and you like her. So the watch, guys. Look. So she's like, mm. and then she's gonna tend to feel like you're nice, and it's probably because you don't have a lot of options with women. Okay, let's go back to you. Well, you know, you're doing your thing, <laughs> guys. No options. You're too nice, vanilla. And is she stopping the show like she did with Ish? To try to tear him down, try to tear us down, try to tear down manhood. And this motherfucker is everything she doesn't like in a motherfucker, guys. Do y'all see? God, we got I got more. Here we go. Let's What's go. so funny is Nelly knows that this girl, Leah, Leah, whatever her name is, she knows she's not attracted to this nigga. Mm -hmm. She, she knows. knows. She knows that. She knows he's a loser. She knows that. She's waiting. She's holding me. She's holding me. So yeah. I'm 34. 34. Yeah. Okay. Good Look, I didn't check. I didn't check the I didn't check the checklist. I'm 30. He may he checks see what he doing? checking the boxes. He's checking the boxes, but wait a second. Let's see what Melly says about the asshole though. I need to speak my mind. I'm speaking. They kind of do whatever they want. Like nobody can stop them. <laughs> okay. I'm right, can, you pause it? can you pause it? Can you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I got my own. He's checking boxes. See, what he should have came like, first and foremost, I'm not here to check your boxes. I'm trying to see if you check mine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. your boxes. <laughs> and I tell you guys all the time, it doesn't matter what a woman wants. At the end of the day, you introduce her to who you are. Yes. Like Melly said, Unapologetically authentic. You introduce her to who you are. Either she's feeling it or she ain't. Yes. And that's where that's what she's not stuff. Doing. I ain't got no baby mamas. I ain't got no girlfriend on the side. Trying to trying to trying to get validation. Right, I'm doing my thing. So mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to come to Atlanta one day. He gonna have to go to Atlanta. Yeah. One day. So you live in Oakland. When you say one day, like do you have intentions of like moving here or no? I, I live in Arizona now. Um, I have family in I have family in uh how you say it, Dacula? Dacula? Yeah, they're yes. they yeah, they stay out there. So you no, know, no, no, I come no. visit. I've he gonna go move his pack up for you. Never been. I've never been out there. Mm -hmm. So if I come visit, you know, I'm gonna be like, okay, I got you know, got a little day. Let me know. What did she learn about him? What 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 did she learn about him? Nothing out there. I mean, hopefully, you know, one day you never know, you know. Well, I, I, mm -hmm. I'll say this what did he learn about her that makes him want to fly out? Other than she's cute because she ain't really said nothing, bro. Oh my god, this is she hasn't said anything as far as I'm concerned. But you do a lot of this. I'm, 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 I'm hey, because you know, I'm trying the guy popping his neck, popping his neck. I guess that's the bait thing. This thing all excited and shit. Popping his neck, I shoot my shot, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, no one's safe. You know, trying to shoot the shot. Why this so. nigga cheesing like that? Guys, guys. We game. You can't be showing all your teeth. Like, like, come on, dog. Like, no. Hold on, wait. Word message from Melly. And that's a turn off because nobody wants to be with somebody that doesn't have options or that they feel like is not desired or that um, they feel like they have a limited amount of options. Oh, so let's go here. You seem cool. You seem like you appreciate stuff. So you think a guy that gets a lot of pussy talks his way? <laughs> you think a guy that has options?
talks this way, or is he gonna kind of go not like ish, but is he gonna go on that street in that neighborhood by telling her what the fuck to do? Think about it, gentlemen. A few hard working one man. I like. I like yeah, that. Nick, can you pause it real quick, Steve? <clears throat> and let's say for the let's say for the sake of argument, hypothetically speaking, he's the type of dude that get bitches, and he just putting on a mask, and he's fronting like he's a square nigga. Is he being authentic? Nope, not the way. He ain't the type of uh, a dude chick should be fucking with. Yep, and they do that regardless of what other people think. So even if it's not the popular choice, if that's how you feel, you're like, yeah, I'm doing that because that's what I want to do. Stop right, the popular choice. Thank you, thank you. You have any questions? Um, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> Hold on, free time, Melly. Which is crazy because you would think a woman would want a guy that don't have that many girls so it's not that much competition but no they want the guy that everybody wants so so she so um, you think that everybody wants as a woman that dumbass question do you think a guy that gets pussy talks to women this way we're trying to show y'all game here. I, I did answer this a little bit earlier. Um, so pretty much so Let's, here, get to right? the next guy. Let's get to the next guy. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry baby. This dude is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So here's Melly's chance to say, girl, I understand he was vanilla. He was nice. And he just wasn't a bad boy. But is she going to say that? Guys, do you think she's gonna say that? No, no, hell no. Guys, they're ruthless. This is so wild to me. And look at her laughing at that motherfucker. Reggie, I apologize. <laughs> no, 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 don't apologize. Tell him the truth. If you want to, hey, yeah, real, real quick, shout out to my chat. I know we rocking and rolling over there, um, in the cave over here, the, the Silverback channel, man. But I need y'all to get them likes up, man. We got like 170 in there, man. It's only 70 likes. Y'all get them likes up, man. It helps the algorithm, man. Do that for me. Let's go. Shout out to the guys. Y'all want to call in? The line's open. We got y'all. We're just showing y'all. Melly, Melly, Melly picked the wrong horse today. See, well, one of our guys came in. He was different, and she didn't like the difference. Hold on. Oak got a question. Fellas, uh, he's from this way. Uh, oh, this is five streets of Oakland. Yeah, that's right. Hey, man, he know what it is, man. It's town business out here, man. We out here spitting this straight game, man. He know that's why he moved to Arizona. You know what I mean? We out here with mouthpiece, man. We out here, man, closing doors on holes, man, moving holes. This is what we do, man. That's how we do it, man. It's Oaktown, man. Huh? Huh? How about it, man? Bay Area out here, man. Put some respect on it. Here we go. Chat has spoken. The chat is crazy. Hey, Reggie, I'm not laughing at you. It's the <laughs> Sir, stay in the zoo? Why? What does he look like? A lion, a panda? Hey, shout out to my boy, Ricardo, man. That's the fucking, my moderator said 50's going to smash you, girl, if you, don't, if you don't get the likes up. <laughs> I think you're fucking going to get the likes up. Is that a panda? I don't know. That shit is uh, funny. A monkey? Well, well, he's not in the zoo, right? I mean, he said he did the designs and whatnot for the zoo, like... I think he, he says something about, yeah, like going to well, for design. I just want to point out Dang, that, that Grace's comment is getting more love than the nigga that was just on. I'm just saying. Yeah, that, really, that, that, that's, that's how just... insignificant and unimpactful yeah. the other dude was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie. Uh, if you stick around, you might be able to talk again. Later, right. Yes, since uh, she didn't kick you out. Oh, my God. Okay, we, we got more. We got Daniel. All right. Oh Daniel. my God! Before we get to Daniel, a, a, a message from Melly. This motherfucker is stress. This motherfucker don't feel nothing. Then I'm starting to wonder: Am I doing a good job? Is it me? Is it my pussy? My pussy not tight? I don't know. But we go in our mind because we think you're not having a good time. So if you are having a good time, only if you are, because if you're not, I'm not telling you to fake it. But if you are having a good time, moan a little. Not like a girl, just because that would turn us off hey, too. Hey, can you pause it real quick? <laughs> I remember one time a chick was riding me, and I threw my hands behind my head like this. <laughs> and I, I nuzzled into the pillow, and I just looked at her. Bro, she felt some type of way about that. And she said, well, Melly, you're not going to moan. Oh, hell no. And I'm like, hey, I'm just, I'm just looking up and enjoying the scene, girl. Keep doing what you're doing. 
Go ahead, man. All right, here we go, guys. We're, we're going to get words from Melly. Here, well, let's get back to the show. Here we go. Hey, back Daniel. to the show. Uh, Prophet Daniel. Yeah. Hello. Hello, ladies. Hi. Man, I mean, let me just say this, I'm dog. doing good. I just got yeah. off a of word. Let me just say this, dog. Your tone fucking matters. Your tone matters. You can't come in walking on fucking eggshells. You want to come in, you kick the fucking door down. That's what we call it. We kicking the door down. When we come up in this motherfucker, you going to go like this? You going to go like this? Or we go, hey, 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 ladies, ladies, ladies. What's up? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You create the environment you want to be in. Don't yeah. be in the environment that they've created. You yeah. create the environment. Oh, okay. And gentlemen, real quick, a, a another word from Melly as far as how to become an alpha male if you're a nice guy. Real quick. What's up, lovers? Today, I want to make, um, I think, an important video. I mean, I always think my videos Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. But quick, today, quick, quick, I want... Two things. Hold on. Real I, like, I like the top. And you know she got the, the the little black princess Leia look with the little Afro puffs. Like, okay, go ahead, Finn. I wanna yeah. explain how to go from Mr. Nice Guy to Mr. I don't give a fuck. I mean, not exactly, but to Mr. Ni from Mr. Nice he, Guy he, he, he to an alpha. Because again, I don't like those terms, but we're gonna go with it because um, women want alpha male. Okay, so women want alpha males. Now let's get back to the show. Okay. Jumped into this screen. This is the second second scream I didn't see. I mean, this is buckwheat. Like it's like the no, 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 nigga. This nigga's hella oily too. Nigga, go God. dry your oily face. It's like you know, back, back in the day they had cocoa, but at least you put co a lot of cocoa butter on. Them. You well, know, like Vaseline on this shit. Vaseline oh, and shit. Just, guys, your hair, your Literally, if you do something with your hair, that can change how your face looks. You know, not drastically, but but it, it can help with your overall appearance if you do something with your wig. Hey, you remember? You, I keep, he's the guy with the car cologne bottle. You remember that in the seventies? The cologne bottle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, he in there with that aftershave. He rubs like this. This Brute. nigga wore Brute Thirty Three. He yeah, wore that's, how he, that's how he puts it on. <laughs> Any, any, woo, yeah. You know what they can do? When the heat hit it, you get that little, that little burn. Woo. Oh, 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 it's Steve. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Let's see what he got to say. And to the guys in the, the last chat, one yeah, with the last. Saying, I, I got a little thing. For, Melly can get it. There's no doubt about that. If she ever comes visit uh, San Antonio, no, I'm, saying, I'm gonna be her tour guide. You know what I'm saying she can get girl, it. Girl, and I was just cracking up and laughing and. Okay. And it was funny. It was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. I follow a couple of your videos, Mel, and oh, the thank you. started popping up. And I was like, what? His greatest failure is his wall behind him. What grown man has, like, it looked like old Jet Magazine. Yeah, guys, y'all remember Jet, Jet Magazine? Oh, you had that, 42. That, that, that woman in there. That, that, age 42, that, nigga. And, and it, you rip it out and put it on your wall. That's page 42, <laughs> nigga. That's the beauty of the week. Yeah, he looks like he's got that on his wall. I mean, he's just and then I seen this one and I was like, you know what? I ain't doing nothing but on YouTube and looking at videos, researching philosophy videos, checking up on the new Twitter on. tech that's going out, watching interviews, you know, and I was like, you know what? Let me take a break from my school. <laughs> and after yeah, look at Melly's face. Word from Melly, gentlemen. And women are very attractive to, to that. It also shows that you're not a follower and that you're going to go with what well, your girl is saying. Wait, By doing that, team. you remain centered. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> she said women are attracted to men who aren't followers, but yet she had a problem with what Ish was doing. Right. The or, opposite of what all these other corny niggas did. did the exact opposite, gentlemen. Of what she said, and I'm showing you on this show today because it was a special show. We're hearing it from her mouth, and we're showing you that she is being disingenuous with these whack ass motherfuckers. And jump on this screen and see what's going on. And okay. I can't believe that you guys actually picked me up. <laughs> <What the laughs> Hold on, let's see what she says. 
Melly, and what yes, we they've dealt with a lot of them, and then they're like, that don't work for me, let me go with Mr. Nice Guy. But I'm telling you, a lot of time, Mr. Nice Guy is not gonna cut it for a lot of them. Okay, Mr. Nice Guy's not gonna cut it. So shouldn't Melly go <laughs> Wait, wait, shouldn't this be the moment, gentlemen? Melly says, listen, in one of my old videos, I talked about you being too passive, and right now you're being passive. And right now her pussy is drying up. And right now she's about to pineapple you because you're not assertive, you're not aggressive. Where is that Melly at? Yeah, Where she's, not, she's not correcting this because this is what she wants for the show. She wants to get $20 when they when they when they when they come across, get this loser out of here. Yeah. Uh, then she wants guys to come in real weak game so they yes. can laugh and talk about the guy. Mm -hmm. And they're going to bring in a guy who thinks he's winning, he's going to ask her 20 million questions. He's going to stay on there and think he winning, but really all he's doing is performing. Performing. I'm so honored. This is so much fun. I think it's I'm so honored. Out of this, I just wow. want to say I love you both. You guys are awesome. I love you both. I love you both. Uh, doing awesome things with you. This nigga is a clown. But no, but she's not. She's supposed to be correcting him. He's see that no correction. And I'm just honored to be talking with you. Straight so up. wait, Aww. Daniel. So are you interested in Leah or no? Am I interested in Leah? I don't even know this girl. What are you talking about? No, well, you know what happened. the show is about, right? It's to get to know her and uh, and see what's up. It she is. know damn well Leah ain't well, trying to fuck so, with that. Sorry, Daniel. I don't know why uh, she's playing. You work with that hair on your Grayson's head. not playing tonight. <laughs> Oh you, know, you, know, you know what? Hold on, real quick, Steve. Grayson, yeah. Grayson, relax. Hold on, real quick. Grayson, Grayson uh, has been in this chat a couple of times. I don't see no dough over here, Grayson. What's up with you, fam? I got him. Yeah, it's crazy. Here Same. we go. But thank you, Grayson. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't here for us, really, or for you. No, he wasn't here for me. The last guy didn't yeah. even want to talk. The other guy didn't even want to talk to me. Like, you know, it's so crazy. I don't think people really talk about like the loneliness that pretty girls actually experience. They think, mm -hmm. you know, every okay. guy is in our DMs shooting their shot, trying to do this and that. You would be okay. surprised. Okay. Like, okay. Hold on, how real much quick. we real do quick. not get approached. Real quick. Okay, women, if you want a man's non-sexual time, attention, and energy, and intimacy, you got to earn that. Now, these, these, these suckers out here, they'll give you access to them all day. But when you're dealing with a dude who is unapologetically, authentically himself and don't give a fuck, and he got options, you got to get in where you fit in. Uh, and, and, and guys, if you don't understand what Carrie K. Zagan just said, uh, give me a moment, sir. Let us get a word from Melly on what Zag said. This is what she, this is what Zag meant right here. What's up, lovers? Today, I want to make a video about seven rules that every bad boy that you know fucking break. And that you probably should break those rules too. Because you know, we guys, we guys want to be alpha. I'm a male too now. You guys want to be alpha male to bag them fucking young ladies. <laughs> so, I'm about to say bitches. No, no. <laughs> those are the rules that you should break. Because you guys know the saying that nice guys finish last. I don't know if it's true because I like nice guys, but most people don't, I guess. You don't like so, nice guys. Let me let me say this. She keeps saying this. Let me tell y'all why. <laughs> she likes a man to approach her nicely, but she doesn't <laughs> like nice guys. Yes. Don't exactly. let her fool you, gentlemen. She wants you to come in there and turn her life upside down. Now let's get to the next guy. Because of like that perception, which is so crazy. But it's yeah. literally manifesting itself. Like I'm watching it happen. So it's probably they think like, you know, you're gonna either reject them or you exactly. gotta you got a dude already. There is no way she's single. Mm -hmm. then, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we, we got more. All we right. Hello. Yeah, hey, hey, Bib, say, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Hi, yeah, how are you? I'm well. I'm well, I can't complain. I'm well, I can't complain. Now watch. You move so. like a pastor, like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
mannerisms, I'm like, it definitely gives man a guy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She made the motherfucker take his glasses off. Bitch ass. She made one comment and the motherfucker tried to adjust to the fucking woman. This is what we're talking about, guys. This he already lost. Uh, nah, nah. I'm, I'm trying to clean these glasses, but how you doing tonight? Everybody? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I can't complain. No, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you keep the glasses back on? Why did you take the glasses off after she said he looked like a pastor? Because now he said, I can't get no pussy. They went by um, pretty uh, busy, but like busy for a good reason. You know, it was real productive and whatnot. How was your day? Now, anyway, guys, he asked how her day is, so let's see what Melly has to say about that. And and you can make yourself that guy. It's not even difficult because women are just... It's weird because I don't want to talk shit about women, but it is in our nature to be confused and to be confusing. Often a nice guy is seen as like somebody that's agreeable, that says yes to everybody. Mm -hmm. So wait a second. Go back to this guy. Well, well, I'm in sales. Saying yes, taking off his glasses because the woman said you look like a preacher instead mm -hmm. of saying no. You hey, the only thing you're gonna be calling me is yes, Lord, and Jesus. Because when I'm fucking, you're gonna say, Oh Jesus. And when I slide it in, you're gonna say yes, Lord. And then when I'm pumping, you're gonna say, Oh God. He should say that to her. But you know what? He took the glasses off and he's being agreeable. Going against what Melly is just saying. See this well, shit? Hence the shit? So. Can you pause it real quick? These guys don't have the balls <laughs> to be that aggressive sexually and come out the gate and show sexual confidence and masculine dominance. They don't have it in. Wait, masculine dominance? Melly, what do you say about masculine dominance? Uh, bone grunt or be like, oh. <laughs> silverback. <laughs> nah, hell no. <laughs> A woman can never be a silverback. Yeah, right now. Well, she I said she got it to make the make the silverback. Oh yeah, she likes I that. I live in yeah. Vinings. I sell luxury cars, so we probably mm -hmm. far. I live on Cobb Park, so we're probably not too far from each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, how are you? I'm well. You know, it's the end of the month. Luxury car sales. Talking about luxury car sales and getting to know each I other. I believe she said, how old are you? And he's still on that. He's still he's on not actively listening. So you got to kind of get it in. Things that nature. Okay. How, how old are you? Oh, how, oh, I thought you said, oh, how old am I? Mm -hmm. I am You're 30? 30? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can you, can, can, can you pause it? Can you pause it, Steve? Guys. He is so ready to roll out his resume. <laughs> yeah, he, he is literally mishearing what she's saying because he's prepared to answer every single question she got for him. <laughs> yes, he's trying to sell himself. He dirty macking. No, not yet. Okay, and then I guess like goal wise, like what what are you what are you looking for? Goal wise, I'm looking for at this particular point in time somebody who can kind of keep up lifestyle wise, like the sales thing. Like someone who can understand that, someone who can keep up a little bit financially. I Why don't you just say you want to fuck her? I mean, Zach, can, 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 my can we keep it real? Can we keep it real? I, I want y'all, wait, put one if you know that motherfucker just wants a pussy. Put two if his goals, if he really means his goals. Come on, chat room. Come on. I'm sorry, Zach. Go ahead, man. No, no, no. It's, these guys, and see, and, and here, here's the funny thing, right? Here's the funny thing. This is what guys have to understand. Regardless of what women say publicly, they want a man who is appealing to them sexually. And how you present yourself, how you talk, is a sure sign of whether or not you're that guy that can get her thinking like that. None of these guys are those guys. These are all guys. What they're doing, what they're doing, Steve, is they're wearing masks and they're yes. trying to present a side of themselves that they think the woman will like because they don't want to upset the apple cart. They want to stay in her good graces. Yes, word from word from Ellie. Those are the rules to become. A uh, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yes, that type. Yep. Number one, 
if you are a bad boy like you think you are you never say i'm a bad boy like mm -hmm. bad boys don't need to say i'm a bad boy because we know they exude bad boyness you all right exude bad boy so let's get to the show he said with the requirements for sickness. So does he exude? So Melly knows he doesn't exude bad boy. So why is she stopping the show to say, look, man, didn't you watch my video on bad boys? And you're not exuding a bad boy. The moment you took your glasses off for a woman that made a judgment about you, you were not a bad boy. But where's that at, guys? Where's that at? Mm -hmm. He he looked like the type where if I was or if I was getting a bag of chips out of the vending machine and two of them came out and I took both bags, he'll say, "Sir, you only pay for one bag." <laughs> yeah, you need to put that back. Right. That's not right. I'm gonna write that up and put the sticker on your thing. Figures in Atlanta. I understand that not too many people make what we make, but at the same time, it's a little difficult to date outside of that. Yes, there's gonna be some sort of resentment or whatever. From the other end so i'm looking for that as well too mm -hmm. what part well, of the for me i mean the basis of it wasn't really necessarily about like the resentment aspect i mean really just taking it to like the can, you, can, you, can you pause it again uh, i want y'all to repeat what he said he said not too many people make what we make he don't know nothing about this woman about her finances whether or not she got bad credit whether or not her debt to income ratio is fucked up whether or not she overspends. He don't know anything about this chick. But what he's trying to do, see, he's one of these guys, he's easily swayed yeah. by what women say. He's yeah. easily influenced by women who spew out and spout out yeah. their accolades and achievements, and he think he has some commonality there with her. That's and he looks like he like a snitch, too. Yeah, he does. He's, yeah, he's about to there. tell on you right now. You it's do anything rat, wrong. He's like a rat-ass nigga, dog. He's I'm going sure. to tell the boss right now. You're five minutes late. He was a patrol officer when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a conflict resolution officer. He <laughs> walked around with the clipboard, <laughs> and, every, and everybody had a conflict. He walked up to him. Hey, we should not do this. We have to solve it differently. No, shake hands. Or I want to write you the citation. <laughs> I mean, get right. your bitch ass out of here. And especially we have like a lot of my... younger black entrepreneurs out of here. Doers here. Like if you think about taxes and like how that works, they're gonna take out at least what you say he's a hall monitor. Oh, right, right, right. Hall monitor. You fucking hall monitor and shit. Right. Hall monitor, right. <laughs> really you're looking like a case, really not a lot of money. His house will always be the one that got the toilet paper. His house yeah. will always, his prayers oh, yeah. be I'm telling you, he's the guy that'll tap you on the shoulder in the in 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 public. Hey, sir. Okay, you you just I know you didn't mean to do it, but you cut in front of me in line. You know, he, he's the type so, of dude. That, real quick, hold on, Steve. He's the type of dude. Back in the day, y'all remember they used to do gas runs and shit. He's the type of dude. He would run at the store. I got the license plate number. Yeah, I can't believe I can't believe he's thieving gas. But us hardworking Americans, and you pay taxes on that gas. Here, here, and if you need me to appear at court, I'll be right there for you. He'll yeah. also be the he'll also be the one on Halloween when they had that bowl. You know, take one, and we dump the whole bowl. Yeah. He'll go back on the door and say, hey. "They so they right took there, it. right there." He's a, he, 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 him right now. Own a he owns a a a, a Dotson that sits on his lap. A Dotson dog, the little hot dog Dotson dog. He has one. He has one for his lap, and it's called his comfort. It's called his comfort animal. So that means he gets to take to the airport with him because he's so nervous when he flies and shit. <laughs> but I mean, nine to five people. Are oh. I mean, could be like close to that, and be fine. He's fifty. No, I just heard third. Sorry, I just read that comment. Okay. I totally understand that, mm -hmm. but uh, to that point, I would. I'm telling uh, you right now, Steve. I don't mean to keep saying I'm it, but I will fucking, I will fucking cut him in in line. <laughs> I don't <laughs> give a fuck what line he's in. I'm going just cutting him right in line. And I'm not going to turn around or nothing because he's not a threat. No, he's not. Hell no. Quentin, what did Quentin say? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, wait. Quentin, Quentin, what did he say? 
the Quinn with time with time. Um, I don't know what to say. You said I thought you just brought it up. It was Quinn. Oh, oh, oh emotional, oh, emotional support animal. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great call. That's a great call to the emotional support fucking animal. He has a fucking Dotson, and he don't and he don't put a regular leash on it because I don't want nothing around her neck. He, he put the body, all you bitch ass niggas with the body fucking a leash. You're a fucking bitch. You ain't control no dog with no goddamn body fucking leash. And then the one that go hell alone too. You know the one that you hold like this, you gotta let go, and they be going hell alone. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Control yeah, your fucking animal. Family are actually uh, situated all around the Midwest. The majority of them are from Illinois. So I have family in Chicago, Jesus Peoria. Fuck. Some of them are situated in Milwaukee. Um, you know, St. Louis, like all around that little region. Okay, okay. I cannot. Mm-hmm. Are you seeing Scott? Bro, 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 look, look at him. But he, he can't stand up. I'm like, focus on me. I'm like, you know. Pause <laughs> right there. Pause right there. Pause right, right, right there. All right, go ahead, Zach. You got it. Do y'all see what she said? Focus on me. He's so worried about the comments. He's easily distracted. He's the type of guy. He don't know how to plan nothing when it comes to, to dealing with women as far as dates and, that, and things like that, like that. He's not decisive. He's not a dominant, authoritative man by any stretch of the imagination. This dude is easily influenced by a bunch of fucking comments. Right? You can tell this nigga is sensitive. But no, yeah. this is the spokesperson for Ralph Trasvant song sensitivity. This motherfucker right here. What a man, man with sensitivity. Hey, hey. Oh, his shoes? He got air, he got blue Air Force Twos on. Blue Air Force Twos. <laughs> hey, man, that's not a Dotson dog, bro. Let's get the dog right. He had a Dotson dog lap dog, and he got he got the Blue Air Force Twos on Ricardo. The Air Force Twos, my nigga. You can oh. tell. You can, and he got them tied real tight. Any nigga to snitch, they shoes are tied hella tight when they walk, bro. Don't um, tell me I all. Would say my specialty, like I love a good pasta. Right, okay. I love seafood. I have like a Creole and Trini background, so like anything with seafood, I can do like a baked salmon, mashed potatoes. They said he's sweating oh, the turtleneck. Kind of I didn't even know he had a turtleneck I on. Did. I, I didn't notice that. He did a turtleneck. Damn, that, this thing got a turtleneck on. That nigga is telling on you, bro, <laughs> and pointing. <laughs> he go point. Oh, day to day type of meal. Um, so yeah, so personally, I cook Caribbean food like oxtails, things that make sure. Okay, a little bit of oxtail. Well, why is these niggas talking I about cooking? cooking? Nigga, That's what the stuff. fuck is going on with these men out here, dog? It was a time that women wanted to impress the man. They'd be like, you know what? I can put together full Thanksgiving meal. You know what? I it, can do I this. I can throw down. I, do. word, I can throw down in the kitchen. Yeah. Like, what the that. fuck is going on? These niggas are talking about, oh, I cook a little ox too. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not going to be talking about what I'm cooking. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? Yeah, I mean, what are you yeah. going to cook? She did right. talk about how she cooked seafood. He, sh- he should have took that and segued into, so that what you going to cook for me when you come out here and see me? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay, what's your ethnicity? I'm Haitian and Jamaican. Ah, Jamaican. okay. I can't stand these niggas. Nigga, you's a nigga, nigga. What is this? <laughs> nigga, you got a turtleneck on. <laughs> nigga, they don't wear that fucking Haiti. Nigga, you an American nigga. Oh, I can't stand these motherfucking they niggas. Were, they niggas got that. done eating top ramen noodles, nigga. Fucking shirts in Haiti, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What you doing? This nigga, this nigga just got done watching Power. Talking about he from Haiti and shit. Get the fuck out of here. He's watching Tubi. He's, He's watching fucking Tubi. What the fuck is he motherfuckers, man? Bro, this nigga don't watch no Tubi. This nigga Nig- watch Lifestyle and Hallmark. Dog, my mom, my mom is Nigerian. I, oh, I can easily say, oh, I'm just, I'm Nigerian and, 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 and American. You know, what the fuck? You's a nigga. Oh my god. You have any questions for me? Um 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 okay wait um uh Melly what do we have to say about um Melly? So 
if you are mr nice guy this is for you and if you're not mr nice guy and you already kind of like on the other side maybe there is room for improvement so i think you should still watch it all right so a bunch of you guys are already off as because it's how you've been raised and uh, maybe you play sports and your parents like just I don't know if it's in DNA or whatever or what your parents taught you, but you're like, there is shit that's not flying. And uh, for people who are tired of being walked all over by women, I think this is the video for you. The mm, walked all over by women. What do you five think? Year plan. I think you said a five year plan for this bitch. See, see, the, the difference between Dominic and Doozy, we, we play football, we, we like to hurt niggas. Yeah. This nigga, he was president of the key club. Right? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Was. Most definitely. When we walked out to the field, this nigga was going to put on his full jumpsuit to raise cheerleaders in the air. Second period. That's right. He's a lifter. Had on, he's he a had lifter. Look, look. <laughs> and, um, depends on what, you know, aspect of life uh, that you're talking about but I guess relatively with my acting career definitely want to be further along um, definitely want to get into like more of a series regular kind of role um, as far as my family married look I, you know what dog let me just fucking say this dog fuck you know what I hate hey put it on big screen dog this is what I fucking hate dog I got you babe. go ahead dog let me, let me tell you what I hate M motherfuckers like this dog motherfuckers like this when they're talking, <laughs> okay, I'm interested. I'm, I'm fucking interested in what you're saying, so I'm gonna bow my head. Mm, good point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We don't give a fuck about none of that you're talking about, bitch. Like, why do these men? Dog, this shit drives me. But just watch him. Just watch him, dog. This nigga is. Uh, he's impressed by his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is amazing him. What the fuck is going on out here, dog? Uh, Look at him. Yeah, he's doing he's bobbing the head. He's bobbing the head. Like, as soon as possible. <laughs> After marriage. Look, look, I told you. I feel that. I feel it. Look at him. He's, look at him. He's, he's a clown. He's a clown nigga, man. Hey, if you got game, this is what you're doing when that bitch talking. Look at look at put me on the screen, see. No. You do. When you got game, this is what you do when that bitch talking. <laughs> oh shit, my bad. I didn't know you were still talking shit. But anyways, hit me on the back end. Hit me on the back end, bitch. Hit me on the back end. Shit. What the fuck is going on out here? Um, and yeah, I mean that's just career rise and like familiar wise. So unless there's like another aspect you have a question about. I feel that as well. Like turning 30, you kind of on a can you pause it? Can you pause it? Can you pause oh it? Oh my god, this is terrible. This is how you know the majority of guys in the world are losers. Mm -hmm. the guy on her chat said she the best girl on the pineapple. How? Mm -hmm. how? With, with, with the best mm -hmm. looking? Is that what we're what talking she, about? What has she done? Mm -hmm. what, what has she done? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Nothing. She they better hope. Nothing. They better hope we don't get a hundred, two hundred thousand followers. Nigga, the world is in trouble, dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. The world's in trouble, you know, dog. A lot of niggas off the internet. Because, you know, I'm going to keep it 100, dog. We got a nice core group of people who fuck with us, and they and they know the truth. And, mm -hmm. and we are teaching men to be their authentic fucking self yeah. and be masculine about it. These motherfuckers on here are so Jodeci. Yeah. Like, it pissed yeah. me off, dog. It's soft. soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In addition to all that, how do you find time to do the real estate between the oh, and all that? My Are God. you serious? Oh, Are you serious? Bro, Steve, can you pause it? Can you pause it? <laughs> this is the nice guy shit that Melly was talking about. You're yep. asking questions that you really don't give a fuck about. You don't give a fuck about what we I do with fuck my about time. that. Nigga, we don't give a fuck oh, about this that. Is what he, this is what Zach means. That's easily attained. Like, it's, it's no... It's not hard to get him. So it's like, because he's not hard, he's not interesting. I'm not talking for me again or for some women that don't feel like that, but a lot of women do. They want the guy that everybody wants. And a woman that feel like she doesn't have to really work or do much to get the guy is not going to be that interested. 
So look how, look at this, right? You go. You have to say organize, like literally organize. Like that's. God damn. Thank you, Grayson. Grayson cut his nuts. That's been like the name of the game. Like Grayson is not playing any games. This is crazy. Looking like baseball, it is. So why didn't Melly and her have the conversation like they did with Ish mm -hmm. saying that that gentleman was passive and soft and he didn't have a shot because he was too fucking nice and boring? Mm -hmm. See, and, and I'm trying to figure out why she ain't telling guys right then and there. Guys, there has to be something about you where the woman is curious, where there's anticipation there's some type of excitement where she wants to hear from you and see you again. None of you guys are saying anything where a woman is like, damn, I have to see him. I can't wait to see him. Where she's excited to hear from you. These guys is boring as hell. See, what guys got to understand, women love to talk about themselves. That's why she's letting these guys stay on. Yep. Melly, what you got to say, Melly? Come on, girl. Talk to her. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Do something to let me know. That you are enjoying yourself and the prettier we think we are, the prettier we think you think we are, the more sensual and the more open we're going to be. You know how, I don't know, maybe you fuck some girl and she's kind of like hiding because she's not comfortable with her body. You like her body, let her know that her body is nice, you know, caress her, touch her boobs, like, you know, her ass. Tell her her uh, ass is big, even if it's not. I know you're going to tell me, oh, now we're lying. She's telling you to yeah. lie to these motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> no, Diddy. <laughs> Why you got to tear that man up like that? that... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Grayson, you got to chill a little bit. Let them talk for a little bit. No, wait a second. Why are you telling Grayson let them talk? Why are you not correcting? Mm -hmm. These guys, if you're a quote unquote dating coach, For me. where is the coaching mm -hmm. to tell these guys that you are acting fucking passive, soft, and you're losing right now? Okay. But I want to point out that every video or live stream that I do, Fifth does, Steve does, L Mouse. We're coaching the whole way. the whole time in between in, in between our talking points. We're coaching. We're coaching even when we take a phone call. We're coaching. We're mm -hmm. coaching. Take a phone call and someone says something in the chat room. We'll stop that just to say something to that motherfucker. We're always coaching. She hasn't coached one motherfucker yet. Not let them live. Except telling Grayson to give him some leeway. Oh my god. Okay. Did you did you like a uh... Elijah, I think you know he was cool. Like, see, hey guys, cool ain't getting no pussy. You don't want to be cool. You don't want to be nice. You don't want to be anything. You want to be a dick, an asshole. Who, wait, what do you mean? Wait, he didn't even really want to get to know me. I mean, how do we get to know each other if he ain't even asking me anything? That's the motherfucker you want to be. Come on, man. Just trying to get past the basics and whatnot. Um, okay. It seems like he's put together like link cut type. Um, I mean, I think he will. I think that motherfucker says he didn't even cuss. He said, gosh, darn it. But I'm going to make me, I'm going to make a, a mayonnaise sandwich and I'm going to get back in there and mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a whole, the heave ho. I got it. <laughs> a fucking mayonnaise sandwich. He did look like he like that. <laughs> Probably been a cool guy. Okay. I mean, maybe he's going to stick around so you can talk some more. Maybe, uh, maybe. So, guys, I see on Instagram people asking, uh, "How can you? How can you call in? How you call in? You gotta leave Instagram. You gotta come on YouTube. On YouTube, there is the link. Oh, actually, you can go on Instagram on my story. There is the link. You just go and click the link that says shoot your shot, and you can enter the room. So that's one place you can find the, um, the link, and the other place is on uh, YouTube." On my YouTube channel, Mary Monaco, so the link is there. Because on uh, on Instagram, they don't let you put a link, you know, for them to click or whatever mm -hmm. from the live. I'm uh, like, y'all can shoot your shot. Yes. Pull up. Let's pull up on the link. Yeah. But this is a long comment. Uh, I know. This Just a, a lot guy. of quantity. Hold on. Not a lot of quantity. with them, with my family. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I'm only available, so I'm not unready. Right Good. How are you? 
looking pretty good. I just came on here for real because I just think you look good and you're pretty interesting. So pretty interesting. Pretty fucking interesting. Really? What wow. the fuck? What did she say or do to be interesting? I just wanted to uh, I more lies. Say what's up. You say okay. you're from Atlanta. So I'm actually from like Midwest. I was born up there. That's like both sides of my family, like where my upbringing, my accent, everything comes from. But I was raised mostly down here. So I guess mm -hmm. I kind of have to claim Atlanta now at this point. Um, so yeah, I say that I'm from Atlanta. Okay. Ten Atlanta about ten hours away from me. I live up in Baltimore. What? You're in Baltimore? Yeah. He's, he's, not, he's not DMV, by the way. He's not DMV. No, no, no. Baltimore is more like Delaware. He, he, he he's he's not he's not from where we're at. No. Don't claim Baltimore. <laughs> I ain't never been. Y'all don't claim never. Baltimore, nigga. That's a third world country, though. We we will drive by it. No. Been here. Okay. Never um, had a reason. Too many niggas out there, boy. He's gonna go out there. Okay. What do you do, like, as far as work? So I'm a CEO. Okay. But can you, pause it? can you pause it? Can you pause it? Guys, you do not have to answer none of these questions. You have the option to bypass and sidestep all of that bullshit. Okay. Also drive Uber on the side. Okay, so you're a CEO and you drive Uber on the side. So what Yeah, just like you're a real estate agent and you're an actress. Is what's the difference? What you, like your your company, like what do, what do you do? Like what do you No, nah, don't do it. Don't tell her if you are a CEO, tell her I'm a CEO of none of your business. I'm trying to get like well, I, I, I think he said CEO. I think he said CEO like correctional officer. Oh, correct. Like mind what you do on a day to day. Well, outside of work and stuff like that, I like to go to the gym, work out. Um, I'm real into fashion. You feel me? I like to spend time with my family. I ain't got no kids or nothing like that, but I'm talking okay. about like you know, okay. my sisters, my nieces and my nephews and stuff like that. Okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm like, I definitely love someone that's like family oriented. But like your, I guess your your company. I'm like, what do you what do you do? No, I like, think I think you said C O. You say C O or C E O? Yes. No, C O. Like C O. C O. He said C O O at my two. I, it's, I thought he doubled it, but I guess he meant C O. I heard C E O. So yeah, I thought I heard C E O. That's why I was saying business, but he meant C O. Oh, this this okay. nigga do not look like a C E O with them hats on his wall like that. <laughs> I already knew that. Okay, I'm like. <laughs> that's pretty much a lot of people out here. I'm like, what do you do? Like, tell me a little bit more about your business and stuff. But um, CEO of Capping Guys, that's so mean. <laughs> that's so mean. But well, okay, that's good. CEO, Leo family so, man. Yeah. Um, do you have children? You know, why don't you say, yeah, I am the CEO of clapping because I clap a lot of cheap. Why can't, why you, gentlemen, you you why would y'all guys deny your fucking? Why would, why do y'all guys think mm -hmm. if I deny that I got pussy? That I'm gonna lose the woman that I'm telling I'm getting pussy. What did Melly just tell you? Didn't Melly? I forgot which one. Is. I think it's this one. Mr. Nice Guy is that you know they just think like, well, because I'm nice, I should get everything I want, everything I deserve. But the thing is, like, the universe doesn't really work like that. Thank you, Melly. Let's continue. No, I ain't got no children or nothing like that. But I okay. would like some in the future. You, what you about like you? It? I definitely want kids. I don't have any kids at the moment. Why, why, why that nigga doing his lip like that, He like remind me of Morris Day or some shit. Why that nigga, why that nigga person out his lips like that? Why he, why he doing the duck shit? I'm well, well, 43, she ain't listening because she's not interesting. And, and Melly knows this. But Melly, the dating coach, is not correcting him and saying, why are you talking to that woman this way? You ain't going to get no pussy that way. You see yourself like having a big family or... Um, two, yeah. one boy and one girl. So we're talking someone you don't even know, someone you just met, and y'all talking about kids now? Hell and Melly didn't see that as a red flag? Melly, the dating coach? Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, J&B says, oh, wait, first shout out. To, uh, thank you for the super chat, brother. Appreciate it. Uh, J&B says, so, Zach, if they ask about the job, uh, let's say uh, say something like, um, I'm not here to talk about my job because it's not who I am. Just worry about uh, what we would make happen. Okay. <laughs> you don't, what, dog. Okay. My, my thing, guys, okay, uh, real quick, I want to say this, Steve. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest, well, there's two reasons why women will even ask you that type of shit. 
One is because the conversation is boring and they're just trying to throw shit in there to get you to talk about something. Um, and that means you're not leading the conversation. Okay, another reason women might ask you about your job is because they're not really feeling you and they're trying to see, is there any type of way you can compensate them, right? So they might ask you about your job to see what you do, to see if maybe you got a little bit of bread and if you're the type of dude where you might be generous with that shit. Not all the time, but sometimes. All right, here we go. Guys, you want to call in? Lines are open. Okay. Right. I have a lot of experience with children because I've dated women that had children. Um, mm -hmm. I was really good with them. And this is where we're and, and where's the coach at? Where where is this dating coach to tell these motherfuckers don't talk to women about this shit? My last girlfriend had a daughter and a son. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And I used to take them to Chuck E. Cheese, the park, and all oh, oh, oh that nigga is that nigga is setting up a dream for <laughs> trying to set up an atmosphere. Oh, you, man. you know what it is, Phil? He said, girl, imagine if I was that good with kids that wasn't mine. Imagine if they're ours. Mm -hmm. I'd be way more attentive. Fuck Chuck E. Cheese. We're going to Jamaica, baby. Last stuff. So I'm so real how, good with you. How children. long was your, your last relationship? Probably about a year or two ago. Okay. How long were y'all together? About six months. Six wait, months. Wait, 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 wait. Six months and you taking them little bastards to suck your dick? I'm wrong with that picture, dog. Taking little baskets. <laughs> bitch ass, oh, nigga. No. Yeah, really you taking these really little really motherfuckers to the happened. park in you six months, smile. nigga? <laughs> Hey, this is takes you to Great Wolf Lodge. Hey, Jack, you know that's that's how it takes you know, good the Great Wolf Lodge or whatever. Oh. Uh, I ain't really trying to get into all that. Oh, but <laughs> I mean, no, but, I understand. I'm like, we're, we're live and whatnot right now. So, why are you single? Like, you, were, oh my god, oh my lord, see, this is what Melly asking for. And is there going to be any correction? Very beautiful, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but I think for me, it's just a matter of like not really settling for like a lot of like what's out here um mm. again like for me it's really all about quality and all right, well let's see quality hold on word from melly about quality yes, we are like make her feel pretty make let's get to yes. another one so wait that's the, so the, the, the now. we're getting ready we're uh horny i take my clothes off you take your clothes off let's go no how about you take her clothes off i want to oh, get to hello the <laughs> you're here oh okay you know make us work for it a little because usually you guys are all over us and it's just on you exactly you do all the work no let her work she wants some dick let her work for the day number seven Did you just hear what she said mm -hmm. she just said make her work for the dick so mm -hmm. why is melly not telling this Nowadays. mother here mm -hmm. wait a second didn't you watch my video where I told you you make her work for the dick because everybody's flooding the marketplace with dick and women want the guy who's not giving the dick away. Steve, can you bring up uh, um, with, where a uh, spirit of Elijah at 936? Exactly. Those little nigglets. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all are fucking. <laughs> Especially, it's just been a little bit harder to like find the man like with the qualities that I want that I'm also you know attracted to. My spirit can take from as well, and um, yeah, so that's the reason I'm just you know trying to. You know what that means, guys? It means that she ran to an asshole who fucked the shit out of her, moved some furniture in her side or insides, and she's emotionally attached to that motherfucker. And now she's going on her spiritual journey because the weight of the emotional pull that guy has on her, she's got to try to cut that shit off. That's all she's trying to say, though. She got fucked by an asshole. Find the right one for me. Like, once I feel peace in my spirit and I'm like, okay, then I can, like, settle into it, but... For now, I'm like, just keep betting. <laughs> keep betting. Yeah, you definitely got to work on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you deserve for sure. the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm like, I really appreciate oh, it. Hey, this pandering motherfucker, dog. Such a friendly thing. And what does Melly say about being nice? For a lot of women, it's like the lack of the heart to get a pill. Like, women do want to chase. They want the struggle a little bit. Oh, it was hard to get him because, you know,
So do you think this guy yeah, is easy? Nice. You think this guy's being hard? Now remember, she got on ish. And she said the information we were giving, if y'all are just joining us, this is why we're doing all this, because Ish went on there and did a little bit some man shit and just told her what to do, and she didn't like that. She said, no way. That's wrong. Those guys are wrong. And look at what the fuck she's doing right here. Letting this motherfucker... No problem. Um, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but can I uh, inbox you? or want asking for permission instead of uh -huh. telling her what to do instagram yeah your yeah, phone I mean, number feel free why well, i'm not gonna say my number in the live <laughs> right right <laughs> on instagram can you pause the scene guys are you trying to be her next lover or her fan exactly what, you, what the fuck are you trying to do y'all guys yeah. gotta start go ahead fifth no nah, and you know what i didn't like either it was more of he is what people view of this situation when you don't have no game, you would think this is a win. This is a loss. Like you would think that, oh, well, he impressed her. He was talking to her. He was safe. Like, what did, they, what did these red pills do? He was keeping his frame. And uh, and really, dog, he looked real weak in this whole conversation. She don't respect him. She's looking like this thing is weak. Yeah, this is terrible. My Instagram, yeah, I'm like my Instagram is right there, so you can you can shoot your shot. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. To DM you right now. All right. Okay. Uh, Mike, I just can you, you pause it? I want you guys to pay attention to what she said. You can shoot your shot because the shit you were saying ain't it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said you can shoot your shot, meaning that all that shit you was talking isn't how a man really gets at a chick. And she, she knows this. And she, come on, man. Because she talks about it. I'm sorry, guys. Hold because on. Regardless of what the society is telling you you should be or you should do. Trust me, that is a refreshing quality that shows a lot of strength and a lot of status within itself. It takes a lot to be yourself without the consideration of opinions. Just try to think Ooh, of somebody. Like ish. Wait, wait. Could you pause? Like it? ish. Like, like ish. Question from the chat. Yeah, man, pause. Like ish. Again. This is the contradiction we wanted to show y'all guys. She's a walking contradiction. Everything she's saying, Ish damn near did, and she didn't pat him on the back. She crucified that motherfucker and us for and telling that motherfucker like that. to be real. And then she's doing videos on what we've been talking about for decades. We've been talking about this shit, and she's saying the same shit that we've been saying, and then when someone goes on there and does it, it's bad. But this is good, though. Into your beard. My beard. Like, I never oh, had. No, I not never your had beard. I'm sorry, your, your thing here. I don't have no beard. What the fuck is that black shit under your chin, she's asking, with a fucking fingerprint like it's not cut shaped right? The fuck is she asking? <laughs> what is here? I don't know how you call it. It's just it's just regular chin hair. You know what I'm saying? Like chin I hair. But yeah. what happened to it? Look at it. It's missing something here. It's none of your fucking business. See why y'all let these women talk to y'all this way? Yeah. It's missing something. <laughs> it's um, not. She's saying it's not shaped up right. It's not. It, it's got a clump of hair missing. That's what she's oh, saying. Disrespect, dog. Oh my god, this is terrible. Man, look here, bitch. <laughs> now, I would have said that. I would have just been like, "All right, y'all have a good day." You know what I mean? Mm. Or, or, or if you was a freaky nigga, the only thing is missing is your pussy juice. What you talking about? Wow, oh, man, damn. No, I don't know what it. They, oh, now, now we <laughs> nasty <laughs> nigga, be. Now we know about the channel. <laughs> yeah, we know about the channel. I'm like, I can y'all are so small on my screen. Um I don't know what they talking about, yo. Everything all good over here. I'm like, y'all tell me. I'm like, I can't really, I can't see. It's missing. Or maybe it's a shadow. Somebody said, I don't know. Okay, well, I, I was uh, the the chat was just <laughs> gonna hate. I mean, maybe a little oil can fix it. I mean, who cares? Like, what? I don't know. All right. Well, thank you, Mike. Uh, DM her and fingers crossed. Fingers gotcha. crossed. Lenny, did he cross his fingers? Oh. Did he? The motherfucker. <laughs> Wait. Did he cross his nice night. He fucking crossed his fingers. He fucking crossed his fingers. He crossed his fucking fingers. Hold on, Fifth. Hold on, Fifth. Zoom you in. <laughs> 
I'm praying. Hey, let me get two up. That nigga, that nigga crossing his toes in the sandals and a whole nine, bro. He's a bitch ass nigga, man. All right, you too. Thank you. Uh, oh, they say it's a shadow. I don't know. <laughs> oh my I'm like, god! I, I honestly, like, couldn't even tell. I couldn't yeah. see. No, I couldn't see. Okay. I'm like, I'm on my mobile device, so it's a little bit harder to tell. But it's smaller, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, we got more people for you. We got Corey. Bro, really, really, really. Uh, really, really? Uh, that's how we starting this off. That's how you want to do this. Do you see that? Can I can I get a solo shot? Oh, oh, you know it's coming. Please take the solo. Ladies, this is why you have to share us. <laughs> Facts. Here we go. Okay. Hey, why are you acting like you're reading the Bible? And, and God like, said, let the church say amen. How y'all, how y'all ladies doing today? I'm doing. Look, I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I, I just never had anything pink to. Wear. I don't. I, I just, I just don't know, man. I, I just, I just that it's some. It's like a drip of pink crossing over his. I mean, what the fuck? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna press play. I, I don't. Nelly, what's up? How you doing? Hello. What's up, Leah? You all right? Yeah, I'm doing well today. I'm like, I like your personality. It's bubbly. Thank you. I feel you. I see you got your business casual outfit on today. How was your day going today? Oh, well, I mean, it's really athletic. This is kind of like a athletic and like denim kind of vibe, but thank okay. you. Like, I appreciate okay. it. Okay. Can you good. pause it? Can you pause it? See, this is when he should have told her, oh, the athletic. I need you to stand up because I like athletic shaped women. I need you to stand up and show me what you work with. <laughs> no, no, because he's Christian Mackin. <laughs> he said Christian Mackin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sick Good, um, really productive. Went by a little bit slower, but you know, we got through it. We got through it. So how you how you usually unwind after like a slow day like today? Oh, I slow all the way down. Phones on D and D. Did you notice? You feel like he's already undressed her with his eyes or something. There's something on him. The way he's looking at her, like he's looking at her like she's butt ass naked. Take a hot shower. Eat a nice. Yeah, see that? Yeah, look at him. He, he imagine that. He, yeah. Yo, look at him perk up. That, that book's starting to light up a little bit. He's about to burn that yeah, book. Boy, that book do now. something that will creatively kind of free my, my mind from my business stuff. So mm. whether I'm like just watching a vlog on YouTube or, you know, probably. Or or thinking about should I message that asshole who who fucked the shit out of me that has me hooked on him? God, why isn't he calling me? Why isn't he talking to me? Is he with somebody else? God damn it! We working on like some script work because I do acting. Word word word. I'm a, I'm like a creative. in the industry too myself. So that's oh, that's what do you do? Uh, I'm a costume designer. You don't say. <laughs> Oh, awesome, awesome. So, yeah. do you, like, have you, like, worked on other sets and stuff? So that, yeah. so that nigga be sewing. Uh, he be sewing, huh? I got my IMDB and all that. And my, okay. We'll talk about it when we cross that bridge. But, um, yeah, um, just working in the industry. I live in Los Angeles, so I just okay. want to tap in with you because I've been actually plotting on, like, moving to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. and just wanted to ask, like, what have your experiences been working in the Atlanta film industry? Are we really gonna go with this bullshit? This is and how is it Melly is not correcting this? There's no course correction. It's been really rewarding, I would say. You know, uh, they kind of consider it kind of like a black Hollywood and whatnot, but I, mean, I, I like it here. There's a lot of opportunity out here. I'm sure, you already know, like a lot of the major studios are moving locations. Like, yeah. But yeah, honestly, yeah. I find it that oftentimes there's a lot of people coming from LA that are yeah. not wanting to move yeah. Atlanta, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely like a loving community out here as far as like at least with actors. I'm, I'm not really, I can't really speak necessarily for like set designers and no, I've been, I'm, people, I've, but... been I've been just tapping in into like the industry because you know like BMF is shot down there. I'm actually okay. Well, let's see what Melly has to say about that. You know, I can say that. We'll say it today. But yeah, so again, you guys need to be authentic to who you are. If that's not really what you are, you know, stick to what you are, uh, I think. Because, I mean, we're going to detect as uh, everybody, as humans, female, male, everybody is going to detect that you're playing a role and that it's not really, really now. So really, really now, you don't really? say. 
So, so Melly, pause the show right now and say, why are you playing this fucking fake ass role, knowing that you ain't that you pussy motherfucker? But she ain't gonna do that on that BMF set. But um, yeah, it's just hard finding like a POC production team to get with. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been like wanting to make my way to Atlanta just to like find people of color to work with. Connections, yeah. I was just saying like maybe join Facebook groups as well. I know they have those Mm -hmm. on there. Um. So I guess like as far as your goals, like where do you see yourself five years? Thank you. Get rid of that motherfucker. Both creatively and then also. Oh yeah, mother. Like, oh shucks, I gotta get back oh, in. Wow. <laughs> At this point, I feel like just Grayson just wants to, wants the attention to himself. No, but do y'all see why Melly's gonna let these guys go? Because yeah. the fix is Grayson and these. See, okay, think guys. I want y'all to think about this. See, the thing about Grayson is he's a loser, but he gets recognized through the money he's spending. That's why Melly's going to, Melly can't have a bunch of issues on because it won't allow Grayson any leeway to put $20 in to cancel the guy. So what she's doing already is training Grayson to keep sitting. All he's doing is spending his money. And he actually thinks he's doing something, but she running game on Grayson, uh, Zag and Piff. She running game. Zag, we, we know we know Grayson's tricking money right now. Yeah, all Grayson wants to do right now is dictate the show, want to be seen by these women, and this, and this thing I never call him. Yeah. That's facts. He he wants attention, and, and he's spending money to do it. Yeah, just know this guy. Listen, guys, this is no hate on Melly. We're just showing y'all when Melly, and there's, I think it's a 24 minute mark of her show, when one of our guys went in there and was straight up forward and kept it a buck, she had the nerve to say that it's wrong and, and it doesn't work because you shouldn't ever just come in. You should talk a little and all this other shit. And then she turns around and has these videos out like this. You feel this video authentic. It's really memorable, mysterious, and very exciting. And you know, women love mystery. And see that right there? Can you pause it? Yeah. So, so how can you be mysterious if you answering all her questions? All her questions. If you're giving everything away on the front end, how are you mysterious, guy? There's the contradiction. But if she's actually this coach, then shouldn't she do course corrections like Zag and Fifth? Or two, two, four, what's your name? What's your question, brother? What's up? Yeah, I am Manuel Jacksonville, 22. Um, yeah, so I had a question. Um, so basically, I had this chicken. I was telling, I was telling you, I've been going back and forth. I run the Easter game or whatever, and basically, it blew her out of the water. But now the thing is, like, this is the first time I'm like kind of in uncharted territory where I'm like, okay, she's like texting me like books and shit every single day. Well, but, and, wait, 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 time out. This is what we always tell you guys. Your problem with like all you other guys out there is you wait for the last minute to do shit or when shit's happening to you, then you want to call us in versus be a student of the game and be prepared for women wanting to give you everything and stuff. Why are you talking to us now when you should have learned the game and then learned the Easter game and then when you have the game down, you know how to control that woman? What is she doing that you don't, what, what is she doing that's so bad? No, she's not doing anything bad. It's just like she's like sending me like like vi- like porn videos of things I guess that are like her fantasies. So wh- okay, or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Isn't that wait, wait, wait? Isn't that what you want from women? Isn't that what all you guys desire from women? So you're getting what you desire, and what's the problem? Hey, hey, hey real quick. It's not that's call, still a problem. Call her, call her, call her, call her. Hold on, call her, call her. Have Have you had sex with her yet? He yes, did, twice. He did the he did the Easter game on her, and she's fucked up. He took okay. he took the game that we gave him, the Easter game. Okay. He used it on um, her, and now she's hooked on him, and um, he don't handle it. Zag, I'm I'm gonna say this. This is just me. No woman can send me a porn clip of of a, of a dick. 
I don't no, care if a woman is in it or not. I'm not trying to. I'm just that's just me. I'm, I'm picky like that. Is she in the porn or is she showing you a porn clip? What is she doing? She she just she just sent me like a link. I didn't open it because I was at work when I saw, it, but she sent me a link to like xnxx.com mm. and shit. And it was like something about like a married woman getting fucked by like a black guy. So, uh, so uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Caller, Caller, uh, are, are, are you black? Caller, are you black? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, oh. hey, hey, what she what she want is what she want, man. What's the problem? Well, okay, fair, fair. Here's the problem. Here's, here's the problem. Here's the problem. So the thing that we do, because we actually have game and we're not content creators, we give these guys stuff that they've never even thought of before that will put a woman on another level of sexual excitement. He did what I showed him. And now because he did it right, the woman has lost her motherfucking mind from the game that I showed him. And now he doesn't even know what to do about it because now he's getting everything he wants and you don't know how to handle that now, Carla? What's the deal? Look, Well, it's like, how do I go? Because I know you say, like, I shouldn't let her, like, I should always be in control of the situation, but it's almost like her, she's, like, running amok in the sense that, like, she's just, she can't stop texting me. Like, she literally texts me two, three times. Call it. And you know what it is? Call it. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think you opened the floodgates of her sexuality. That's my... There, were, there were always things about her, and maybe she doesn't typically express it or get a chance to express so. that side of her. And because of what you did... She's like, oh, it's full bore now. I'm gonna let him know everything about so, me, everything I wanted to do. Yeah, and also let me let me tell you, call this fifth man. So I, I've I've gone through this, right? So what you <laughs> what needs to happen is you need to tell a director, look here, look, I found you attractive, but you are becoming unattractive by the way that you are texting me. I will let you know. When I want to communicate, I will call you. This is how it's going to be. Otherwise, we won't be. Does that make sense, caller? Yeah. You got to direct traffic, dog. She wants you to dominate her too, bro. Well, dominate her, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, all this texting. Well, it's unattractive. Well, she, she, he, he, he unlocked, like Zach said, Pandora's box, uh, uh, fifth. He unlocked the door in which she didn't even know she had through the game, Zag and Fifth, that that the content creators don't teach y'all. So he took the game that I showed him. He used it, which means it's the first time she ever experienced that thing. And that thing fucked her up, like you say, Zag, made that emotional connection. And now the drug of you is so motherfucking potent and powerful. She is thinking about what I keep telling you. The last thing you think about when you when she goes to sleep, first thing you think about when she wakes up, she's desiring you because of the shit you did to her that was so unique, so innovative, and so creative that she wants more of it. But like Fifth said, you gotta control the wild horse right now. Yeah, yeah. She she she's acting like a fucking wild Mustang. So 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 call her. What happened is again, and Steve just said it, and I alluded to it earlier. Is you tapped into something, mm-hmm. and, and she's like, she's excited. She's like a little schoolgirl about it. She's just real excited and all over the place. Yeah, you got to kind of like Fifth said, you got to rein her in, give her some structure. She could be wild like a little Mustang, but put her in a pen instead of letting her run wild. Put her in a pen and let it be controlled sexual rage. Right, and this is why we tell y'all guys, I will get you what you want, but call her. Now that you got what you want, now you're like, oh shit, what the fuck do I do? Y'all always, y'all guys always say you want women, right? You always want these women to be aggressive, nasty, and dirty. And then when Zag, myself, 50 Lucario Miles put you in that position, like I did with the Easter game, you got what you want. And now what's the problem, dog? You can't control it? Well, so I don't know, so because so I've so I've only fucked her twice, and the second time was the Easter game. Um, now she's talking about she wants to fly me out to like Louisiana. Of course, there's, there's, yeah, and uh, welcome to our so, life. Well, wait, 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 call so, her. 
Welcome to our world. They want to fly you out. They're going to buy you shit for your birthday. They'll buy you shit for Valentine's Day and Christmas just to keep you around. Welcome to our world. But go ahead, sir. So do I accept that flight or do I? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on real quick. So y'all don't live in the same place. She lives as long distance, right? No, no, no. We live in the same city, but she said she wanted to like. Uh, fly me to Louisiana and spend like a night with me. Do, doing so, does she got family in Louisiana, or is there like a, a bed and breakfast? What, what, what is she trying to do? Like get a like a like a nice, really high end, sweet hotel, and like, is she paying for? Is she paying for the whole thing? She paying for it. Yeah, that's what she said. She said she just got a bonus at work. And she yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, see? See? I'm on my way, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and do that. Zach, her debit card works too. If she if she, if she paying, she's staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's do what we're telling you guys. When you learn the motherfucking game, they will spend money on you. Everybody out here that's complaining that women won't do shit because you ain't shit. But when you meet motherfuckers who are shit that teach you some shit, then look at the results, man. This is so. Go ahead, except but listen. You accept it, but this is not a relationship. Yes. We're, yeah. just, we're going, hey, I'll go. Hey, yeah. hey, pick me up. We'll fly on your dime, da da da. But this is not a relationship. We just fucking and we just having fun. You got to yeah. keep let her know that shit. Okay, let, let me make this point. Yeah. So, as far as you know, she don't got no family in Louisiana, right? No, not as far as I know. Yeah. Correct. Okay, because you don't want no okie doke, and all of a sudden she's yeah. trying to introduce you to people on the low. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Hey, hey, gentlemen, I got to run real quick, man. I got to get right. up, man. No doubt, all, right, all right, peace. All right, peace yeah, out, bro, bitch. Bro, bro, call her. The fact that she got a bonus at work and she wants to spend that on you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that, but but still maintain leadership within the situation yeah. and influence and, and don't let it get away from you where now, you know, she doing shit and you doing shit you really don't want to do. So, so stay out in front of it and just influence the situation because now your influence is now you have the power to do the thing that you never thought that you could do and that's taking the dick off the table it's the one thing a woman is not used to because all they do all their life is take the pussy or dangle the pussy now you showed her with the easter game that i taught you that you you're actually the guy that she's got to work for she's got to please she's got to pay for see that's how it works dog that's why we tell you to stop running behind these women. But go ahead, call her. What's let me, up? Let me, no, let me call her real quick. So the two times you had sex with her, did y'all spend a night together? No. So, um, no, 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 no. So I kicked her out after about an hour and a half the second time after the Easter game because I was going out to the clubs. And I okay. fucked another girl the same night right after her. Okay. Um, and then the first time... Uh, I think she took like an hour nap, but then she left, and so that was the first time. So we she, read, 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 read us what she's writing you. Read it to us. All right, all right, perfect. All right, yeah, let me read it out. So I'll go all the way back to the day. Wait, you want? Can you just send us a screenshot so we can show the guys? Yeah, yeah, I'll send you the screenshots here. Let's see here. So you want me to start all the way from the beginning or just like from the Easter game on? Well, from the Easter game on, because that's where you 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 unlock something. Which shows okay. Zag, which shows Zag. This is the difference between those who have game, gentlemen. When you have game, you're showing creative ways to lock women in and show the value and worth of your dick versus taking her out, kissing her ass, and running behind her. But but also I, I want to point out, I want guys to understand is I need guys to understand the the physical aspect of the sex is part of it, but Steve hit hit it on the head earlier. There's an emotional component. Emotional component it, because of the way that she's feeling. So, right. she, not only is she sexually attracted to him, but they have sexual chemistry. In addition to the fact that she likes him, like it's it's for her, it's beyond just dick. Like yeah, she likes him. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's connection. All right, what do you got for us? Uh, Go ahead. What do you got for us, dog? Yeah, I'm send, I'm sending them all in. It's like uh, four or five. Just send stuff. one or two of them right now, and I'll tell you to read it because I want people to see because people, listen, gentlemen, we keep telling y'all guys, y'all always want receipts, right? You guys always say, well, Steve, 
you old Zag, you old, what y'all know about the game? Y'all don't understand women today. Women are this and women are that. And I'm giving you something that nobody else on YouTube has ever come up with or anything. And I tell you, this shit works because it's innovative, creative, and it shows a woman that you are different from every fucking man she's ever met, Zag. And because right. of that, all right, what's up? You, you got him. Let me let me go in. Yeah, I sent them to you on Instagram. Just oh wait, Insta. God damn it. Hold on. All right. So uh, hold on a second. Uh, God damn it. Fuck. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We got. Hold well, on. Well, 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 see, while you're doing that, just bring up a question, and I and I can answer one of these questions. As a matter of fact, I see a question right there. Oh, oh, you wait, wait, do what you're doing. I see a question right here. Don't worry about it. I got. It. I got. It. Yeah. Let me. Let me just. So I got Jermaine Joquin says, but do you need? Keep letting her know what situation is in a relationship. No, guys, guys, guys. And I tell some of my clients this. You don't always have to verbalize everything to women all the time. The best thing you can do is show her with your actions. Consistency with your actions. The only time you need to provide verbal instructions is when she needs clarity on something or she does something that's not necessarily to your liking and you need to redirect her. Beyond that, you show consistency with your actions. Let uh, your actions speak for you. All right, gentlemen, and like I said before, we, we again, uh, what's beautiful about this show is that we have receipts, gentlemen. It's the one thing that a lot of these guys don't have. We have receipts, so we will show you the receipt of the Easter game, and we're definitely post this up for you guys. But let's go ahead and look at the results before we get to the pineapple show of the actual Easter. And I don't know if these are in order, so I'm looking at seven. I'm just gonna grab one. I don't know if they're in so order. So the first one, the first one is the one that starts with "You are amazing." Uh, let me see. Is this "You are amazing"? Ah, yeah. Here you go. "You are amazing." Hey, I got pet names already. Go ahead. Then I heard you. I am home. Right. Then she said, babe, seriously, thank you. The effort and thought you put behind tonight. Man. Guys, do y'all see why we are some bad motherfuckers and why we keep okay. telling you? Why okay. not, hold on. What, what's up, Zach? No, go, continue. I, I got something. That, something that's concerning me, but go ahead and finish. Okay. No, what's concerning you? What's up? Okay. <laughs> call her. Let me just call her. Call her. Your leadership is paramount because she is falling hard. Just, yes. I, I'm just, she is falling hard. So you have to kind of make sure that her emotions don't get too out of hand. But, 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 but remember, guys, all y'all listening, y'all all say you want pussy and we tell you, fuck with us. We're going to put you in a position. Yeah. We put them in a position and look at the result. This is live. This is unscripted. This is showing you what happens. Now, this is only page one. Yeah. So y'all see page one right here. You see what she's saying? Wait, she hold on a second. you continue? So, yes. Carla, you had sex with her twice, but how long have you known her? Uh, three weeks. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Go that ahead. Easter game, that Easter game, guys, y'all keep sleeping on your boy Steve. That Easter game's a motherfucker. Let's get to the next one. So the next one uh, is now, is it all you in like thick green? Is that the second one? So the green is me and then the uh, yeah, that'd be the other one. Okay, so let's get to that one. I guess that's, I mean, I'm just showing you all these and we'll get back to the show, but we want to show you the results. Now you say whatever the fuck you want to say. She says, okay, dear, sorry about the dinner, uh, the, the dinner pick. Uh, it was meant for my cousin last night, Saturday nights. All right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. All right, I have a bonus coming at the works. Strawberries, whipped cream, champagne, chocolate, caramel, hot wax. Gentlemen, y'all, this is what y'all want. Don't y'all want women to talk to you? Wait, this wait, wait, keep reading that shit. I see something. Wait. Well, go ahead, Zach. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. I, I, I can't wait to make you come. Uh, down my, down my throat. <laughs> That's what I saw. No, y'all, y'all, hey guys, y'all say y'all want receipts. Y'all say Steve. That's crazy. That Easter okay. game. Hold on, hold on. Right there. What I else? Could that? Imagine pulling you into one of the side streets and first in Augustine and giving you amazing head. I want you to sit, sit me on a counter or ledge or desk and wrap my legs around you. Yo, that, but that, real quick. 
Because yeah. somebody said it was fake. Kyle, whatever your name is. Wait, where's he, Kyle? Is we, no, no, no. We'll kick Kyle out. Kyle. Yep, it's fake. Kyle, 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 Kyle Thompson called it fake. Kyle, Kyle, it's fake, buddy. It's fake. Bye. Bye, Kyle. It's fake. Anyway. See, see, let, let me say this. Right. You're the type of guy that don't get no pussy and women don't gravitate to you like this. For you, you can't even imagine this ever happening to you. This People is not me. Women don't talk this way. This is what we're trying to tell you. You, when you unlock, when we are showing you how to be sexual with a woman, this is what happens. We got two more, and then we'll continue real quick. Uh, back to the show. Uh, here's the next one right here. The next one says right here. It says it was amazing to wake up to a man. Hey, hey. So what I teach him, Zag, is the next day. You hit them with uh, either a voice message or a video message to reinforce the night before. So look what she's saying about that. It was amazing to wake up to a message from you. My nipple. See now, see now, now she's explaining. Now I mean, I, guys, y'all, I love it. I love it. Yeah, like, you, you, know, you know, you know what I love. What's up? Is everything is sexually charged? It's not all that mushy shit. Right, and you know what? And yeah. do you see why we so fucking arrogant? Guys, do you see why we tell women what to do? Do you see why we say we have other women? Do you see why we present ourselves the way we do and don't even make it about the pussy? Because the pussy will come when you have motherfucking game. Let's move to that. Wait, what did she say? I know I miss them. And, they, and she said, I'll taste them soon. I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. Let's get to the very last one, gentlemen. And here is the last one. Not too much from her, more from him. And let's get to the last one. And she's like, uh, "I'm th hey, in the middle of the day, probably. I'm thinking about you. Hey, going to yeah. get my wand out and satisfy the hunger, meaning she's about to masturbate to him. Okay? And, and she'll talk. She'll rub your mask. She'll explore out this proud. I hope you will grant my three wishes. Uh, and this is where she's saying, have me ride you. Off. So, gentlemen. As we are saying to you guys that don't know about the Easter game that we told you about a month ago, that everything that Zag, myself, and the fellas have is authentic game. That means that it is not regurgitated bullshit it comes from the motherfucker that actually did the shit to get the results that you see right now to be able to say any woman that you meet you're fucked because when you meet a motherfucker like me this is what's going to happen and and this is what we're saying to all you guys out here you see what i'm saying so so call her Hey, 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 look at R Street, hey, R Street put it in your pants girl she said <laughs> she said hey hey she said <laughs> She's like, hey, all those trees, stop that, girl. Stop that. That's yeah, not for you. And, well, and let me let me say this real quick. And, and call her, definitely bang her in public. Now, don't get the, don't get yourself arrested, though. Don't don't be a fool. Now, but now definitely you know, do that. Definitely this, do that. This is what I want you to do. I'm gonna give you one real quick before I get back to the pineapple show because we spit games. See, this is how you teach people and coach people. Now you've already got land. So now what I want to do, I want you to tell her in two hours or you choose the time, I want you naked in the bed. I want the lights out and I want you to be prepared to follow my instructions so you can come to my name and the things I'm going to tell you to do. Are you ready to play? Send that to her. And if she's ready to play, so what you're going to do is you're going to talk about the flight. Now, let's make it the flight from you leaving from where you're at to going to Louisiana and how you t you play with her pussy uh, at the right next to her, but you take her into the bathroom. But what I want you to do is get the orgasm from the bathroom and make her come. And listen, once you make her come, make her pat her pussy. Because we want we want what is called aftershocks, brother. Because most of y'all guys they 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 come, but y'all don't they they're sensitive at that moment. So you want to give them some aftershocks. I mean, Zach, come on, man, we got game over here. So call her. Yeah. Just just you're good. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, we, I'm gonna I'm gonna play back to type everything out you said. Like yeah, just type play back, type everything out. Tell her what you want to do, but also reward her behavior of expression. See, gentlemen, you don't want to tear a woman down that is opening up like this. 
you want to go ahead and reward it by letting her know how sexy you find it that she's able to open up and express herself. Yeah. Uh, Steve, I tell you, this shit is the real, like, this was, this right here was like my transition. Like, I had been getting some chicks here and there, but like, this was like the moment where I felt like I crossed over to the over side, other side where I was like, Did you wait, man, real I quick, never real quick, wait, wait. When, I, when I mentioned Easter game and the Easter basket, you thought I was a dumbass motherfucker. You were like, man, that shit ain't gonna work, didn't you? You probably laughed at me, didn't you? Man, Steve, I always trusted in you, man. I do. Y'all got to trust. You got to trust in your boys. Myself, Zag, the fifth, Lucario Mouse. We are teaching you nothing that nobody is teaching. Authentic. So you're going to be the first. Listen, if you break up with her next month, you're going to fuck her up close to Easter next year. Next year. She was never, she is never going to forget that moment because you have edged yourself in that moment and no one else will take that away because nobody else is going to do what we taught you to do. Okay. Right. Yeah. And the guy just say one more like, guys, like, yeah, I want to come over to this side. Like, this is crazy. Because I showed it. I showed it. I showed it. So I fucked the second chick that same night at Easter, the Easter night, right? Yes. Um, and But, like, it wasn't, like, planned or whatever. Like, it was a chick. And I was like, okay, yeah, I came over. And so she saw the aftermath of the Easter game with, like, chocolate stains on, like, the seats in the corner. And, like, she saw the, like, the candles and the Easter basket and all of the different toys that were still laid out on the ground. And she's like, what happened here before I came? So then I explained that to me. She was like, whatever I need to do, can I please experience this? Like now, now, wait, that. No, 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 no. Real quick, show you game. You call her and let me know when you're going to be naked in the bed. And I can't do the Easter game with you right now, but I can make you play with your pussy while I explain what I'm going to do to you if you were at my apartment. Do you see what I'm saying? Remember, guys, the thing about the game we show you is that you can do 3D by talking to her and allowing her touch herself. 4D is her experiencing it. So what I'm saying to you is you can give her another orgasm and another fantasy with the Easter game and let her masturbate to it. So what I would do is I would send her uh, uh, send her the uh, send her the, uh, the, uh, the invitation. And tell her this is a one night masturbation invitation for Easter game. When you want to cash it in, let me know. And we will have the Easter game on a mental level while you playing with your pussy. See, that's what guys we do. You see what I'm saying, caller? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to watch the playback. So all right. Watch the all playback. We're probably, we'll, we'll clip this and we are going to show you guys, but we appreciate the call, big dog. Okay. All right, thank you. I right, respect. And guys, this is oh shit. The lines on a second. Uh, Erico three three seven. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir? Three three seven going one. Yes, sir. Yes, how can we yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. What's your What's your question? What's your name? Yes. How you doing, Steve? Thank you for taking my call. So I had a question. What is your uh, name, my, my... sir? Your name. Your name. Oh, uh, name is Elliot. Okay, um, Elliot. How can we help you, Elliot? Okay, so I was in relationship with a girl for like I guess six months. Bro, bro, call her, call her. You're, you're mumbling. Um, I'm, I'm going to need you to lift your chin up, talking to the phone, speak a little louder, sir. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I'm going to answer that question, Shrees. Give us, a, give us a second, girl. But no, go ahead. Go. Ahead. What's your question, buddy? What's up? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, what's up? Okay, so I was in relationship with this chick for about six months. And I'm not going to lie, I'm, I, I messed up. I'm going to own that as a man. Because there's a lot of things I let slide. and. I guess my question is, how do I like get better from if this? If she disrespected you, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, and I let then that slide. Then she's gone. Then, uh, I'm, I'm, okay. No, uh, no, yeah, no. That's saying, yeah, like I cut so it then off. It's, it's over. It's over. Yeah, that's it. I, so no, I just say it was. Sir, it's over. Yeah, so, I know. So he's asking. So how do you learn going forward? So call it. How do you learn going forward? Be a student of the game. You gotta be a student of the game. You, you, you. Here's the thing. I want you guys to understand something. There are certain things that require extensive work where we got to actually talk to you, find out what type of mindset and mentality you have to actually, that, that puts you in that predicament to make those choices so mm -hmm. we can eradicate the way that you think and then give you a, a new foundation for you to actually find out who the fuck you are and actually mm -hmm. move in such a way where you command respect because you're not doing that now. Right. And I'm going to be honest, like, 
another thing well, it was like a few things i fucked up like so the first part is it's like because the thing i like to do i like to go to sports bars and watch football because like i'm a huge football fan so like she would have an issue with me doing that and like she was all thinking about doing creeping and doing shit and i stopped stop and i stopped doing that then then you're then look call how do you 26. Okay, so you need to get with us on the back end and we need to talk, okay? Because I don't want you to give all your personal information out. No, no, sure. So let's talk on the back end because we got to continue the show, but you need a lot of help, okay, buddy? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll send you an email. All you right, send me an email. We'll, we'll send you, set you up. We'll send you a pathway and get you going, okay, my brother? Appreciate you. Taking I respect. Me. Great call, sir. We'll, we'll get at you. So I just want to say, AA Streets, the only thing I want to tell you is you better stay away from a man. Girl, you better stay away from a man, our streets. Telling you now, stay away from a man because they're going to flip your world upside down. But anyway, guys, we're getting back to the pineapple show. You got a question to ask. But, gentlemen, just the last thing to say to you guys out there. I know you guys say you want women. You want this lifestyle. But sometimes when you get what you ask for, it's a very scary thing when you meet an aggressive woman. A lot of guys, women can be aggressive when they want dick or they want that person's egg. And, and I'm going to tell you this. This is why the caller that's having the, the, the stuff go down with the woman wanting to take him to Louisiana. Yes. If you don't know how to lead, you can mess up that situation. Absolutely. So right now, everything is all good. But number one, consistency is key. What, what, whatever he's doing and or saying, he needs to be able to maintain consistency with that because the moment because th this is what let me let me tell you guys if you get too caught up and and what she's doing and how she's behaving and you start to get a little clingy with your feelings you can mess it up because she might like the fact that you're more of the dominant authoritative type to take charge but if you get too caught up with your feelings and then you you allow that to get the better of you and that seeps in you can destroy her image or perception of you, and that will alter the whole dynamic of how she's feeling. Yeah. So, hey, Streets, if you if you need some help, Streets, you know we we got you, girl. We got you. Just 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 let us know, Streets. Well, here we go. Let's get back to the pineapple show. Here Traded we go. Diddy, son. No Diddy. Stop. <laughs> the best friend. You gotta. You gotta All right, here we go. You gonna pull up? Like, what you about to do? Because Grayson never came to the screen to to talk to a girl. So I don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah. A streets. Uh is that what's your uh what's your IG? Uh just uh K Zag and 20. Yeah, A A Streets, K Zag and 20. The man mindset. Uh fifth, I forgot fifths. Yeah. This is uh it's the the real Mr. Hey, yeah, just just write that down, Streets. Uh 702, what's your question? What's up? Yo, Steve, yo, Zag, it's Mohab. What's up, Mohab? I have, I have what a question. Yo. Yo, I have a question. Okay, so I understand that it's in and out and the bit is in and out. I understand in and out, but how do you display your personality in such a way in, in, in a short period of time that is so impactful that okay. out of everybody she's Mohab. like that's Mohab. First yeah. of all, let me let me ask you a question. And this this is a real question. <clears throat> yeah. Do you love yourself? One hundred percent. Yeah, a lot. Do you have you ever looked in the mirror at yourself and just smiled at yourself and said, You're a bad, sexy motherfucker? You ever say that to yourself? Yeah, every day. Okay, so introduce women to that person. Right. That that same energy, like I'm I'm serious. That same energy. When I say, man, I'm so sexy as hell, I want to touch myself. I'm not joking, I mean that shit. So so when I talk to women, I introduce them to that confident guy. That that guy that's so self assured, right? I introduce them to that. So when so when I have a conversation with them, they they can feel that energy oozing from my pores. They can they can say, God, this guy is very sexual, and I haven't said anything about fucking. Yeah, but I don't say uh, what is his question though. The question, okay, no, but as that kind of answer this, year, but it, it, I guess it all comes just from your demeanor of you already being that guy. You don't have to. Like you don't have to say too much, but my thing, my thing was like, okay, sometimes when I'm out and about, I'll put my bid in, and then the girl will want to talk a little bit more, right? She'll she'll say some stuff, you know. But that's to fine left, to right? talk a little more, but my time is everything. Listen, I, 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 I listen. I'm going from point A to B. Mm -hmm. I saw you. 
So I veered off from my direction in which I'm going to, to talk to you. I don't have, listen, as much as I would love to talk to you right now, I can't because I got something to do, but I'll make it up to you on our first date when we go for coffee, feeding the ducks or wherever you want to take her. And I'll make it up to you with an extra hug or an extra kiss. And you can say that kind of shit because that's what fucking makes us different. Talk shit to okay. her. Right. Yeah, well, that, that's kind of what I was asking. Like, in the conversation, in the bit, in the in and out, you're still flirting a little bit. Still because I, because we are, I keep telling y'all, man, Zag and I and Fifth, Lucario, we are sex. So we don't have to pretend to be sex because we know what the fuck we're doing with women, man. Okay, okay. Okay, I just okay. I still want to make, make it feel rushed. Like it's cool to just feel okay, a little. Okay, listen. For a I can't, I gotta go. Listen. I, how is it bad? Listen. I gotta go. I love to talk and get to know you a little bit more, but I really have somewhere to go. But I'm gonna make it up to you. We go out this weekend, and what I will allow you to do is I'll let you hug me a little bit longer than you actually want to, and I'll make sure I end this with a kiss in between the conversation that we have. What is so? What is so wrong with that? Do you think she's ever heard a motherfucker say some shit like that? Fuck no. no. And say no. that. With, right. That's what we're saying. You're not being weird and creepy. You're being fun and flirty. Right. Okay. No, that answers my question for me. Hold on real quick. Okay. Okay. Steve. I mean, hold on real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Grayson, I have super chat. You're not on my channel, bro. If you're under somebody else's channel, you can't super chat me. You got to go to my channel. Return to manhood. The return of manhood. The return of manhood. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. All right. Are okay, you good, brother? We gotta get back to the yeah, show. Yeah. No. The second question, real quick. Okay. I, I noticed you told Emmanuel that. Okay. If 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 the woman's offering to buy to pay for a hotel and stuff, he's cool to stay the night. But I had one. I had one that told me she wants to get a hotel. Not 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 the main one, Steve. But the, I, I don't. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Call Caller, I need everybody to listen to this. Just because a woman is getting a hotel doesn't mean you got to stay the night. Now, if you're going out of town with her, then, I mean, where the fuck are you going to sleep outside? But you remember if, if she's getting a hotel within the same city y'all live in, you ain't got to spend the night. You got to spend the night, but I'm thinking about Vegas. Remember the one I, I, met, I met in Vegas, right? Uh -huh. What did she do? Uh, that's what I thought of. Right. What did she do? She flew me, got the room and all that shit, right? On her dime, right? Right. That's mm -hmm. the point. So what's the problem? Yeah. As long as, yeah, cool. un, as long as they're under, no, there's got to be understanding though. We, yeah. we just fucking and fucking around. There's nothing serious yeah. here. Exactly. Yeah. Well, right. You got to make sure you let her know that because she's going to get a wrong idea, big dog. Right. Thank okay. You, yeah. Steve. Thank you. you so, what Steve is saying, hold on. I'm going to have everybody listening. What Steve is saying is you still set boundaries. Boundaries. I said boundaries. Boundaries. You still set the boundaries, right? Don't do something you're uncomfortable with. Just because the woman spent some money. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but yo, it can't be a consistent thing. Like it's a one off thing where she bought a hotel. Like, it it okay. All right, Mo. This is what I keep trying to tell you. It was what I learned when I was twelve watching Purple Rain. I didn't understand why Apollonia bought the bought, okay, Prince looks at the guitar, but why did Apollonia buy the not only buy the motherfucker, brought it, dragged that motherfucker from her house or wherever she got from the mall to his place brought it and was so excited she opened it up because she was more excited for him to open it up i didn't understand that until i learned the game so this is what i'm telling you and all you guys do you want a lifestyle where women want to be with you all the time want to spend time with you love on you buy you things and i'm not making this as a fairy tale but this is what the game is about Women, like, that's why Zag says her credit card works, too, because she's only going to spend money on a motherfucking investment, and that's an emotional and sexual investment. If she knows she's going to get a return as in coming mentally and being more connected and becoming one-on-one, she's going to invest that money into that, man. That's how the motherfucking game work, okay? Hey, Grace, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, stop me. Grace, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you slide because you uh Zag's boy, but you better shut your fucking mouth when you here with me, bitch. Don't you ever say hang up on this guy because your bitch ass ain't calling in. So shut your fucking ass up. And you better not say nothing else. I'll get rid of your bitch ass. Don't you ever hold on, Mohab. See, this is how you gotta talk to bitches. 
Don't you ever disrespect this fucking show again. Do you understand me, Grayson? Do you understand? Because if you disrespect this fucking show again, you're gone. Don't you ever do no shit like that again. Because you ain't asking for help, bitch. All right, I'm sorry, Mohab. So you good, big dog? Yeah, last question. Okay. Come so on, man. Hurry up, up man. What? What? Okay, she brings up the whole. Uh, uh, can can I get the hotel in Niagara? Can, so can I say? Can I say? Yo, it's cool. We can do that, but but uh, you just have to have the understanding that we're not. Yeah, there. We're not, the, not we, you can get the room. You can get the room, but we're not. And this is not a relationship. We're just fucking around. And if you're getting the room on okay. the on the on the intentions of a relationship, then don't get the room because I don't want you to do it. In, in oh. a, okay, just be honest with. It, all right, we're talking. To, I got okay, you. Okay. We'll talk. We'll talk, big dog, okay? All right, appreciate I got you. you, brother. All right, okay, guys, let's get back to the pineapple show. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Shut up. Stop worrying about my coin, okay? Well, well, you know, training today. We, we got more people for you. Right. Uh, Aaron, hello. Hey, ladies. Hi, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. Okay, gentlemen. This is what we're talking about. This is exactly what we're talking about. After he said, how you doing? Did y'all see her freeze? Hey, old man, let me kick you out the room, dog. I don't want to hear no she's beautiful. Get the fuck out the room with that bitch ass shit. You should know. You, you, I hate people. See? No, I got to kick him out. I had to kick him out. She ain't beautiful, motherfucker. I've been, te- I've been teaching that motherfucker for months about beauty. And what does this motherfucker sit around hey, and yo, say? Hey, Marco. Yeah, y'all gotta stop doing that, man. Look, I bet we ain't playing over here, dog. Guys, it's perfectly normal to visually see something and say, I like the way that looks. Beyond that, don't let your mind work overtime with it because number one, she got on makeup. If you threw her ass in a pool and she climbed out, she ain't gonna look exactly the same. Your hair so, will come off. <laughs> So, so you can't allow yourself to get caught up with how I want. You can appreciate the fact that women take care of themselves, but beyond that, what is she doing to be beautiful? Right, exactly. She got earned beauty, but look at this guy. Look how nervous he is. So, That's questions? Right. Uh-huh. Questions there for me? Um, for see, okay, okay. Let me show you. He did something right, Zach. He did something wrong. See, he said. He told her what to do, but he told her the wrong thing to do. You don't go to a woman and say, okay, what questions do you have for me? No, guys. When you are interesting, they will ask you questions. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Kay, if she's a mermaid, then I'm going to ride that mermaid pussy underwater. And I'm going to, hey, 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 Zach, this is how I'm going to talk to her. Wait, wait. So subtitle, suck this dick. <laughs> no, just playing around, K Rev. Hey, if she a mermaid, then I'ma have her mermaid. Hey, oh, 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 I heard you just mention um, you were talking about how a, a guy is is sex and the way that he presents yes. himself or the way that he's talking he he can he can get a woman sexually aroused oh, absolutely. without 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 mentioning sex. I just heard you and Zach yeah, talk about that. Absolutely, yes. So now, yeah. so now, my question is: Where do you draw the line between talk, talking and? Uh, talking and getting a woman sexually aroused without without mentioning sex between being well, or um, as opposed to being direct about sex. Well, but here's the thing. Okay, what I'm saying, my brother, is I don't I don't ever bring up sex first, mm-hmm. and she brings. Okay, she usually brings up sex by starting off lightly by saying you're cute, you have dimples, I like your smile. I'm just saying for me. I, I'm just saying for me. He will start that shit rolling. Uh, she will start to say, you know what? I, I'm, I'm thinking about you. You're on my mind. Good morning. I, I, I love I love what you wrote to me. You see what I'm saying? She will start okay. all that off. I don't, I don't bring up the sex because I'm making her feel something 
that she's not used to feeling, and that's a motherfucker that's not trying to fuck. I want to conquer. I don't want the pussy. I want land. I don't want 40 acres. I just need one acre. I just need one acre in her mind. That's all I need to work with. But, yeah, but does that make any sense? No, it makes sense. But So let, so let me ask you this. It, now, when it comes to being direct about sex, are you still being direct? If you're if you're uh, presenting yourself in a certain way that doesn't exude, well, I just want to fuck. Well, but the is thing, that still being direct? Well, yeah, I'm always direct. But see, the thing is, is that because of the shift in my mind, as I can talk about as well, is that yeah, you I definitely was there to say something she too. She has done nothing to earn my dick yet. I mean, she has done nothing to earn my attention, my time, okay. or my respect. So. I'm saying that what are you going to show me, not bring to the table type stuff, but right, I right. need to see your movements and your character to show me that, you know what, that you're worth my time. I don't want to give my dick away to ain't excuse me, ladies, I don't mean to call it not all way. I don't get to know ain't shit, bitch, you crazy? I'm not giving my dick away to no low-hanging, bottom-of-the-barrel fucking woman that can't do shit to me but bring problems in my life. I want a woman no. that's... Yo, go ahead, Zach. Go ahead. No, I just want to say this. So, me me personally, right, I've dealt with, with enough women where I understand patterns of behavior. So, what I mean by that is I don't want to deal with a woman that's not sexually attracted to me. So I don't right. have to mention sex to find that out. So when when I'm introducing myself to a woman and I'm talking to a woman, number one, I'm going to be close. I'm going to be right there up on her. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not not where I'm being disrespectful, but but she going she gonna to feel my motherfucking masculinity. Every fucking molecule of my, my masculinity she going to feel, right? So, oh, no. so while I'm talking to her, what, what she's going to do, based on what I'm saying, She's going to reveal to me what her thought process is in that moment. See, the, you the problem based on what you're saying or based on what she's saying? Okay, based on what I'm saying, right? Because okay. I'm I'm getting her to respond to my energy. I'm not trying to respond to hers. I'm getting her to respond to me and what I'm doing. And I said the other day, I believe yesterday, I was talking about getting a woman to to declare. I'm going to reveal who the fuck I am right away. So she has no choice but to do one or two things. She either gonna say, you know, I ain't fucking with this dude because I'm not attracted to him like that, and she just gonna show me that, or she's gonna be like, I'm feeling them, I'm feeling them. So she's gonna declare where her mind is at. And I'm gonna say this, Steve, and I'm gonna pass it back to you. This is what guys have to remember, and I think a lot of you guys forget this. When women first meet you, I'm talking about face to face, mm -hmm. right? Within the first several seconds, 30, 45 seconds, a minute, even you know, to the first couple of minutes, they already know whether yes. or not you're the type of guy they might consider having sex with. I want guys to understand the word consider because in many times she might say, he likes the type of guy I think I might want to go there with. But oftentimes yeah. they haven't necessarily made up their mind completely yet because they still want to know a little bit more in many cases. And what you... And a woman can, and a woman can change your mind at any time. Well, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. So the, the problem is, is that, okay, this is why we tell you guys to stop listening to what women want. Because what women want will always align with their personal beliefs and their lifestyles. And that is not an emotional bond. That is just a connection she has. That's why she says, I'm looking for this kind of guy. But when you... Okay, okay. Well, let me let me ask you this. Yes. As far as her personal belief, would you say that what a woman is saying, especially like on the internet and shit, would it does it align more more with her current emotion than her belief? Okay, okay. Remember, and this is not a bad thing to say about women because I'm never we're not talking bad about women, but she's only the subtotal of the average motherfucker she's ever dated or been around, right? So if she's been around average, what do you think her personal beliefs and what do you think she wants? And once in a guy is average things until she meets an unaverage motherfucker that is not, they can't be average. A man is not average. 
a man is saying that I am what I am, but the thing is, is that I can invoke emotions out of you, sexual comfort. I'm not just talking about comfort, sexual comfort. And, and, and it's not our job to make them feel happy, but they equate their happiness to us because for the first time they're around somebody that doesn't judge them, that doesn't ridicule them, or doesn't belittle them for being open and nasty like that email, that letter we got earlier, which makes her more loyal, loyal to us based off of what most guys are not. Let me let, let me say this real yeah. quick. And let me say this real quick, caller, Dave, because Melly said this earlier, not not on the pineapple show, but when Steve would cut to the to the uh, other shit. She was talking about yeah. sometimes women don't even know what they want and they're kind of confused. Mm. Oftentimes, women don't know what they want until they are presented with something. Presented with something, yes. Meaning right. a man that's uncommon to him, meaning how he conducts himself, how he speaks. She didn't even know she was attracted to such a man until that man presented himself to her. So, so and, 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 that, and that's crazy that you say that because I, I had an old head that used to tell me. A woman, a women don't know what they want until they get it. Well, what's we'll think about this because her values, beliefs, and everything are more on a surface level. We're tapping into what is called emotional triggers. See, we again, we're we're not emotion. See, because we're not emotional, we're tapping into the emotion. But when you're emotional. He's tapping into your femininity, which gives her the advantage because what you see on the pineapple show is a woman that is tapping into a lot of individuals who are just beating around the bush and talking about a bunch of bullshit, big dog. She, 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 she's tapping into the, the man's emotion, which is ultimately just following the woman. Well, well, the male's emotion. A man, she can't tap into a man's, a, a men are not emotional. Women are. We have emotions, like if your football team yeah. scores, yes, but we're not emotional. Yeah. So we're just saying that we we tap into those triggers, and I'll give you a few of the triggers. Some of the triggers can be uh, triggering uh, a fear, like Zag is saying. Some women will don't want us to call her. Some women won't fuck with us. Because of how we make them feel. And that's why we okay. always tell you that you'll bring a lot in, but you'll lose a lot because they don't know what it means to lose control when they've always had control. So a woman that has always controlled the narrative since junior high school, high school, and college runs into a real man. That's a scary thing to be so vulnerable and so open towards somebody that makes you feel that you should be vulnerable. And that's a scary thing. And that will run a woman off, Zach. Yeah, she can't handle it. Yeah, so what's what's so funny is sometimes a woman, a woman can she can hop online and she can vent about how she wants to be loved and <laughs> I really want a boyfriend. And then and then she'll meet a dude. And she's like, I really want a boyfriend, but in the meantime, I'll take some dick. You know what I'm saying? Although an hour or two ago, she was really emotional about wanting a boyfriend. And her mind hasn't changed. It's just that in that moment, she wants something different because of how that man is making her feel. And when she wants something yeah, yeah, well, a woman's emotions is up and down. It's everywhere. Wait, 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 yes. but, but, but it, it can be controlled, though, through the influence of a man. See, that's the thing that people don't understand. The emotions, okay, women, okay, okay, this is what you don't understand about women. And guys, get your crayons out. And women, y'all will learn something. The reason why women lose it with a man is because when they get with average males, they have to put their emotions on the shelf because they've got to validate the emotional male. They've got to make him feel like a man. They've got to make him feel superior. So what they do is they put their feelings on hold, on the shelf, and try to make, when he's having a bad day, she's always saying, it's okay, baby, I got you. And she's like, damn, will I ever have a chance to actually feel what it's like to be around a man where I actually lose control and I cry and I get angry and I get jealous and I get all these things because a man can invoke those things, but also a man can control those things because even though she can be jealous or territorial, 
she's still gonna respect that motherfucker. And she, hey, you know how it is when you at work and your boss tell you to do something, you like, man, fuck them. You can say the fuck you want under your breath, but don't let them hear you. Because if he hears you, Zach, you go get your ass fired. You see what I'm saying, caller? So I got you. To to Steve's point, right? So I subscribe to the yin and yang theory, right? So if anybody knows anything about yin and yang, uh, one aspect of it is um, dark, dark and chaos, which is women. The other aspect of it is light and order, which is the man. So a, a masculine man, a dominant man, who's actually a decisive, assertive leader, he can bring light. He can bring order to a woman's chaotic existence. Right. This is why. This is why. If you hear women talk, they'll talk about how they can't stand men who are inconsistent. Right. Because if you're inconsistent, then you're like her. Right. So it's like if you think about a battery. Right. If you think about a car battery, you have a positive and a negative charge. Right. It it has to work with the opposite. Right. If you so if you are a chaotic guy and you're indecisive and you're indirect and you're passive, you're bringing negative to negative. The woman of the negative energy, you're bringing. You're also bringing the same energy, which is why there's a clash. Right. There has to be the opposite, which is why femininity yields to masculinity. Y'all got it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Yo, thanks for the game, man. I appreciate Great you, call, brother. We appreciate you. Got other questions? Let us know. Great call. Okay, brother. Great sure. call. Great call. That was an awesome, fun call. Here we go. Let's get back to this guy. I mean, let's just get to the basics, right? I'm like. Upper 20s, we ain't playing no games. All right, so how old are you? Where are you from? Um, and then what do you look for, like, in your person? Already fucked up. She's controlling the narrative. Already fucked. Gentlemen. Okay, Zach, you've seen Django Unchained, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, I love this. I, I, I mean, I can have that show. I love, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love the white guy, the German guy. I, 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 love, I, I love his acting. Yeah, okay, so, gentlemen. God damn it. Hold on a second. Let's grab this phone. What's your name? What's your question, sir? How can we help you? Yeah, this is Marco. So I just had a question about what I said in the chat. All right. So. We, what so the fuck did you say in the chat? Who the fuck are you? What did you say in the chat? This uh, is A.L. Marco. Well, like, hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hey, you should know that you don't fuck around in my chat. And you yeah, should yeah. know that I teach you about beautiful. So you're spitting in my face. I'm not gonna have that shit. So I don't want to hear that shit. You 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 should no. know better. I don't want to hear that shit. I ain't got nothing to say to you. This is this is a, this is a standard. See, this is what men do. You you knew that you came in and you not only disrespected myself, you disrespected the room and Zach. You did it knowing better. So I went the fuck. You have nothing to say. Just own that shit. Goodbye. All right, sorry, gentlemen. I'm, right, let's continue. So, Jay, uh, so Zach, what I'm saying to you is this: yeah. that the thing that I love the most from the show was when he met Calvin Candy, and Candy asked him, "What do you think about my ends?" Django smoking his cigarette said, "I'm not impressed." And then what did Calvin say? Well, hey. If you're not impressed, then we ain't got nothing to talk about because these are the only ends I got to sell. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't want the ends you. He said, hey, 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 I, I don't want the ones you're trying to sell. He said, I only sell the ones I want to sell. No, no. And then that's when the German said, he wants, you don't want your first best. You don't want your second best. But your third best, you'll sell that because your third best is better than anything that you're selling us in at all anyway. So that, so what we're trying to say to people is that you have got to stop doing the basic things and draw the woman out to show her and uh, force her to be more than ass and titties. When you're asking a woman questions, like you're asking her gentlemen, you're saying that your beauty is so fucking amazing that I lost a train of thought and I don't even know how to operate in front of you. Zag would say you. So, when she, because she said, um, well, she said, how tall are you? What do you do for a living? And there's some other shit. I would not answer none of those questions. Exactly. exactly. I, I would go straight. I said, look, this is what we're going to do, Leah. I'm going to go ahead and hit you up on the back end. Yes. 
I'm going to pass you my number. I want you to utilize that number. Don't text me. I want you to call me. You and I are going to have a conversation about meeting face-to-face, and every question you have for me will be answered in due time. And that's it. That's that's it. And and that and that's the unrecognizable. So here we go. We 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 we're gonna go for the long way. Character wise. I'm 38. I'm okay. from Philly. Okay. And what I look for in my person is basically somebody that's understanding, somebody that I why does a man need a woman to understand him? <laughs> what what fuck? Fuck. Yo, I saw a Facebook post where a guy said that. I don't need a woman to understand me. I just need her to fucking listen. Yeah, you just need to listen. If you can't, okay, gentlemen, this is not, we're not being mean to women. You don't need to understand me because you don't, a a woman cannot understand a man. She cannot. Mm -hmm. She just has to be on the program to realize the man that she's fucking with knows exactly where he's going to take her, Zach. Here we go. I can help build somebody that can help build better. Erico 201, what's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is, uh, this is Grayson. How are you? Grayson, what's your question? Uh, My question is, um, basically, I didn't mean any disrespect. Grayson, you're fine, y'all. Come on, what's your question? But you have to to say sorry. We're good. We we squashed it. What I'm saying, Grayson, is this. You got Mm -hmm. young men on here that are already awkward and feel out of order. And it takes mm-hmm. a lot of courage for these young men to call into the show knowing we're not going to be, we're not going to make and beat them down. And, but for Got you it. to sit there and, and laugh at the person and act like you're better than him, we can't allow that to happen on our show. We, we, really, we, we love, we got no, not love like that. We got nothing but love. Like, you know, you, my dog and respect. For all our mm-hmm. children, no, no Diddy. No oh, Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. But what I'm saying is, is that <laughs> we want we want them to call in because we're actually trying to help them, but it doesn't suit them well when you're trying to ridicule, judge, or laugh at them. And we can't allow that yeah. shit, dog. We can't. True. So what's up? True. No, no, no. I just wanted to give my apologies. My no, plan. you're good. We, we, listen, it's it. all good. It's all listen. We we squash it. I'm just saying, big guy, is that it takes so much courage for these young men, and that's why that's we're true. proud of them. But we will not tolerate anybody that is going to talk shit or belittle them and say, "Hurry him up!" And you can't do that here. We we will not tolerate yeah. that, and that's just giving respect. Because if you called in and you had a question and I'm helping you out and somebody called in or said a, a sly comment like, hurry him up, I'd get in a motherfucking tail. No diddy. Mm-hmm. But I would, I would, I would, I'd light him up. That's true. That's okay. True. So it's, it's all respect. You don't need to do that. I appreciate it. But I'm just saying here, we, 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 we got we we know Diddy care for these guys in a way where we want them to win, but we're trying um, to show um, them. It, it it is the same Grayson. He super chatted to uh, uh to my channel twice. It's the same Grayson. Yeah, Grayson, it's all good though. We we're cool, brother. Okay, you you're good, Grayson. Oh, okay, no, it's all respect. No man. problem. I watch yeah. you guys every no, week. Grayson, Keep doing what yeah, Grayson, doing. yeah, Grayson, you're cool, Grayson. I'm just saying, just let the guys, the ones that need help, just let them call in because we're trying to help them. Because they of really course, want to know. And, and there's no judgment. We're tough on them. You don't understand, Grayson. We're hard on them. But because we mm-hmm. know that they can be better than what they are. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Grayson? But we appreciate the call. Okay, my brother? Appreciate you. Thank, you. Thank you, Grayson. Bye-bye. We appreciate it. Thank you, Grayson. Uh, 786, what's your question, sir? How can we help you? Hello, my name is Marvin. And I. good evening, by the way, Steve. And good evening, Kay Zagan. Uh yes, real quick. Uh Jay Bizzle, yes. It's Grayson from um Melly's channel. Yes, that's that's him. Yeah, that's hey Grayson. Home. Matter of hey Grayson. Grayson, hold on. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, caller. Grayson, are you listening to us right now? Grayson, wait, you gotta call back, Grayson. I got I got, I got something you can do, Grayson. Hold on a second. Grayson, I got something for you. Hold on a second. Uh 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 wait, do we take a call? A caller. Oh yeah, what's your question? What's your question? 
Yes, Steve. So earlier in your first show, you I heard you mention you were talking about self-reflection being very important when going into the film room. Yes. And I wanted to know when reflecting on my day, should I be writing down the different events that took place along with different personal questions well, that come only, to my mind? The only important events, as in I saw a woman, I wanted to talk to her. I didn't talk to her because I was feeling this thing. Not that I went and watched TV today or grabbed my keys and I and I took. You know what? That's great, Actually, Steve. Hold on, that's a great idea for you guys to make somewhat of a journal. Well, no, about, I, about Zach, the lessons you're learning. Because Zach, Steve, I yeah. call it film, I, Zach. I call it the film room. That's what oh, I call it. I, that's I, 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 yeah, oh. it's it's, a, it's called self reflection. I I try, but again, that's the game that nobody gives them. They See, don't. And, tell and, and I'm I'm glad that you said what you're saying and that the call is calling in because dude, I can't tell you how many clients I have where I tell them I give them homework because when when I send them out and then they call back they can't remember shit and I'm like I can't help you if you don't break down what you what you experienced yeah. you got to describe it write it down yes call them go ahead yes thank you for answering the first question and the follow up question is when it comes down to the personal questions that comes to those specific events, how do I know I'm asking myself a question from a place of being genuine versus judging myself? No, it's a, it's not about judgment or genuine. It's just writing the truth down. The truth okay. is whatever happened, you just got to write the truth down. You only know you know it's only you with yourself. You just got to be honest with yourself. I, I saw somebody, I got nervous, I got scared, and this is why. And I got to go back and review it and look it over. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for that clarity. All right. We'll throw you back in. Grayson, hold on a second. Hey, Grayson, are you, where's Grayson at? Grayson? Hold on, Grayson. I'm calling you. Hold on, Grayson. Pick up the phone. Grayson, pick up. Grayson. Come on, Grayson. Pick up. Damn it. Grayson. Where's Grayson at? Damn it. Grayson, are you in the chat room, Grayson? Where's hey, Grayson? At 10.53 10 about two minutes ago. Hey, Grayson, if you're in the chat room, call back, Grayson. I got an idea for you, Grayson. Fuck it. Zach, I got a good idea for him. I, I, Grayson, I already, I already kind of know what yeah, the fuck you're going to do. Grayson, call me. Grayson, call into the show, Grayson. Call back, Grayson. We got an idea for you, Grayson. Come on, Grayson, call back. And, and um, let me, uh, while you're doing that, let me um, have a little sidebar conversation with Melly Monaco. Melly, we had to tap your ass tonight. We had to, and we did you it right. You were being disingenuous, you know, but we understand it's a business. We understand the show, but we had to tap your ass, though. Yeah, hey, Grayson, Grayson, call into the show. Real, call back real quick, Grayson. I got something for you, dog. Call in. Call in. Because if you do, hey. I got some for you. Cause you come on in, call it. Just call in, Grayson. You real quick. Call in. Hurry up, dog. Hurry up, Grayson. Cause we gotta keep. I got. We gotta finish the show, and I gotta gotta go a little bit longer. Hurry up, Grayson. Please hurry up. I don't like to say please. Can you hurry up and just call? Come on, Grayson. Now that I'm listening. Go ahead and call real quick. I got some for Grayson. I got some for Grayson. Grayson, call in. I got some. I got an idea for Grayson because if Grayson is actually listening to us, then there's something Grayson can do for us because he's already doing it on our show and he's just missing one little element. Grayson, call in, but we will continue this because I'll, I'll probably do a little bit longer, but here we go. Let's continue back with this. Grayson, waiting for you to call in, Grayson. Here we go. He's the best friend. Honestly, you know what so I mean? when you say, like, build you better, like, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. My bad. Did he just say I'm looking for my best friend? Yeah, well, the thing is, is that Melly is not recognizing the femininity, and Melly is actually let him hang himself. No diddy. Uh, guys, that, that, right, I got to make sure guys, I say that. Guys, let, let me say this, and, and I need to be so clear with it. If you meet a woman and you guys hit it off and after an extended period of time, if you guys develop a profound relationship like that, that's cool. 
beautiful, lovely, whatever. But you should not be telling women I'm looking for a best friend. Come on, how pathetic are you? Go All ahead. right, Grace, Grace, and listen to me. Since you keep going on Melly's show and you keep sending those $19 super chats to cancel these guys out, Grayson, every time you send a super chat from now on, you let her know that the man mindset, K Zagging, 1950 in the real game, no theory, game, no theory guys. Hold on, 647, what's your name? We you calling from? Hello, Steve. Uh, my name is Ethan. All right, hold on, Ethan. Hold on, Ethan. One second, Ethan. I got you on your question. Grayson, whenever you whenever you send that super chat, make sure you mention the, the guy, the fellas, and let her know that you know what the real fellas, 1950, K Zagging, the man mindset would have got this woman or say, you know what, Melly, you're not you see, you're not doing it right, Melly, because you know the guys, K Zagging, the man mindset, 1950. The guys that do the pineapple reaction show, you know what they're teaching is right. Grayson, you keep sending that and let us know, Grayson. That's what we want you to do, Grayson. So whenever because you get to whenever you're doing that, Grayson, mention the pineapple reaction show and let her know that if the guys on the pineapple reaction show were there, they would get the woman. That guy is weak because he's not listening to the pineapple reaction show. You see what I'm saying, Grayson? So you can do us a solid by doing that. Now, Ethan, do you have the text message that you got from the woman? Yes. Can you send it to me, please? Send a screenshot. Send me the screenshot so we can show you so nobody thinks that we're lying and playing games. Okay. Give me a second. Now, Grayson, confirm that you heard that, Grayson. Let us know if you can confirm that. Uh, Zag's about to go, but I'll be on for a little while longer. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, what you call it? I'll, uh, I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely uh, show you the text message. Let me see the text message. Just okay, so you can send, can send it to the man mindset at gmail.com and I will uh, take that message and post it. So I want to make sure everybody, because this is what he posted, everybody. And I don't want y'all to think he's just making this shit up. But here's the text message he said. He said, I got a text message. I would like some yak back. You're not healthy for me. I've been thinking about you all day. Uh, I know you've been studying, baby, but I just wanted to tell you. So I just wanted to show the guys that you're you're not just saying it. So do you are you sending the text message? Now, Zach, I know you got a role in everything, dog. So um, I'm about to go ahead and bounce. Yeah. Hey, Grayson, appreciate the super chats. Uh the other super chats I got as well. Appreciate those. Um, like the live stream. It helps the algorithm. Cause y'all keep telling me all the time on my channel, man. You know, we're glad you're back making videos. Da, 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 da. If you really want to show some appreciation, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, yeah. and hit the bell. Steve, All right. I'm out. I'm holler you back in, I got you. So, either you send it to me? Yes. All right, hold on. Let me grab that joint. Let me grab it. And uh, no ditty. See, that's our that's our new thing we're doing here that everyone should be grabbing. So when we say something now, it's not it's not pause. We're just gonna say no ditty. We're gonna say no ditty. All right, so let me All go ahead right. and grab that shit. Hold on, let me grab it. Well, damn, I guess you're right. And I'm gonna give you some game. Now, okay. Um, have you ever have you ever uh mass had a masturbate before? Yeah, like 30 times. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a masturbation session. Let me show you guys. The, this is a question from the woman. I'll show y'all live so y'all think we we don't make this shit up. Another receipt for you guys that ask, for those that actually listen to us. So she says, uh, baby, talk to you soon. I've been uh, slumber all day. Um, you're not healthy for me. I've been thinking about you all day. Okay. And she wanted to tell you, okay, so what we want to do is what I would do is I would send her a voice message, okay? And I would let her know that this is the first reason why I'm sending you a voice message to let you know after reading what you wrote, it got me thinking. And I love the fact of how open you are and you're sharing things with me this way. So to return that, and you can go back and play this again, but to return the favor, now again, what time is she going to bed? 12 o'clock? 
One o'clock, two o'clock. She goes o'clock. to bed whenever I tell her to go to bed. Oh, well, goddamn. All right. So what time do you want her in bed by? When do you want her in bed? One. Okay, one o'clock, naked, in bed. And I want the lights out. I want your favorite music on. And I want you to take the phone and put me in your ear. Grayson, we got you. We appreciate you, Grayson. We appreciate you, Grayson. Because that's, that's what, hey, if you're over here, you got to represent us, Grayson. We appreciate you. But get back to you, caller. What I'm saying is, is that now, uh, okay, now you want to give her a shared experience, okay? But the experience that you want to give her, and I want to tie it into what she's saying, she says, you know, you're studying, right? So now the the masturbation thing I'm thinking I would do is that I want to do it where you're in the other room, I'm studying, and you're coming into the room <laughs> naked. Do you see what I'm saying? And, yeah. and and tie that in to her touching herself. You see what I'm saying? And then, okay. co- see, what you want to do is you want to connect the message to the orgasm. That's what we're doing. We're connecting the yeah. message to the orgasm. So that is going to make her send and send you more open messages because it'll allow you to take the message and have her touch and play with herself, okay? Mm-hmm. Does that make any sense? So I have one quick question. Yes. I'm studying the classes. Yes. Um, Thank do you. I connect poetry with the conversation? Yes, the, well, the poetry. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So that's okay. where the poetry comes in at is the imagination in which and how you undress her, how she touches herself, why she touches herself. You've got to talk to her about the no. you got to listen to her body. you got to listen to the moans, the heavy breathing and everything like that and communicate through that. So that's where the poetry comes in by tying all that up. But then after that, what I want you to do the next day is I want her to wake up to a video message of how you appreciate her having that orgasm. And then if you want to actually have more fun, let me know when you are, uh, when you are taking a shower. Because what I want to do now, I'll give you this for free because I always love this one. I want to watch you take a shower. And the only reason I don't watch you take a shower is because I'm jealous of the of the water hitting your body. Because just like me and that water, the water hits the body and it has its way with you. Just like I had my way with you, what? Last night. See that? Now yeah. I, I want I just want to watch you wash it. I I I wanna I wanna see you in action. You see what I'm saying? Okay. <clears throat> Do you see what I'm saying? Does that make yeah. any sense? Yeah, one more, one more question. Sure. So she's way older than me. I don't give a fuck. I know, but she does. So, um, so if she if she worries about being older, then I would tell her that I'm not the right one for you. Okay, listen. Here's the thing: you can only present yourself to a woman as a man, and she is either going to accept you or she's not. And if she's not going to accept you, then there's the door. I'm not the right guy for you. Don't try to change her mind. You want to give her free will to change her mind because she wants to fuck with you. Does that make any sense? Correct. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Just because um, she's had several fantasies with me, but she's kind of conservative when it comes to opening up in certain areas. Wait, so I'm just reading what beautiful saying. Like, where, 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 where is this coming from? She, beautiful, is just. I guess this is poetry right here. But I'm sorry, what was you saying now, big dog? I'm just saying that we've been on the phone and uh, yeah, we've talked about different things. But when it comes to you know the sexual aspect, she's kind of conservative. So, that is- well, but I'm saying the okay, uh, okay, a lot of women who are conservative. You remember, you've got to unlock the box. And then every woman had, okay, do you want to know when the box is unlocked? When she's playing with herself because she's connect, she already knows her thoughts, her fantasies, her feelings, her emotions. So when she's having her orgasm or touching herself, she's already connected. The box is already open. You want her to open that same box for you because I want to, sh- but that comes with sexual trust. You it, 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 okay? Conservative is fine, but it's it's not you chipping away at her. You want her to begin to chip away to her to allow you to access to a part of her that she won't give to anybody else. 
Yeah, because what she told me is she wants to tell her friends. But well, then, yeah. hey, listen, listen. She, what you want to do and what you don't want to do is none of my business unless you make it my business. Mm-hmm. It, 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 I, I'm listening to you, but it sounds like you want me to give you a solution to this. But if you don't, I'm just listening. Let the woman talk. No, I, I just want the move. Like I just want to know the move. Like what do I, what do I play here? <laughs> she says, "Be my imagination," and Lu says, "You're welcome." <laughs> anyway, what's up now? Like I just want to have yeah, like clarity, understanding of and what move I should be making. Well, I don't know your situation. We got to go in the back end. I, I don't, okay, you're not, okay. okay, I don't know what's going on. I yeah. need more information, okay? But I can't just, mm-hmm. I, I, I need to know more about you privately. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See, you see, you see, y'all, y'all motherfucker, y'all see beautiful pop in. That's the first thing y'all be thinking about. All right, Carl, I'm going to throw you back in, okay, my brother? Okay, should I? Just hit me on the back end. The- yeah, hit me on the back end. Yeah, after okay. the show. Yeah, hit me on. I got you, All brother. Right. Respect, respect. All right, guys, let's continue that. Guys, y'all, y'all beautiful, come in. That's, all y'all want to do is hear her. My God, her building. I mean, not as far as like uh, even with my assets, I can't even say that. Maybe, maybe listen, my person might teach me something different that I might not know. You know what I mean? Um, I have things going on, such as like in a real estate. I'm an American Airlines. Okay, ladies. No, Jay. It's all Jay. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. Uh, uh. Ladies, all the ladies out there, please be careful about men like this. This is the kind of person that you don't want to date or be around. Um, you do real estate? Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome. Um, I have some investment, investment property. So, see, mm-hmm. gentlemen, gentlemen, he's dirty macking because he's not interesting. He's using his job or what he likes to do. Remember, guys, this is what Melly was saying. We're 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 wrong. For being honest, and this guy is wrong for telling her, guys, do not give women your okay. Listen, I want everybody listen to me think about something. I want and Frankie, he right, he is nervous. But let me ask y'all a question. What personal and private information has she given anybody? What personal and private information has she given anybody? Nothing. Because, gentlemen, this is what I keep trying to tell you. Please write this down. Excuse me. When you have a desired outcome, you give her a tactical advantage and she doesn't have to tell any. She just has to show up. Look at her. She's just showing up and blinking her eyes and moving her head. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That's what we're saying. Okay. All right, so let's continue. Goddamn, beautiful. You're quite poetic today. Goddamn, if you allow your outside to control your mindset, you will never know the most true inner self. Damn. You sound like some one of one, some one of one type shit, girl. I'm looking at the chat. I'm sorry. So look at say, yeah, I'm like, don't get distracted. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm in, um I'm actually in investment real estate as well. So like okay. Whatever. That's literally like exactly what we specialize in. So guys, I'm like, I sell bandos too. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, like investing in real estate has been been very rewarding to say the least. So absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Have you done like any projects yourself? Actually, yes. I remind all houses. That's my um. That's the business I started for myself. Oh wow. Because like my schedule for like um. And let me stop right there. This is why we fuck with y'all. Because you have got a hey, the lion's mindset. All you guys that are that are saying what you're saying, you get A pluses because that's what we want you to be able to see. Because if you can see it yourself and spot it, then you won't be doing it when you get around a woman. So, guys, in the, all my chat room dogs, y'all kicking ass. Y'all are kicking ass today, guys. Y'all are doing a great job, gentlemen. Great job. Thank you, 167 likes. Yeah, like I do 16, 16, 8. So I'm actually about to finish up at 11. And then I do eight hours tomorrow. That's my work. Week. So I had to do something else to take up my oh, time. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So I'm like, you're really, really busy. Like, do you have, you yeah, feel like you have I time be. to like yeah. present? and? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Only when I want to be. I'm busy when I want to be, that's all. Okay. How would you feel about like, being in Atlanta, like, or 
are you did you plan on like coming here or Get your fucking crayons out, gentlemen. Please listen to me. There is nothing wrong with a woman that wants to see you on the back end. She knows she's not going to see this guy. She just added extra pressure on this guy about seeing me. And gentlemen, listen. Women do a lot of things on the back end. They don't show you things on the front end. That's why the game is always going to be on the back end. He knows that that motherfucker is not the guy. She knows it. Melly knows it. You guys know it. But that motherfucker is dumb as a fucking oxtail. And if y'all ever had oxtails, it's pretty damn good. But here we go. Would you I'm, really I'm, want your person to come where you are? Um, well, I'm not going to. Hey, listen, I'm not going to discuss that right now. And to be honest with you, because personal things like that should not be discussed in front of everybody. Do you all see what I'm saying? It, 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 it makes sure it makes it very sure. OK, that's what we're saying. Here we go. Let's get it. I would cross that bridge. Like, uh, I would see what's the best, I guess we say, what's the best financial move for both parties. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, if I could sit there and pull it off, whereas though I could still do what I need to do or fly back and forth, mm -hmm. that's it. That's what it so is. there's room for like compromise. Absolutely. That's, that's, good. Compromise. that's good. And like, how's their, I guess, your relationship with God? Do you believe in God? Like Gentlemen, I told you I've dated Afghan, Pakistan, Muslims, and who is I, I, I said, uh, I said, I meant Hindu and not Hindi the other night. And I, I've, I've never had like a, I've had religious conversations with women, but it was to understand them better and to under and respect their boundaries, their religious boundaries and what they believe in. And never would I ever ask a woman about that. It's something that a woman wants to share that with me. That's something personal to her. I would accept that. But the fact that she's trying to ask him that question, it, it doesn't make any sense because this guy ain't thinking religion. He's thinking about he's not he's not thinking about spreading uh, what was it parting uh what is it the Red Sea for all my Bible official is it the Red Sea. That uh, was it, Moses. That uh, that um uh, did that. Wait, um, I missed your last tiny poem. Fasting from the poison will allow the beauty to be planted and flourish into an unstoppable, grounded, beautiful rose bed. That's that's the poetry right there. Huh, okay, that's cool. It's cool. But listen, to what I'm saying, guys, see that. Okay. I do believe in God, yes. Okay. Who is your God? Okay, Who thank you. My God. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus. We don't need to have this conversation on it. Guys, we can't have this conversation. Yeah, I thought I, I was right with Moses. I said Moses. I had to go to see I was at when I was small, my mother made me go to I had to go to Baptist Catholic school. I I had to go to it was called CCD. I remember my mother, my mother made me go to all these uh, things. Man, believe me, I, I I have been man. Sunday we had to walk when when I was in Virginia we had to walk to church and go a uh, Catholic. I mean, every, my mother was all over the place with religion. So believe me, but uh, you you always respect. Uh, a person's uh, religious and political beliefs, but you don't, you don't have the conversations uh, about that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's very boring right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. He's, he's very, he's very boring right now. And the gentleman, when you're, when you're, when you're talking to, uh, when you're talking to women, oh, wait, you say, uh, Corey says, I am Indian. I got that. LOL is good, Steve. I came from a Christian family. No, I'm just saying that. Uh, I, I, for me, I've, I, for me, because I mess around a lot of foreign women, I've dealt with a lot of different religions, and I just respected them. I, I, I don't, 
I, I, I have no right to judge anybody's religion, what they feel, what they think. I, it just allows me to get to know them very much. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's good questions, right? <laughs> nobody ever. That was yeah. Nobody ever was like who gets. Like, okay, uh, I get no, that. You know. I'm like, no, you just gotta make sure. It's just a matter of seeing if we equally up. That's all. Okay, that's good. That's good. Did you have a question for me? Um. So you said you had no kids, right? No kids. Okay, I had one. My, I had no kids, but she is doing things that people that have kids do. No, that's cool. Yeah, that's just how you follow. Yeah, you follow what you follow, and. And, and gentlemen, that's why you have to respect people, respect their political background, and also respect their uh, 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 religious background. It's very, it's very, uh, it's very important as men. We, we should never try to force somebody to be something or allow someone to force you to be something. Respect the person's boundary, respect what they like to do. And that's what, how the relationships flourish because you can learn more about them through actually who they are. And the more you can respect that, they'll be fine with that. Here we go. Okay. I mean, that's dope. I mean, I, honestly, I always wanted to be a boy mom, but not to say, like, I'll be mother. <laughs> and generally speaking, like, okay, that's dope. That's dope. So are you, would you be open to move? So oh, my God. Okay. Gentlemen, this is what, this is what I, Melly got mad at ish. Y'all see what I'm saying? And Melly has the nerve. Okay. It's been a while. So let's say uh, let's hear for a word from Melly. Talk I to her. I want the first prize. They want you to be the prize, actually, as much as they want to claim that they want to be the prize. They want you to be the prize. They want to show you off. And if you're Mr. Nice Guy and they feel like anybody could have get you, they're like, mm, I don't want him. He's not interesting enough, which is crazy. But that is how women are a lot. And what's funny to me is that you hear a lot of women talking about, I want a nice guy. And no, they don't. Because when the nice guy presents himself, they're like, oh, he's boring. Oh, I don't like him. He's oh, boring. Stop. Thank like, you, how many are oh, Thank you, Melly. Let's go like back to persons. I'll be honest. I would. Do y'all see the contradict? Melly, we got love for you, but you're contradicting yourself by getting on ish. If y'all are just joining us, if y'all are, if y'all are just joining us, Ish came on the show being straight up with Melly. And Melly said that the guys on the pineapple reaction show is not working because we're, we're too direct and we're not trying to get to know the woman and what woman wants to be told and all this other stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what we we we're saying to you guys out there, okay? Um, what'd you say? He's at the he's at the where's my hug? <laughs> y'all is y'all is shit, ladies. Stop being mean. That's terrible, ladies. It's only like particular cities. Um, like I'm really committed to acting and like where I'm going. So it's really, really important as an artist and military. Yeah, right, right, right. My in game huh? hey, hey, hey. They like this. Okay. All right. All right. I, 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 the, the women are like this. I know where this is going. And this is what they're going to be like. She'll be like, she, first, first she, this is how the women are, guys. She'll be like, all right. I know I got to hug him when he gets done to say thank you so I can rub my titties up on his chest to thank him. Oh. I know after he move, I've got to hug him to rub my titties on his chest for moving all this heavy equipment. Oh, I know I've got to hug him for being his shoulder to cry on and let my titties rub up on his chest. And this one, oh. I know I've got to hug him for hanging out on Netflix day when I know I should be with that dick. So I understand you ladies with that. I know you got to hug a bullshit because y'all fucking say shit, man. Here we go. Here we go. To be based in a place where there is a good market for that aspect of entertainment. Atlanta being one of them, LA being another. Mm -hmm. um, I probably. Oh no, DJ says that's crazy that you literally see where this is headed and the guy is last not sure. Well, it's not crazy, DJ. That's why we're trying to teach y'all the game 
So you guys will never be in these situations where women give you, and, and guys, there are two kinds of hugs. Women have a way to hug you where the, they're, 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 they're che- okay, now they're, they're, please, gentlemen, it's a bra, it's not a nipple. So when you feel something rub again, so, so follow me, guys. Bras are kind of point, not really actually pointy at like, not a point to poke your eye out, but they kind of got like a, a, a kind of a, 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 a rounded off shape so the nipple can rest, right? So when she's rub, now it's a quick, now think, if, if this is your chest, they do this. It's like a quick, it's like a, it's, it's like a, it's like a hug, but they push their ass out because they never want to give you, first off, they don't want to feel your what's between your legs. So they give you, well, yeah, they can do a side one too, Nico. So they can give you a front hug and they, and they, and they push their ass back the other way. They can give you a church hug, which is kind of sidewise where they gracefully, like they, 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 not their nibble, but their, their, their bra graces your chest and everything and they'll give you a pat on the back you see what i'm saying so just remember all hugs are not equal my brother all hugs are not equal here we go oh yeah oh yeah yeah the grandma hug i don't even want to discuss grandma maybe, maybe new york as well miami would also be a good market so just certain cities um what the hell is a bop bob oh bob you mean bob you're not Bob. You've been Bob and Weave, girl. Bob and Weave, not Bob. Come on, B. Bob, not Bop. <laughs> Bop is hitting him on the head. You mean Bob and Weave? All right, I, feel I got like Outside you. of that, no, I don't. I don't think I would be willing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yes, all hugs are not equal. Exactly. Wait, what? Okay. No, no, no. I'm laughing. I'm sorry. I'm like. Oh, but gentlemen, you know the worst one. You want to know the worst hug of them all? This is the worst hug of them all. When she hugs them and say, Well, you know, I just, I just want to let you know that, you know, you are the, the sweetest, kindest person I've ever met. And gosh, I just wish, and those women are so lucky to find a sweet, kind, affectionate, warm, trusting guy and you'll be so lucky to find that perfect woman i mean gosh i'm so glad i found a new brother i'm so glad i've got a new best friend i mean we can we can do everything together we can we can even structure our periods together. Oh my god, I'm cramping. Did you cramp? Are you cramping right now? Oh, I need my I need my medicine. We can cramp together and we can go shopping together. Oh my god. And we can talk about soap operas. Can you believe what Vicar did to Jack? Oh my god. What did Nikki say? Yes. And we can watch We Channel and Lifetime Channel and we can connect. Oh, I'm so glad I have a gay best friend. I love you. That is the worst hug that you can get from a goddamn woman. 702, what's your name? What's your question? What's up? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You cannot pull that comment up because I put somebody looks like they had a waffle-shaped head. That's why I said bop. You said Bob. It was Bob. It's not Bob. It's Bob and Weave. Bob and Weave. You didn't pull the other comment. You didn't even see. (laughs) You have to look. You didn't pull it up. Please, please, the cherry's on top. You said, look at me looking like Bob the Builder. (laughs) Bob the Builder head. Not that one. Oh, come on. No, not that one. (laughs) What the fuck is that? Why would you do that? What is Bob the Builder? You said Bob the Builder. Wow. No, no, then you went, then you try to clean that shit up when I called your ass out to Bob. (laughs) Fuck is Bob the Builder. Yeah, pull the other one out. You're not gonna play me twice. Who the fuck is Bob the Builder? Who is Bob the Builder? (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Come on. Okay, so basically what happened, Steven? I called DJ Generation. I said, DJ, you probably got a waffle head. 
Wait, who has a what would you call a, a rap as a waffle head? What are you talking about? <laughs> DJ Generation, I said he probably has a waffle shape. Oh, no, no, no. What are you talking about? With DJ. <laughs> Gentlemen, if y'all don't know who she's talking about, she's talking about uh, this person right here, Bob the Builder. That's Bob the Builder right there, guys. I just want to let y'all see Bob. That's Bob. That is Bob. <laughs> yes. What the hell is fucking Bob? What the fuck? <laughs> like Bob and Weave, that's what I meant. You meant Bob and Weave, Bob, but you said Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob, Bob and Weave because he has a waffle shaped head. So B O P is Bob. He got a Bob and Weave. What the heck? B O oh my B O P is Bob. Bob and Weave. That's what you said. Oh, that's that's all I wanted. All right. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bob, Bob, yeah. Bob is in the friend zone. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, can we help you with anything else? Yes. So, one thing I'm unaware of, right, is when it comes to males. Please, please understand, or I guess explain that it's important to really just have a plan. Like that's why I'm not gonna follow most of y'all. So why do a lot of males not even have like a plan? Like, do they not want to plan for themselves? They do. Or is they it just do, because they, they don't have care? A, they do have a plan, and Bob the Builder is Bob's racist cousin. They do have a plan. They do have a plan. Their plan is to kiss a woman's ass to get some ass. That's the plan. So, how do you word it? What kind of plan would it be? What, 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 man what kind of plan would it be? What kind, from of, my mouth. what kind of plan would it be? So I'm saying, what are the words? What word? What word would describe best a man's plan from a male's plan? A man's plan is I'm going to see what she's worth. Is she? Is she have any value? No, you're not listening to me. I'm lost. No. What, what? What am I? I gonna... said what? Okay, wait. I said what words would best describe the difference in a man's plan? And a male's plan. Like, I have this type of demeanor about him. Like, for a woman, right? For us to be able to recognize, oh, he said these things. That's, it's not just conviction. It's always word choice. Correct, right? Mouthpiece means word and dialogue and conversation. Well, it's, so for a woman to... Oh. For a woman to do what? Go ahead. For a woman to be able to understand, hey... This is not a, this is a male, this is a man because of the words he chooses with his plan. What would that look like? Well, the plan would be telling the woman what to do versus asking permission for things. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not saying okay. tell her what to do as in something sexual. It's, it's give instructions. Mm. Okay. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to happen. Are you going to do it? And that's going to be the determination, but versus, is it okay? Uh, mm. is, is, is it cool? Uh, can we, uh, what do you think about, you know, things like that versus this is what we're going to do. We're going to, I'm a, I'll call you up uh, and we'll do this. And yeah, that's what we're doing. See what I'm saying? Okay. So you would agree that, a man's plan and a male's plan and their dialogue look absolutely different, correct? Well, the di it's not the dialogue, it's the, it's the, it's the, where it comes from. It's no, I know, no, I know. I'm just saying, like, well, okay, the where the it comes is, from, we can even ask that. Is, yeah, that comes, that's very different from a male. Well, yeah, correct? because like you see on the Pineapple Show, there's a lot of Q's and A's, there's a lot of questions. What, what do you do for a living? What do you think about this? Mm. What What is your religion? When was your last boyfriend? What are you looking for? Can I come see you? Mm. So that's right. I'm going somewhere with this. That's why. Right. Yeah. Well. Okay. I know. Well, wherever you're going, let's go. But I'm just saying that a man is going to say, "This is what I want," and it's not. And it's not like a dictatorship because th there's got to be some wiggle room, but. It is you know, a man's not going to ask anything crazy of you. He's going to ask some basic. It's going to start with some basic ask and task versus questions. But go ahead. What were you saying? 
Okay, no, I, I agree. I'm saying it looks completely different. I just wanted to see if you agreed. So then, would you believe that in order for a man to be born with a um, conformed societal normed belief or mindset, and even just where it comes from, they have to be broken down to read the be built back up. Well, yes, okay. they, have to, they have to unlearn what they have learned. Yes, because the, the, the because society has lied to them. Yes, like yeah, yes, absolutely. Go ahead, I'm listening. No, I love that because I think a lot of what separates, at least just from my perspective is what separates a male from becoming, right? Because you have to become. Mm -hmm. um, that separates them and gets them discouraged because they don't want to let go of a lot of things that they want to hold on to and somehow conform into being a man. And just like we just agreed on, we, you can't. You have to physically let go of all of that and learn what it looks that way and where it comes from. And Well, you can't, you, but you can't let go if you don't want to learn. So one one doesn't right, even realize right. he has to let go because he thinks in his world that everything that he thought of is actually a fact. So right. So you take the ego and self importance. They they think they already know, but then mm -hmm. they there's no room to learn when you think you already know. Right. I just wanted to pick your brain. That's all. There's no, yeah, I, my brain is open to all y'all ladies that want to be picky. I want to pick it, pick it. Well, that's that was my that was my two minutes. Thank you. But yeah, I wanted to make sure I cleared up that I called him a waffle-headed shape, shape-headed waffle. So <laughs> I, I guess yeah, y'all 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 are all arguing in the chat in there. So <laughs> no, okay. Well, thank you for my time. Have a good show. My show's always good because I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go, guys. Um, let's continue this. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm so focused on like the people. I'm not even right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about his beard is filled. But okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been in acting? I've been in the game for about three years now or so, but I mean, blessed to just move really, really quickly. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And how old are you? I missed that part. No, you're okay. I know there's a lot of people on here that probably. Guys, never ask a woman. Oh, okay, gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy. It's not Paul's anymore. It's P. Diddy. Gentlemen, I'm sure you can recognize that this woman is not 13 or 12 years old or a child she's legal so you don't need to ask a woman her age don't ask her, her age gentlemen i don't care if you're 60 years old you run into a woman that is 27 year old like this don't ask her age just see if she is down to fuck with you okay Guys, I'm telling y'all, as y'all get older and learn this game, y'all be able to get the young ones too. I haven't seen the beginning. I'm 27. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I got to do the no ditty. Yes, that's our thing here. No, but we're, hey, this is going to spread like wildflower. So whenever y'all say something that, that you know is like, uh, where y'all say Paul's, I guess, used to, just say no ditty now because that can, that's like an umbrella of all y'all know what I'm talking about. Just say no ditty. Just say no ditty. Don't, don't even say pause. Just say no Diddy and realize it came from the uh, man mindset. Uh, man mindset. Yep. Wildfire. What is wildfire? We talking about beautiful wildfire. What is that? Do you have any questions for me? Uh, I have a question. I have a question. What's uh, up? So, Leah, if uh, you guys hit it off, you and Aaron, mm -hmm. and I don't know, you moved to wherever you guys decided you agreed on somewhere. Mm -hmm. And um, you decide to move into an apartment that you're renting. Who is paying the rent? If he says I'm paying the rent, I'm I'm moving past. I'm moving past. You asking me? Mm -hmm. Or, or uh, whoever whoever want to answer? I, I would. Eric.
of my girlfriends tell me that and then when there is a nice guy i'm like yeah go out with him text him no i don't know there is something wrong like there's something i'm not feeling i'm like yeah you're psycho you want somebody that's gonna be a pure asshole to you and it's gonna be a struggle you're gonna know he has other women and it's crazy to me because i'm like why would you want that guy and they love excitement too so it's just very intriguing because of its uniqueness a lot of people you know they're like eh, they're a little too shy or they're kind of like they want to be liked by everybody so they're not going to go and really follow what they are they're going to follow the trend and follow what looks good and what they think people are going to enjoy no be yourself do what the fuck you want and don't apologize for it number seven traits that's uh, maybe a little toxic if you overdo it but having a strong opinion you're strong-minded and you're very assertive okay i'm gonna say i'm gonna yeah, I would. okay gentlemen if melly's a dating coach is this not the moment to say to him you are not being assertive you're not being dominating and why would you pay the rent for somebody who doesn't deserve it? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. It was a setup, DJ. Okay, so you would handle the, the bills and whatnot. All right, cool. I mean, my only thing is, like, I don't mind handling anything for my person as long as they had my back if I ever became short. Okay, Melly, what do you want to say about that? All the way, because how it's going to work is you're going to be super nice. Women are going to see that you're super nice. And what they're going to do is take advantage of you and just walk all over you. So, so but mm -hmm. wait, but what was but y'all see, see, I, I'm just, listen, guys, I'm not doing this to make her look bad. I'm doing this because she said that what we teach is wrong. And she's saying the shit that we've always said. And yet she's not standing on what she said. She didn't she just say that if they recognize you pee sitting down, they're not going to respect you. And did this guy not say he's going to pay all of her bills? Did it? Y'all hear that? I'm not making this up. This is crazy. Okay. So where where do you see like I guess Destiny taking you? Oh my fuck. <sighs> Gentlemen. Is is you, more poetry? What what the fuck is this? I want to respect a man with my size. No words needed. And you need a one of one. You need a real one. You ain't gonna get that with no motherfucker like this, beautiful. He's gonna be like, hi. Next five years, ten years. Like, what does that look like? Where's your family going? <laughs> right, 43 cucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm open. Like I said, my son is 16, so I'm open to I'm open. I'm open. Melly, what do you gotta say to a guy that is nice, kind, and open? You don't wanna be I, I'm not saying you gotta become Mr. Asshole or anything, but you need to be able to set boundaries for those bitches to not come and fuck with you. So today I have some tips to make you come to the dark side. The video is gonna be a little different than usual because I'm gonna explain what are the nice guy because you guys sometimes don't realize that you're Mr. Nice Guy, but I'm gonna tell you the traits of nice guys and then the traits of offer and then how to move over from nice guy to offer uh, mr nice guy has the need for approval whatever um I, I haven't always been in philadelphia like i was in the military too so i've traveled all over the world mm -hmm. um so for me it's really just i guess going to places where i haven't known. guys I, I i'm a bad motherfucker i can't make this shit up I cannot make this up. Uh, guys, give me a second. We'll, 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 we'll go back to Melly real quick. I, I want you, yeah, guys, for y'all who missed it, because all y'all might have missed this. For a lot of y'all guys, y'all might have missed this. We're going to go back to Ish. And we're going to go back to what Melly said about us. 
And I want to show you the contradiction that she has. Now, hold on. We're going to go all the way back real quick, guys. So it's 55 right here. So let's go all the way back. Uh, wait, I'm going to. She know I fuck up. I want to go back. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now watch this, guys. Watch. If you missed it, this is why we're playing the Melly clips right here. Watch. That's what he wants to go with. <laughs> Let's see if that works out. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Ish. <laughs> Watch. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm like, no. I've, I've yeah. seen those. Um, my people have been sending me those videos of those guys telling, they're reviewing the Pineapple Show, and they're telling them, telling the guys what they need to do. And I'm like, that's stupid. Like, no, and then it also kind of, like, you know, then I start to question, like, okay, can you really think for yourself? How do you feel about it? Like, or are you even being authentic? Oh, wait, let's go back a little bit more. Hold on, guys. I'm telling you, I can't make this shit up. Hold on, let's go back. Watch, watch. watch. Question for you. Okay. Yeah, do you have a black dress? Do I have a black dress? Yeah. I have two black dresses. That's all I need to know. All right, so look, I'm going to hit you on Instagram. We get, I'll get your number, and then we'll get a call on, and I need you to wear that black dress for me. That's it. Wait, Paul, hold on, because I got to get to know you first. Like, <laughs> yeah, we can do that I'm in the like back. I don't want to do too much on the front, you know? Okay. Well, listen, I'm going to get you on Instagram. Now, wait, now look at Melly's face. Look at her. Look at her face, guys. Look at her face. I'm going to put my Instagram in your DMs, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Ish, right. I got a question. Do you really yeah. think that technique works for you? <laughs> wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Now, gentlemen, where is her saying that to these guys? Do you think the technique of paying 100% of the rent, do you think the technique of just bowing down and kissing her ass is going to work? Do you all see what she's doing? Listen. That, that's this technique works. because right. Well, that's just what uh, the guys over at the man mindset told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> See, hold on, guys. Look at she. Look at she's laughing at us. She's laughing at us. But let's keep going. <laughs> so you're just doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, because the whole thing is she's pretty popular, and your DM is probably gonna get lost. So if you don't talk and for her to get to know you a little bit and re remember you by by something, you know, you gotta make an impression a little bit. So that when she sees your messages, like, oh yeah, that is ish. And then I, yep. I'm just trying to give you some tips because because I've seen those videos where okay wait tell me she wants to give ish tips is she giving any tips to anybody else or is she asking what are your future plans who's gonna pay the rent what are you gonna buy her do you see the fucking hypocrisy in this shit listen those guys are saying just tell her to go in the DM that's not really the point of the show. See that? You know, see the point of the show, what I was showing you is to tear men down. You know, the point of the show is for you to get to know the girl a little bit. She gets to know you and then... You cannot get to know the woman on the front end. That's what we teach. That's why it should get on the back end. Here we go. And you guys decide what you want to do further in the DMs, but... but the, the thing that's, your technique. that's your technique. If it works for you, you know, who am I to tell you it's not working? Melly, Melly, you're right. You're right on that, but the Leah I want to know is not the Leah here right now. This oh, is no, the she's definitely here. No, she's I'm, not. I'm who I am, baby, like on and off camera. <laughs> so. I, believe that. I believe that. But look, I want to see it for myself. So I'm going to hit you up on Instagram, and then we're going to see if that's really you. Okay. That's what he wants to go with. <laughs> Let's see if that works out. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Ish. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm like, no. I've, I've yeah. seen those. Um, my people have been sending me those videos of those guys telling they're reviewing the pineapple show and they're telling them, telling the guys what they need to do. And I'm like, that's stupid. Like, no, and then it also kind of, like, you know, then I start to question, like, okay, can you really think for yourself? How do you feel about it? Like, or are you even being authentic? Is it because you're nervous? Like, is it the fact that it's live? You know, for some people, it can be. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Which is understandable and whatnot, but I mean, yeah, those are the kind of questions that come into my mind. So I don't really want to, you can't tell me anything about you. That's a little wild, you know? Mm hmm Because mm -hmm. then if you think about it, what's going to separate you from, you know, exactly. other people that have been? Wait, 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 wait. Is Ish the only one, since we've been playing this, I said the only question he asked was about her dress. Is he asking about what she does for a living? Is he asking about aspirations? 
Is he as he is already separated himself because he's not having boring conversations? My damn, that exactly talk to themselves. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point because I feel like you know you might not have the opportunity to talk to her because your your DM might be crazy. Yeah. Okay, you might have the opportunity not to talk to her, but when you talk to her, what happens? Listen, you want to be approved. You seeking approval from anyone. You are always looking for validation. Another characteristic is that Mr. Nice Guy wants to fix everything, and it's not because it makes him happy to fix. So she's saying all that, and, uh, but. The he nerve. Tried to help him. He did. He really did. Oh well, he didn't care. So yeah. <laughs> see, see, guys, do y'all see what your boy is telling you? This is no knock on her. This is why we keep showing going back and showing you the clips of all the stuff she's saying because she's not doing anything to any of these guys. She's she's saying she's saying this is what an asshole is, this is what a nice guy is, and she is not she 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 uh got on ish, questioned him. And try to coach him. But is she questioning this guy? Let's press play. Let's see what she's saying to this guy right here. I'm just chilling, you know, I was bored and shit. Just want to entertain so, myself. So is Melly gonna say, hey, why don't you get stop picking your fucking hair like a high school kid? Put the fucking pick down, sit your ass up, look in front of the camera, and talk to the woman. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That's what we're trying to say because this is what I'm trying to show. She's not saying. Watch, is she gonna correct him? Come on, guys, listen. All my brothers out there, please, Jim, listen, please, listen. Maybe in high school or junior high school, the little girls like that kind of stuff. No ditty. Uh, when you, if you had an afro or something, you put your pick in your hair. But you are grown up, grown ups. And you should not behave childish. But is Melly going to correct this guy? Okay. You know, cool. you, 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 you. So she pineapple him, but where's Melly's? Uh, where, why did Melly correct him? <laughs> Thank you. Waste of time. Yes. Um, but I appreciate the the cute compliment. But yes, I'm like we we need we purpose driven over here. We not. Yes. Let's see. We got Stefan. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Stefan. What's good, y'all? Yo? How y'all doing? The motherfucker ain't even looking in the camera. Now, where's Melly's? Where, where's Melly's thing? Come on, here we go, Melly. Come good. on. I think your camera's on the side of you. Are you, well, you want me to... No, I have two whole monitors. My bad. Okay, I, I have where... two separate monitors. She's saying, "Look at me." She's saying, "Look in the fucking camera." But where, where's Melly at? Melly's letting him hang. See a a, a, a coach. Okay, a coach is that a coach is going to help you see the mistakes that you're making. And if you're not, co because she says she's a coach for guys, but where's the coaching? She coached our guy to tell, she told our guy, oh no, you, you got to sit around and ask her a bunch of boring questions. You got to get to know her. Where is the coaching at right here? Got you. Your eyes are, I think, in the one directly in front of you. Your eye line. I'm like, I can't see you. Hold on, my bad. You about your I'm looking, Hold on, my bad. Um. Yes. There we go. Hold on. I'm Hi. trying to switch. Whoa, that's too much. That's way too much. Hold on. My bad. How y'all doing? Damn, Ellie, you look good. Oh, thanks. She does. But I'm a I'm a cut right I'm a cut right to the chase. My bad. I'm a cut right to the chase. I hit the age check barely. I'm 35. Oh my god. Hey, give me about 15, 20 more minutes. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I hit the height barely. I don't know what. My bad. I'm not. Okay. I'm trying to look at myself and look at you, but it's weird. Mm -hmm. You don't get to look at yourself. Just, yeah, just the I, lens that you're looking at right now is perfectly fine. I'm like, oh, this is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but 
what, what's your what's your requirements i'm from philly um okay. i have no kids mm -hmm. no baby moms i'm not a hater like grayson um <laughs> what i'm trying to think what were you your... about to stop oh, oh. Kick you out. <laughs> no he's gonna kick me out regardless he's gonna do that regardless so i'm gonna get to the point i'm not gonna call him a bitch. that was that was that was crass on my part so i apologize for calling him a bitch. Oh, John with Dean Friday morning, but we'll probably do a show uh, uh, tomorrow afternoon. We'll probably do another show tomorrow. Last time or whatever. Uh, probably 12 noon, somewhere around there. 11 30, 12 noon. Um, he made me laugh earlier, so I'll give him credit. He is kind of funny, but um, I have no baby mamas. Um, my money, I'm not going to disclose, but I do, I do okay. Um, what was your other. Oh, my question was, got him out. Nope. Got him out. <laughs> Sorry, Stefan, you're taking too long. Like, I oh, don't know. Oh, man. I mean, the, the setup was a lot. It was just, just yes. a lot going on, you know? You're patient. Mm -hmm. uh, Grayson, the brown gent, shut up. It's called participating uh, show. No need to talk to these young ladies on the show. It's all strategic. I'm good over here. Okay. So, Grayson, don't want to show up. Um, oh my god, they're, they're fighting like <laughs> my god, after like this mind, show, bro. watch pineapple episode 153. To they argue, let's get to one more. Let's see, here we go. Let's see this one. Here we go. Beautiful, attractive, or something like we might not be fully on the same, equally yoked. I'll say that on the same page. Okay, so I guess what are like some of the areas that you kind of ran into where you've experienced that unequally yokedness? Gentlemen, don't ever listen. This is gonna be the last word of the day for you guys. Don't ever fucking, I gotta say the word fucking because it disturbs me. Don't ever tell a woman we're not equally yoked. That is the worst, gentlemen. Now wait, Melly, what do you say about a guy that says we're not equally yoked? What do we say? It's Melly? It's just to make people like him. So it's like, oh, I'm gonna be seen like this if i do this so let me do it so again it's for approval mr nice guys want to avoid conflicts at all expense you know like oh no i don't like this because of that mr nice guy also withholds his feelings so let's get to this real quick um, mainly like the year you know about it, Atlanta, i definitely do sorry <laughs> <laughs> i was like um mainly like people will say they're christian but like it's because their parents went to church or like, they went there when they grew up but they don't no, wait other melly what do you have to say you want to share him why do you want to compete with other women but they do so in my head it's like as much as women want to complain about yo he's uh he's cheating on me he has other option he's talking to a bunch of girls why are you staying if that's not what you're looking for a lot of women would stay and chase and try to get that guy because at the end they want to win and they want to struggle which is crazy to me it's not bad but some people overdo it and some women crave for that shit. so you know if you're strong-minded and nobody can tell you nothing some women are really attractive to that i don't personally like it to when it's like too much when it's like i can't tell you nothing you know everything I'm not, uh, I know you don't know everything. I can teach you a little thing or two, but hey. So don't overdo it, but some women, they're like, oh, he knows everything. My, my man knows everything. Go for it. And number eight, being independent. Yes, you're not needy. You're not clingy. And, uh, you know, again, that, that really works for you. You know what it means. God for himself. Exactly. So, and you can kind of see it like, in their habits or how they talk to people or how they treat mm -hmm. people like mm -hmm. people carry different light in a way you can kind of sense it but you know if they don't say christ if they don't mention that or like you know know exactly so, so Jim, we're about to wrap this up guys we're gonna do a show probably around 12 30 eastern standard time in the afternoon 11 30 make sure i check that out but gentlemen i listen this is all love to melly listen we're not mad at melly we're not trying to show her up we're just saying that there is something going on where these guys are getting set up for a downfall. But once one of our guys went over there to be honest with her and keep it a buck, he was wrong. He was the only one that got coaching. He was the only one saying he would, he was the only guy 
that said that, you know what, you were wrong. So when I'm saying to y'all guys, this is why we did this pineapple show on this one, because I did the wrong episode early in the show. I messed up. But anyway, I got some business to take care of, so I got to get out of here. But gentlemen, we're going to get, we're going to shout out to 50, shout out to Zach, hey, especially you guys. All you guys out there, like, subscribe, hit that notification, sign up to Zach, sign up to Fifth, sign up to myself. Gentlemen, great fucking job. <clears throat> shout out to 184 likes. Gentlemen, y'all did an awesome job. Guys, we'll be doing a show. I will say thank you to you guys. We will do a live show tomorrow, probably around 12 noon or 12, 30 noon, so around there. Just look out for it. We're going to cheat y'all some more game. We got y'all covered. Gentlemen, y'all are great. We appreciate you guys. Please rest. Be careful out there. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll chop it up. Peace.